Making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. Hi, my name's Jake and I'm Gemporia's Gemstone Investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing Gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The Gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. A great big good afternoon to each and every one of you. My name is Jenny Cleary, you're watching Jewelry Maker. Thank you so much to Carol for uh, this morning's show. Now, we have got a show lined up for you. Whew, just climbed up on my chair, so it's a little bit hot right now. Uh, talking of hot right now, I've got Gemma Crow to my right, everybody. Uh, welcome. Hello. 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 Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Um, yeah, that. Uh, Gemma, <laughs> it's amazing to see you. I know we've been on the phone during our days off. We have. Um, now, we have got your challenge announcement today, so we've got something very exciting. Could you just explain that to the viewers at home? So, last month we had a challenge show, well, we do one every month, and, um, and so we set a challenge. We're all set a challenge, I'm set a challenge, and you can take part. And then throughout the month we work on it, and then the next month we bring the challenge back, show you what everybody's done at home, what we've done, announce a winner for £100 into the <gasps> Wall of Fame, and then set a new challenge. So you could win £100 just, just by entering your jewellery designs credited to your jewellery maker account. Now we do have a winner today. Gemma has taken a lot of time, a lot of procrastinating, and we've narrowed it down to the last We've got, three to show. We've, three. we've got three to show in the show. Yeah. With loads and loads of inspiration in each. So there's loads of inspiration from, um, from our entries, and we've got a winner. Oh, so it could be you. What time are we announcing the winner, Danny? 
at two at one o'clock. Now we've also got the masterclass coming up for you where Gemma will be seeing for the first time her next challenge kit. To get involved, make sure you keep your eyes peeled. There's three ways to shop with us here today on Jewelry Maker. As always, you can get through to us on the phone lines 0800 6 Jewelrymaker.com if you want to shop online. But Emma, camera girl Emma, Hello. what is the third way to shop? I've said the, I've said the phone, I've said the, download the app onto your phone. On the app? On the app, yes. Download the app on your smartphone or tab. Yeah, we need to, I should have probably discussed this with I'm you first, busy. Emma. You were quite busy during prep. Um, now, you can pay by PayPal, debit card or credit card if you'd like to come shopping with us. If you'd like to get hold of us at any time during the show, if you've got any questions for Gemma, if you'd like to tell us something you've been up to, maybe it's somebody's birthday, or maybe you just fancy a chat, because sometimes there's no one else to talk to apart from the cat and the dog and they're not very responsive, then text us 60777 start your message with a JM Studio. If you'd like to do it via our app, you can. All you've got to do is log in and you can send us a message that way too. So if you are shopping uh, from far away, then, you know, there's always a way to communicate with us. I want to tell you about today's mega deal, which we are about to launch. How would you like three metres of a precious gemstone going under? Can I tell them? What, the whole story? I'm going to tell you. Three metres of a precious gemstone. <laughs> Two and a half metres, sorry, not three metres. Going under. Ten pounds. Yes, we have got going under £10 our mega deal, our midday mega deal. Hey, that sounds better, midday mega deal. That's going to happen from now on. Midday mega deal is yours. 400 whopping carats uh, of emerald chips. He's sending the email. How gorgeous are these tree of life designs? Yes, 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 these are only oiled. Nothing wrong with a bit of oiling, guys. Uh, so there is no heat treatment, there's no coating. These are genuine, beautiful emeralds. Let's move that out of the way for you so you can see. I'm thinking a tree of the life, tree of the life designs. I'm thinking the tree of the life designs is what I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> would you have a little look at the amethyst necklace just up there? Because that is a great example of the GC twist. <laughs> There you go. Did you do that JC twist? Uh, no, I didn't. I think that might be um, a Mark twist. Oh, that's a Mark. That's a, might be that's a... an M, M, what's, MS, MS twist. MS yeah, twist. MS twist. Uh, well, the GC twist, Gemma Crow, <laughs> is, yeah. uh, oh, what could this be? Tell you in a minute. The <laughs> GC twist is simply taking chips, and this is something Gemma Crow is famous for, by the way, <laughs> and just giving them... Just twisting them together. A twist. Just doing the twist. Just doing, no, it's like this. I'm doing the GC twist. <laughs> you are the GC. Can you just give me a little cap? Can you record this, please, uh, Bruce? I want you to go, it's me, the GC. <laughs> I forgot to. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, you ready? Yeah. It's me, the GC. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much right now. Uh, the GC would just twist them, but maybe your name's Nadia, or maybe you just like the things Nadia does, actually, and you want to do a tree of life design, not exclusively to all people called Nadia, of course. Uh, maybe you want to incorporate this in a Mark Smith uh, flat weave design. The thing with chips and nuggets are, they're a great way to start your jewellery making journey because they're easy. You don't have to worry because they give you the texture. I'm not being funny. I ain't being funny. But look at that. Oh! Did you see? Did the citrine sell out? Because I really want that. That's oh my gosh, gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Oh. I'm working with a strand of garnets right now that would go beautifully yes, with those. Yes, you are, and I've got them here. Wouldn't these all go together beautifully? Yeah. So both, by the way, later on, so just, so Gemma, you've mm. got these. Yeah. But I've... also Debbie has got them, and Debbie is coming um. up. Late. Oh, she doesn't know that yet. Oh, <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> it's just the way we roll. I said, yeah, oh, not, 
Sorry. Sorry, it's just £20 just now, but that's not actually your price. Look with amethyst. How beautiful are these colours together? Um, so it's not... I didn't mean 9 90 I didn't mean, like, under £10 per strand. I know that you can see here you've got a, a set of three, so that would see you with £30, and then here we are giving you that price. No! For all three. And if you want to... If you want to make jewellery to sell, this could be a, a great way of making a profit, couldn't it? You've got a 60-day money-back guarantee if you come shopping with us during the COVID. 9 95 is your price for all of these. This is ridiculous. Eh? Absolutely make sure you are checking out baskets. A huge 30% of the stock has gone. That's four pence per centimetre. JC, you look dumbfounded well, over I there. I am a bit. That's three strands. Three, three. strands. So like three pound ish a strand. That's crazy, isn't Ridiculous. it? Ridiculous. Three pound thirty one like a strand. An absolutely humongous GC emerald twist. necklace. <laughs> yeah. For less than ten pounds. And you could do a GC twist matching <laughs> you, bracelet. You could. You could. Well, you could have several sweets and a tree of life out of that. You could. You know but if I mean? you sell on and you just do stretchy bracelets, I mean, this is a sure yeah. fire way of making some money, isn't it? Yeah, I'd and say. also memory wire bracelets, great with the chips yes. and nuggets as well. And you've got a precious gemstone. Yeah. I would always say, print off your certificate of authenticity with this because it's worth it because then you can say to your customers, look, this is emerald. Yeah. It's not just any chip and nugget. This is a precious gemstone. This is one of, it was, uh, one of Henry VIII's favourite. He loved emeralds and rubies together, apparently, according to his... I mean, I never asked him personally, of course, <laughs> but according to sources. For, and I don't mean, like, tomato ketchup. I mean, you know, histor historical sources. 9.95, JMX... P75, seven inches is a bracelet. Yes, Danny. You can make 14 bracelets with that. And you sell them for like at least £10 for emerald, wouldn't you? It's a £140 return. Take away your £10 that you spent on this. £130 return. There you go. We love it. Yeah, perfect. Half That's the stock want. has gone. You need to be quicker than that. Make sure you're checking out Baskets I am seeing Catherine with two. Anthony and Kay with two. Stephanie with two. Helen with two. Uh, loads and loads of you have got yours. Helen, Hertrude, Tanya, Jane, mm. Debbie, Sally, uh, Alan, Jill. I have got... Masalid, uh, Fiona, I have got uh, Elizabeth, Neil and Linda, Glenda, you've got yours, Marion, you've got yours, text just in, hiya Mikey B, can you bring that to me darling, can you bring it to me, can you bring it to me, good afternoon all you fabulous bunch of jewellery maker, how's the finger Gemma, it looked painful, oh yeah it is, I'm just looking for my plaster, oh yeah that did I, look painful actually, I brought a plaster into the studio, I did it with um, no. a lime peeler, oh stop, and I slipped, ah! did you just go, oh, don't, don't, I, I can't bear stuff like that. Please don't. I did have a little scream, and luckily I was already dosed with gin. So, <laughs> thank goodness for it. Was it was fine. <laughs> I did that when I went to my daughter's house. I, I had, she had one of those, um, you know, clothes errors, and I thought I'll put her clothes out for her, and it had a real sharp bit, and my hand was in it, and it literally sliced a piece of my skin off, and I was like, Oop. Mm. now, anyway, you don't want to hear about that. Uh, thank you, Mikey B, my darling. I'm not, yeah, but I'm really rubbish at keeping secrets. We want you to guess what tomorrow's mega deal is. By the way, I'm far too excited about this. I'm allowed to give you clues and you can text us in and we're having one clue an hour. What's the first clue that I can give? It's this one. Fact one. This gemstone is from Burma. Can I find it anywhere else than Burma? Or is that like the most famous? It is found in other places, but our one is from Burma. I can't wait for you to see it. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Text the scene if you think you know what it is. We're going to give you a new fact every hour. Please don't let me accidentally slip it out because you know what I'm like. I'm worried as well. Can you do the GC twist with it? I don't know. I don't think you'd do the GC twist with it. Well, I don't know. We'll show it to Gemma and then Gemma can tell us, but I wouldn't traditionally have done it. Now, let's take that beautiful road night garnet strand. So Gemma, you've got this as a challenge, my darling yeah, angel. I have. And for anybody that got that amazing citrine, which by the way, I am absolutely enchanted by. They just belong together. Do we have any of this garnet left? Uh, any of this, any of this citrine? Look at them together, they're gorgeous. Oh, wow, we're just gonna have a look because I know that you're gonna wanna know that. So these little drops of garnet, I want you to see that true red, that beautiful, deep red. There are a few availabilities on the citrine. So Gemma, if you want a sneaky piece of it, I'm sure mm. we won't begrudge it. 
but it's look, gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't it? And what about this strand? I love these colours. And look what we've got coming up later. And you know me, Peridot and Garnet. Ah, I want to get these. I can't wait for the. You know, like Peridot makes me so happy. I just love it. Now. We've also got some different garnets, and I think these will go really well. Sorry to show them in the pot. It's just that they're to hand like that. So, Gemma, you had this strand. As, a, as an advanced jewellery maker, what is the GC saying about this? Well, the GC is saying, keep it simple. This, I just put oh. that word. Keep it simple, because oh, the garnets are just so beautiful that they, they just need to be showcased, sort of worn. Sometimes less is more, isn't it, with things like this? Oh, I love that. How did you attach that on? So I was just um, using a piece of 0 0.4 wire wrapped mm. around a clasp, uh, you know, a toggle. Beautiful. Um, just keeping it really simple. And I think like that, it just adds a bit more value, I think. I see so. value. Yeah, because you don't need to over-egg the pudding with gemstones like this. They really no. are. This is a prestigious strand. You can tell that. The true colour that's even from afar there, mm. you can see that strong saturation of colour. Yeah. Now that is a sign of a very, very high quality garnet. You've yeah. got a, a, a beautiful strand here and I do believe it's natural. I'm just waiting for my... It is natural. It's from India. Look at that colour. It's God, beautiful, yes. isn't it? £12.95, YBSF, uh, YBSF49 is your item code. Earrings, just simple, simple drops. This is such a great strand. Uh, Collector in Surrey, you were there. Lynn, you were there. Melanie, you were there. Uh, make sure you are checking out baskets. What a price. This is January's birth gemstone. A gemstone we have known about in adornments since the Bronze Age. Normally I'd look to cameraman Dan and ask him when, and he'd tell me oh, since the Bronze sorry. Age. These are things that, you know, now you know. I'll pick it up. <laughs> Emma knows me. Yeah. Uh, is it Mahenge Ruby? Mm. Uh, it's good, but it's not right. What's that from? Catchphrase, isn't it? <laughs> ah, it's good, but it's not right. <laughs> I used to love that. You'd be screaming at the telly, like, it's not that. Like, they'd be like, I don't know. They would say the most ridiculous things that have never been sayings. Like, yeah. do you remember? Like, that's not a saying. <laughs> Graham. <laughs> from Rotherham at £12.95 is your price for this. Now we've got some kunzite coming up for you. Well, in fact, should we do it now? This is a pretty shade, isn't it? I actually think if you bought the 12 o'clock, if you bought the midday mega deal, send the email. <laughs> Danny, you don't ask permission for everything. You do it, and then if they don't like it, then you go, oh, sorry, I didn't realise. Have a look. Don't you think it goes with the green? It's so beautifully botanical. I have a big love for kunzite. It's more of a sort of a bluey pink uh, than, than uh, morganite. Kunzite discovered by George Frederick Kunz, who, if you watch this channel um, very often, you'll know is such a, an important influence in the gemstone world. I wonder whether Danny... Ah, I, I thought you would take the, uh, I thought you'd take it and go, Chloe, I've had an idea. It's going to be called the Midday Mega Deal. But to be fair, Danny's honourable. He said, Jenny's had an idea. Chloe heard it. Uh, <laughs> 170 carats of kunzite. These plain rounds are eight millimetres. Now, an eight millimetre round is really easy to incorporate into lots of different designs. So we're talking either end of a, I, 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 in my head, it, this is silver, but of course it will work in, in rose gold very, very well because they go together so beautifully and it will work in traditional gold as well. But I'm thinking silver chain mail, one of these either end of the ch chain mail bracelet or as a centerpiece. And, and then if you think about it, I mean, you've got a lot on your strand here. You can put these in a lot of different pieces, but then you can make matching earrings, matching pendant to go with it. And it's such a beautiful feminine colour. I actually think these would make really lovely cufflinks for the groom as well. They're that... They are a classy pink. They're mm. a classy touch of pink. Some pinks can be loud and fun. Here's an example of what you can do with an eight millimetre round. And I think that's classic. And I think that, that will work so very well with this kind of strand. Wouldn't you agree? 
but you could mm. knot them as well. They'd be yeah. perfect knotted. They'd be gorgeous with pearls. This will sell out today. Eight chances available. Not your final price. Lots of you in. Oh gosh, we're over allocated. That means there are far too many in baskets than we have stock of. Collector in Essex, Suffolk, Midlothian, Linda, Madeleine, June, Leslie, Angela, Corolla. One, two, three collectors. Oh, collector and Suffolk took two. Uh, we, we, this will sell at any moment. Nineteen ninety-five for beautiful kunzak. You'll see this all over some of the biggest, the, the biggest jewelers in the world. Yes, Tiffany and Co. would would use this. Yeah, well, in fact, they launched this gemstone. They worked very heavily together with George Frederick Kunz. It was them that financed his travels and and his uh, his wonderful um, adventures. Going and trotting across the world, finding gorgeous colour. Uh, 1995, two left. Christine, Paula, Susan. Oh gosh, there's so many. There's too many people there. I'm so sorry if you missed out on that. It is beautiful. Now, let's keep going and let's give you. Where's the Morganite? Where do we put that? It's here. Now, so we were just talking about George Frederick Kuntz and how important he was um, as an influence in the gemstone trade. So George Frederick Kuntz actually, um, he discovered this, gems, uh, this gemstone as well as Kunzite. And uh, he actually took himself, he had a big collection of different coloured gemstones and he sold them all, save for um, a pink tourmaline. And he went across to Tiffany & Co and he took his pink tourmaline there and he was very young, I think he was about 20 or so, and he asked to see all the big, big bosses at Tiffany & Co and they sort of got intrigued by this young sort of upstart and thought, what does he want? And they went and they, um, and they met with him and, they, and he introduced them to, to all these wonderful coloured gemstones and he said you know come on let's work together and you know they did and it was wonderful and this was I think the second gemstone he discovered whilst um whilst he was being financed by Tiffany and Co and it was it was when he made this discovery it was actually named after the company that financed JP Morgan um financed Tiffany and Co to, to go on this adventure with George Frederick Kuntz but let's have a look because Morganite is so beautiful it gives you just such a soft subtlety of color and, and again remember any gemstone that's been launched by Tiffany and Co we know has to have been has to be beautiful doesn't it 17.95 a great big on-air discount for you when you see the original price those are our web prices and they're already very competitive when we give you an on-air price know that it only lasts for today this price will go up tomorrow if there's any left at all uh cj hi cj jenny great to see you on the tv today it's gray outside but you're a bit oh thanks cj i don't like when you read them out it sounds like you're blowing your own trumpet doesn't it what did you say there danny Oh, it's, uh, Danny said if you've seen her in the supermarket, she don't look so good then. Oh, that's true, Danny. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, no, yesterday I went out. I was like, I went to the shop. I had to go to the shop for some masking tape. I had paint all over me. You know, I've still got paint on me. I can't get it off my foot because the skin's so sensitive on the top of my foot. Gemma went, you've got, I was like, I know, it's on both feet, actually. <laughs> it's on both feet. I think it's probably because you were talking to me whilst you were de whilst you were painting your skirting board. I was, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was. I was having a chat. We were prepping our show from home, weren't we? Like good yeah. girls. Yeah. Uh, Danny, I'm so sorry. There's nothing in that box. Oh, I've got these on this side. Give me the code, darling. Sorry, everybody at home. Yes, it was on the. There we go. We've got a bead box for you now. Bead boxes are always brilliant. And, and for me, actually, this is a great one because you've got a variety of wheels and rounds. Now, if you're a brand new jewellery maker, by the way, if you're a brand new jewellery maker, you get two free strands and a Get Started DVD. So you get a whole goodie bag with your first order totally free, which is brilliant. Now, if you're already, you know, well into your jewellery making, you'll know what an investment it is to have this in your stash. If you're just thinking about getting all your Christmas makes, and I know we we will be doing Christmas shows I'm sure um, because you are now thinking I know about doing your Christmas makes but maybe you're batch making because you're getting back out there into the markets maybe you're doing the farmers markets the craft fairs the art fairs things like that then it's boxes like this that are invaluable you have got here a variety of sizes and shapes now you've got a graded plastic box and it's one of those clack lockable boxes so even if it's you know floating around in the back of the car nothing's going to come out because you can just click it shut again okay so i'm going to open that up 
and you can take this bit off and use it as a beading tray as well if you want to so you've got that and it's got its little compartments in here so that you can keep your beads kind of in place so you can use that as a beading tray if you want to as well which is great for you if you're on the go if you're in the car if you're in the caravan wherever you're going now let's see what you've got here beautiful rose quartz now i'm going to show you some quite uh, i'm going to say famous gemstones because some gemstones like if you've just started watching us perhaps you don't know what lapis lazuli is i'm going to explain it to you in a second but you've got a gemstone here that i think you probably do know rose quartz is one that we we sort of grow up with isn't it i think it's definitely a classic gift for your mother on mother's day that beautiful and it's the gemstone of love and friendship platonic love this uh, gemstone is is associated with if you believe in that kind of thing which you know i do i'm a big believer look at them and you've got them in both sizes and the great thing is here you've got an option you can make a suite of jewelry if you want to but you can put these small ones in between the large ones you can put these small ones as a bracelet the large ones as a necklace totally up to you totally up to you and there's of, of course many more things you can do then let me just draw your attention to this beautiful lapis lazuli now actually lapis lazuli has been famous for many many years and it's an important gemstone historically this is the gemstone that was crushed down and used as paint in the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo chose uh, lapis blue as the colour of the sky. And you can go and have a Google of that. We have got information, but we, we haven't got time to show it to you at the moment. But then we've got, again, the matching strand in smaller. So again, we've got options here. And if you are just starting out, this is stretchy bracelets or macrame, simple necklaces. You can keep it as simple as you like. If you're a jewellery maker already and you're well established, you know rounds. They're so versatile, aren't they? There's so much you can do with them. But then let's inject some fun and, and by the way these are all natural genuine gemstones this one here from Afghanistan a little bit of dye on the lapis but that's 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 usual this one completely natural should we have a little bit of fun let's start thinking about beady bead key rings handbag charms putting feathers with gemstones here we go You've got Druzy, and these are so cool because they're a great colour, but they've also got that little sparkle in them. Look at that. So a lot of interest there. You, we, can be, we can be a bit fun, you know. It doesn't have to all be serious. But then have a look at this. Now this is amethyst, totally natural in wheels. So if you are a beginner, you can start to think, right, okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use something outside of the round there. And you've got amethyst, that's February's birth gemstone. 19.95, you, it all comes in the box. We only have a handful of these left. You've come straight in for this one. Collector in Essex, Linda in Lanarkshire. Look, you'd pay that for the lapis on its own, wouldn't you? Paula in Ireland, whereabouts, Paula? Karen, you've got yours. Leslie, Rita, you've got yours. You've got to be quick. You've got to check out baskets. Uh, we are down to the final few of these. We're in single figures. Gemma, the versatility speaks for itself here, doesn't it? it that's absolutely brilliant. I'm, I love these boxes. I think they're a great way to just build up your stash and also have somewhere to store it when you get it home too. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah. that's a really valuable part of it, isn't it? Yeah, but because you know what? I opened yeah. my... Um, you know I'm decorating. We had this conversation. Um, I opened up my bedside table drawer and there's just loads of random crafty bits in there. I've got yeah. cardstock in there and gemstones in there mm -hmm. and all sorts of things. And you think, oh, I really need it. to. Yeah, you do need things like yeah, this. Yeah, you do. It just keeps you it do. nice and... Uh, and if, if actually you are new and you want to get this to sort of start off, it's a great starter one. But also on tomorrow at between six and eight, we've got like a beginner's techniques show. Yes, that's um, launching tomorrow, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, we'll be looking at you know, the very um, starting off beading and mm -hmm. using all the different techniques, you know, really thorough demonstrations. So great one to go alongside that. It's, I'll tell you something, this really is fantastic. Don't forget if you're a beginner, tune in tomorrow between six and eight for the beginner show. Do you know, can you smell hospital food or is it just me? Mm. <laughs> can you smell hospital food? <laughs> no, but I don't know whether I'm having a funny, you know, I have my funny, weird, psychic moments. Oh, I can smell that. hospital food. Don't say that. Well, yeah. I'm just saying, I've got this. Can you smell it? It's not food, but it's... it smells like, it smells nice. like, you know, those noodles in a pot. No, it smells like hospital food. Smell, I can smell <laughs> hospital food. Anyway, darlings, now. Shouting at me. I can't help it if I get psychic moments while I'm on air. They just happen. Um, I can taste it now as well. Have a look. 
Yes, I've got two. This is one of my favourite gemstones in the world. I defy you to look at this and not feel the happiness of the springtime. Look at it. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Aren't they? Oh, I love it. This just, to me, is every happy memory bottled up in a gemstone. I cannot wait to do this. Now, if you are in a bit of a garnet state of mind, which I think pretty much all of us are just now after that gorgeous strand, and you're thinking, how do I get hold of those gorgeous red ovals? Well, all you've got to do is stay tuned because they're happening now and it's a star buy. They're, they're trying to play Django, but today's not the day. Because I went, I haven't got a grabber. And, and um, Emma's going, ah, ah. And I went, oh, I have, it's here. She's like, oh, the things I put uh, the crew through. Sorry, Emma. Are you all right? You might need to lie down after this show. Now, I actually was searching on Gemporia website last night because I want to get my daughter a ring. Um, she wants an oval red ring in gold, right? For her birthday. I was like, okay, no rubies, because ruby is sort of the thing that you think of first. But actually, I did see a Hessonite garnet ring, and I think I'm going to get it for her because when you put this with gold, the richness intensifies. And what a true fiery red, a burning ember of a red you're getting here. My goodness gracious, if you put that with the peridot, Oh, gorgeous. These just have such depth to them, don't they? Look at that colour. Imagine this in a ring. Maybe you want to design that ring. Maybe you want to take it to a jeweller's and have it designed. Maybe you're working with Argentium and you're thinking, do you know what? This is exactly what I want, loose gemstones. Maybe your prong setting. Maybe you've got gallery wire. Maybe you've got the gold gallery wire. Oh, this in a suite of jewellery, a pendant, some earrings. And a neck, uh, and a um, and a ring, hundred percent. And you could do all of those things, Gemma, couldn't you? Yeah, a couple of times even. D they're amazing. You get eight. You get they're eight. They're so gorgeous, aren't they? <sighs> so you would need one, two, three. Yeah, you could do that twice, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, that's what. You've got a couple of sweets there. If you want to go, you know, just one pit, one in each piece, you could. But you know, at the same time, you could be really extravagant and have like um almost like a channel set, um, quite a heavy piece. And how would you do that? Would you gallery wire it and then link the gallery wire together? Yeah, you could definitely do that. That would be a nice nice way of doing it. Or you could use wire work if you want to um, use wire work to do that. There's, um, or even you could include it in sort of your embroidery work as well, in your seed beads if you wanted to. Yes, Mikey B's been doing that. I've seen him on yeah. Jewelry Maker Ad Addicts or whatever it's yeah. called um, yeah, page on Facebook. Beautiful piece. In fact, combining seed beads and wire work, you know, which is a, yeah. actually a really good combination. If you want to make period looking pieces, you know, from um, sort of Victorian or Tudor pieces. You know me with, and the Tudors. With, with um, garnets, then seed beads is a great way to Go because you can really get that very detailed look. Well, and they would have used, there's a lot of um, inspiration that you can find yeah. searching books on the internet. A lot of Tudor period jewellery had garnet in it. Yeah, it did. And it was a, it's a very uh, biblical gemstone as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? And gosh, look at this fiery red. And by the way, these are completely and utterly natural. Aren't they gorgeous? from Tanzania. Look, you get the certificate with these. You don't need to add it to your order. You don't need to print it off at home. You get over 10 carats in each. Um, so hang on a minute. So what's that on each one? Can I, or is that easy to work out? It probably is, isn't it? You, so you get all together 10.1 carats in four, two and a half carats each. That's huge, that isn't is it? That is huge. 
price on the website is 199.90 which is 25 pa 24 pounds a, uh, a stone so just under 25 pounds a stone because you've got eight of them here now this really is going to be an opportunity not to miss now my producer's just saying this is going to be a massive deal you're going to have to be Ooh. we're taking a massive price drop here we're going to save over 150 pounds let's go shopping for eight beautiful house night garnets in this oval which i've got to say is my classic favorite for a ring i just love them three pounds 75 whoa danny that was way more oh you've got to get this deal how much is that for staff i need it 29.95 i bet i pay more TCX, I'm happy to. C23, you've got yours collector in Lanarkshire. Only collectors at the moment. Doesn't look great with that. That's amazing. Ooh, now that was uh, Carol's deal of the day today, which there's still some available of. Please make sure you come into that. Neil and Linda, you've got yours, and I'm super jealous of you. 29.95, remember. Ooh, that peridot looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Elaine, well done. Make sure you're checking out all of you collectors. What a price. What's that per gemstone, Denny? three pounds 74 a gemstone susan writes in afternoon lovely ladies jenna you really inspire me thanks Aww. for that thank you <laughs> She's just put, thanks for that thanks susan the gc is just doing what the gc does <laughs> <laughs> just doing what the gc does she don't need the strands babe <laughs> I said to Jen, we were discussing this earlier i was like we have to do something with this gc thing and Jen was like all right it's like, can you just go, I just don't need the money. She's like, no, because I do. <laughs> we all do, Gemma. Because uh, we're referring to Gemma Collins. They used to, um, and she went into the jungle and was like, what am I doing here? I just don't need the money. And she walked out, which we didn't think was a good thing, but that was our personal opinion, and not necessarily the opinion of jewellery maker. Now, Peridot is in 15 minutes time. Next up for you. Now, we don't have the information, do we, from Jake. He, he did a little... A little table for us um, about this gemstone now london blue topaz is the rarest of the london blue, of, of the topaz family now it's becoming increasingly increasingly difficult to source this gemstone of quality now jake talks to us about uh, how out there in the industry there's a gray veil apparent in a lot of the stones that are um, submitted to them that are offered to gemporia buyers and jake always rejects them but that means that there's smaller 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 parcels coming each time because we have to be meticulous london blue is the rarest of all the topaz here it is absolutely is going to be divine and heavenly again i think with your peridot i think this is going to go very well with your garnet but it just holds its own doesn't it look at that as your something blue wouldn't that be stunning so striking such a color axv x85 jake is our um gemstone expert gemporia gemstone expert and buyer um, so do go and, uh, and, and have a look on Thursday. He's always here on a Thursday morning. What day is it today? Wednesday. Oh, he'll be here tomorrow with Carol. AXV X85, 18 carats of London blue topaz. 129.95. This is a collector's gemstone. Collector in Essex, you've got the first. Collector in West Lothian. We only have six of these. And that isn't today's price. Your on air <clears throat> price gives you a £90 saving. You've still got a 60 day money back guarantee. I didn't know he was going to go that low. 39.95 AXV X85. What a price. And loads of you flooding in for this. We've only got three left West Lothian, Essex, another collector in Essex, collector in London now takes it down to. Uh, oh, we've got two left. Anonymous buyer, we've got two left here because we've got one. Ah, Essex takes two. London, then another one in Essex, East Lake, they've gone, haven't they? Three, four, five, six, yeah. Uh, they, these are fully allocated, but we've still got two people to check out. Essex and West Lothian, of course that's your price. Three by 2.1 to 5.87 by 3.85 millimetres, so very, very, um, very precise there, and you've got that graduation. So there's only two left, and there are about five of you there for that one. Next one we've got, and London Blue again. Is it London Blue? This is just... I want you to look at the clarity here. London Blue, look at the depth, look at the clarity. 
No, no grey veil, remember that. This has only ever been on once before. I'm going to presume that it was on a, on a Jake show. Was it on a Thursday, Danny? It was, it was launched with Jake. Look at how, now that is so bridal. I'd love those in a pair of earrings and yeah. a drop. Oh, they're so delicate, Gemma, aren't they? They're absolutely gorgeous. London Blue Topaz is my favourite of the Topaz colours. Mine too. Love it. It's, that, it's a depth, there's a drama to it, isn't there? Yeah, it's like a moody sky. That is just like the sky before a storm, isn't it, London Blue? It's I gorgeous. And you and I like to cast a few spells during a storm. And of course. <laughs> do you do that? Because I do. No, I don't cast any spells, but maybe... Oh, maybe I need to lend you the spell book feels. that I got from my grandma when I was 18. Yeah. She gave me a... A, a, a suede bound spell book for my 18th birthday. I was expecting jewellery, but she gave me a spell book. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can honestly say I've never, never cast a spell. Oh, it's a good time. A good old candle and a storm and you're away. The pluck of someone's hair, perhaps. <laughs> Here we go. GNX X70. And it does make us go to those sort of mystical realms, doesn't it? Because you have that stormy sky that is definitely something ethereal something enchanted about this color essex and stephanie you are both in for this one maybe it's going to be around your neckline on your wedding day or in a tiara, in a tiara. can you imagine that that would be perfect. it would be extremely bougie it and would. i would love that it would be it the would. mighty bouge it but would. you know what i would only use real precious metals with this yeah. i would i wouldn't yeah. i wouldn't I, I, oh my gosh if you're into your argentium yeah. Perfect. I wonder if you can argentium a little crown. Oh, I expect so. I expect so. I mean, I've made tiaras and things out of sterling silver uh, wire. Just, or, and combs, I've made hair combs out of sterling silver wire. I like the idea of this, Gemma. Mm. Because some people, you know, if they want to keep that as an heirloom piece that they're going to pass down, then they do want it set in precious metal. 100%, yeah. Yeah. Look at that colour. Look at that sparkle. You have some information on the uh, reduction of topaz. The, here's the graph that Jake gave to us, and it was it's explaining. Have you got the, have they got the L on the screens, or can they see what it says on the table? There we go. So there is explaining the drop in uh, supply, uh, and particularly. It's Swiss blue and London blue, which have just become rarer and rarer and rarer and rarer. And you can see on the far right, that's London blue. Look, we've hardly any of it now. The blue is what we had in 2008, and the green is what's available now. So very small deposits. We didn't put the price on for that, did we? Oh, here we go. We should be at 139.95. But we're matching the launch price. Maybe you bought it before and you've got it, and you wish you'd bought another... Here's, here's your second chance because we've only got one we've only got one opportunity we think because I, I can't see this ever coming back after after today we only had eight and uh, collection of Suffolk took two collection of Essex and Stephanie of Midlothian uh, you've taken yours uh, taking us down to the final few G N X C, uh, C sorry no that's not right G N V X 70 is your item code. I don't know where I got a C from I really don't uh, don't forget you've got that extended money back guarantee now is the time to shop for sure collection well oh is it gone Yes, uh, Julie, Merseyside, West Lothian, Hertfordshire, London. Uh, you're going to miss out. Quite a few of you are going to miss out there, so do be quick. Uh, and then an anonymous buyer has just come in. I'm just thinking, oof. oh my gosh, it works so well. Now I have, oh, I've got a really great opportunity for you now. Look, we've got some Swiss blue, so this is the second rarest of the topaz. And don't forget November's birth gemstone as well. I've just put this with the strand that Carol gave you this morning. Oh, they work so well. That's the sky and the sunshine, isn't it? That's beautiful, yeah. That is a beautiful combination. Obsessed with that, obsessed. Look at these drops, they are classic and beautiful. And you know what? If you are um, just gonna drop them into an earring finding, they're so easy to do. I'd use a very flat head pin. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we gave you a wonderful deal on some flat head pins as a deal of the day. Perhaps you want to pop them in there, little loop, done, perfect. Yeah, these are perfect, especially, I think, especially if you're new, sometimes a briolette, because we often get drops with the top drill, 
and sometimes a briolette can maybe put you off if you're not used to doing them. Mm. But these are great. Literally a head pin straight through. You've got a pair of drop earrings straight away. Yeah. You know, no, easy. It's so easy, isn't no it? No work involved, really. They're, they're, they're exquisite, aren't they? So, look, at, look at the way they sparkle, So sparkly. Gemma. Look at that beautiful, soft, yet intense. I know it's a contradiction in terms, but... It's soft but intense. This is yeah. such a beautiful, true blue. An expensive blue. Only three of these available. In fact, no one because you've come in and taken them. 36 and 95. They are so delicate. They're so beautifully cut. The colour saturation is wonderful. They just make you feel amazing. You look at these and you just... Ah, oh, they take your breath away because they're so pretty. Uh, lots of, We are seriously over-allocated on that. But if you want beautiful things... Then I've got beautiful things for you. We have Chiang Mai Peridot. Can we do it now? Five miniatos. Look at that. Oh, I'm very, very excited. And if anybody knows how to get uh, gloss off the top of your foot, uh, then I would love to know. I've already tried baby oil, by the way. Didn't work. What about um, WD-40. What? Spray that on my foot? That's good for getting all sorts. Is it? Stains off, yeah. Max has got some of that for his bike. I'll try it tonight. Thanks, Gemma. Double trouble pyrite. Oh, gosh. These are... Gemma, this is a bit of the GC. A bit GC. bit of the GC. <laughs> Look at this. That is, that is very GC. <laughs> oh, it's so GC. <laughs> I love this. Oh, beautiful. Hey, do you know what? Hey. Um, when do we get pyrite lately? Not, I'd say just about not a lot. Not very often at all. I and mean, we think we're starting to see bits coming back now, but... Yeah, it's gorgeous. I, I love pyrite. It's got that metallic hue, but, you know, it's very often got that greeny tinge to exactly, it, Exactly, and it's got it which, here. Yeah, it works with that, and it works with all your khakis and all your sort of camo yeah. prints that are very very fashionable at the moment as well i'm thinking snakeskin jasper with that yeah yeah or imperial sometimes they call it that don't... yeah i and, love this and great with your textiles and your lightweight jewelry um mediums like seed beads which are generally a bit more lightweight and sometimes need weighting down so even if you use it in that way to sort of give emphasis to a certain point in your jewelry where you want it to drop then these are great for that too what about the GC twist? You could definitely do the twist with it. The, Looks not, great, Not any it? twist, Gemma. It's quite... Um, the GC twist. It's quite steampunk and um, it's got that, that industrial sort of edgy feel to it, hasn't it? I think these belong with you. I have this big thing where they just, they're going to work so well with what you're yeah. wearing just now. Pyrite Definitely. should always come to me, to be honest. I think so. I don't think it's up for debate. It's just a thing. I think you're a pyrite It's just girl. a thing. <laughs> I think you're a pyrite. I am. You are a pyrite. Arr. FRX C96 Double Trouble Pyrite Rondelles. These are going to work so well in so many different... Do you know, in the kit of Gemma's, I think this might have sold out, though. God bless you. Are you okay? Yes. There we go. Look, that would go really nicely with this. Mmm. It would. We're going to take the price down. Do you know, and actually we don't have a lot of pyrite. We don't have to do this. But we are, because we love you. £12 on the nose. And you get two strands. And rondelles, they're so versatile. Yes, they can go straight into a bracelet. Yes, mm -hmm. you can put these around your neckline like that. You can twist them. You can macrame these. Like Gemma said, you can use them to weigh down a piece because they're so weighty. They're, they are, you know, if you can imagine gold and how, how weighty that would be, they're pretty much the same kind of weight. And you know something? This is, uh, it was called fool's gold, wasn't it? Because mm. a lot of people thought it was fool's, it was gold or Welsh gold. A lot of people thought that, didn't they? Because yeah, of its did. buttery soft finish. Yeah. Do they have Welsh gold anymore? Hasn't like the Prince of Wales got the last piece or something, or is, is that complete rubbish? I don't know, I might have dreamt it, truth be told. Uh, pyrite with citrine. Mm. I will try it. Yes, gold and gold. Definitely. Of course. Thank you, Alison, my darling. Oh, slammy dory. Who's it's slamming because doors? The luster on the um, flat facets sort of um, shine gold, don't they? So it, that citrine sort of picks that out really. Definitely, definitely. Mm. 
I'd like to uh, I'd like to name check Alan Ma for slamming the door there. Alan Ma. <laughs> uh, where did I get that from? And you're saying what to me now? Yes. Okay. It's time for August birth gemstone. One of my favourite gemstones in the whole wide world. And of course, it's got to be a star buy. I, as soon as I knew we had these on the show, I was like, oh, a little bit squealy because I just love Peridot so much. It's definitely one of my favourite. It's in my, it's in my top three gemstones. Top four. I've got four that I just can't live without, and it's one of them. Now, the other one is citrine, pearls and diamonds. But I do love rubies as well. Oh, I love them all. Now, I'm going to try and bust this open, which I should have done a minute ago. But I was too busy singing along to the theme tune of our star buy, if I'm honest with you. Now, I'm going to open one of the boxes. Both boxes are the same. And you will get... A, oh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, you get five in each one. Ten peridots. August birth gemstone. And a gemstone to me that absolutely epitomises the springtime. It makes me think of freshly... Um, mown lawns it makes me think of the lambs just springing about in the fields it makes me think of daffodils just shooting and snowdrops and listening to the birds chirping for the first time you know i just love it i love peridot because that's what it reminds me of the springtime is definitely my favorite time of the year oh my word you are absolutely blessed with the most beautiful collection of Chang Bai Peridot. We bring you these natural, beautiful, brilliant cut pears. And I could not be more delighted. And you know something? Yes, they're gonna go with gold, rose gold or silver. Whatever you prefer, they will work. And I think there is a high temptation that you are gonna put these into earrings, pendant and ring sets. And you've got 10 of them, so you absolutely can. But also, I think these would be beautiful if you set them alongside each other. If you want to make a ring and put three of them in a ring, I think it would be so perfect to do that. And when do we get the opportunity to get loose gemstones of a big quantity at a, a really reduced price? Well, you're going to get a very reduced price today in buying this as a double trouble deal. Let's bring it down. I'm going to bring these back down so that you can see all of them together. Yeah, I think a high temptation to put them together. Gemma Crow, when you get loose gemstones like this, what, what do you do? Do you keep them just to love or for commissions or do you go, right, I'm going in? Well, I, I generally, I, you know, I've got some that I, I've kept um, sort of to collect really um, the, for a few reasons. One, they're absolutely gorgeous. Two, they're great to show people an example of maybe what you've got a, a gemstone bead but you can say this is peridot and this is, you know, the, the top example of it. Um, so great for showcasing the sort of gems you're working with. But, you know, very often there will be sort of prongs set in the centre of a, of a feature design or prongs set in the centre of a ring or something like that. And my main, um, my main medium is wire, so my go-to very often is wire work techniques with these. They're just beautiful. Gorgeous, aren't they? And you know, if you go into Google and you look at, you know, Tiffany Peridot, Chopard Peridot, you know, any Cartier Peridot, yeah. Elsa Peretti Peridot, you know, you will see <laughs> Sorry, can you hear me? Um, sorry, my microphone is being very naughty today. Now, there's no way I could have put that on mute myself. There's a ghost behind me. Now, they, they laugh at me, but, you know, uh, I can't remember. So, yes, if you look at all of those expensive design houses, you will see this gemstone. Why? Because it gives a true, beautiful green, a fresh green. 
differs from the emerald green. And when you think about green gemstones, we don't have lots that we could make into gemstones of this kind of quality. So I'd say this kyanite, emerald, we don't have very many other green gemstones. No. And green is such a, a, a brilliant colour to put into those high-end pieces because it's going to give you that colour pop. It is. It, it is a. It is a sort of. Color, green is the colour you see in a lot of high end jewellery, isn't it? Definitely. You know, in catwalk jewellery, it's very often it's emeralds. More recently, it's the zavarite garnet. This is very Zavarite similar. garnet. There's another one. It's a yes. very similar hue, isn't it, to the zavarite? Uh -huh. But yeah, it, it is. So it's just so fresh and vibrant and yeah, it's I love gorgeous. it. Now at this price, how many do I get together? I get so that's what twenty pounds each. It's beautiful, isn't it? I've got. I'm, I'm just seeing all this wonderful jewellery. That's doesn't it go with amethyst so well as well? At one hundred pounds, you are paying just ten pounds each. Chopard have used peridot as a feature piece in a beautiful ring set with diamonds. I have an example of it here. I'm gonna show you another example of a couple of different uh, design houses. But just to show you, this is a gemstone taken very seriously in the industry. Chopard are definitely big hitters. You can see this wow. is Peridot here. Look at that. It's in a thick white gold and that's uh, Chopard, which you can see there. Wow. I don't think there's a price on it. So I'm just gonna bring this back over towards me now. And then I'm gonna show you Oh, it's £7,200. <laughs> um, now, I'm going to show you the Tiffany & Co one that I wanted to show you. We're going to give you your price, because that isn't your price, by the way. How much a stone? £2.49 a stone. Let's go shopping. £24.95 is all you're paying for 10 of these gemstones. This is exceptional. What an amazing deal. It really, really is. Please be quick. Be quicker than that. I don't want anybody, anybody missing out on this deal. Okay, so I've just found a peridot. Let me see if it's good. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. A peridot piece of jewellery from Tiffany & Co, £1,400. Oh, and there's a tiny, tiny... I can't even see the peridot on it. You can't even see it. It's too tiny. It's not even worth showing you. Wait there a sec, let me try and find... Um, gosh, there are so many beautiful pieces of jewellery with this gemstone. I'm trying to find a teardrop for you. So Van Cleef, um, they've got some very bright um, multicoloured piece pieces. Um, and they use peridot alongside sort of vivid pinks and, you know, really strong purple amethysts and things like that. That's what it looks great with. Yeah. I've just found all of the Schlumberger pieces and they've mainly, they've got a lot of peridot in them. So uh, Jean Schlumberger is, I think it's Jean, um, a designer for Tiffany & Co. Have a look. So, but also you've got green in here, here. Look at all the peridot here. Peridot here. So these are pieces that I use. I, I mean, this really is a beautiful piece, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But thousands and thousands of pounds. Yes, set in gold with diamonds, of course, but I think it just goes to show how, how very highly regarded Peridot is in the industry. This is a beautiful addition to your stash for just $24.95. Well over half the stock's gone. Wiltshire, Sussex, Sharon, Julie, Sarah, Denise, Neil and Linda take two. Ali, Rita, Collector and West Lothian, Suffolk, Victoria, Lynn, Kate, Collector and Essex takes two. Trudy, Mary, Collector in Derbyshire, Collector in Greater London, Mikey B, Collector in West uh, Sussex, Janice and Jeanette, all from Greater London there. Uh, we have got so much to show you in the next hour. We do hand over the reins to Gemma Crow, who is going to be launching her new challenge kit. But also we're going to be announcing the winner of last month's uh, challenge kit. Could it be you? Could, if you've submitted um, a challenge piece, then it could be you. You could be winning £100 today. Gemma selected the winner. And we can't wait to find out who it is. So join us, Gemma Crow and I, after this. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our projects page. 
We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, my name's Jake and I'm Gemporia's Gemstone Investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat 
with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. Welcome back. My name's Jenny Cleary, and in this hour here on Jewelry Maker, we introduce you to the masterclass where Gemma Cray will be taking over the reins and giving us a full demonstration. Now, we are going to be concentrating on Gemma's challenge, and Gemma is also going to be announcing the winner of the challenge. That was last month's challenge, and we're going to also introduce after the uh, masterclass, we're going to introduce you to the new challenge. I would love you to get involved. You could win £100 credited to your jewellery maker account just by making jewellery. That's the thing you love to do. You send it in to us and then Gemma will narrow it down to the, sort of between three and five, show them on air and then announce the winner. So the winner's coming up. If you did enter uh, Gemma's challenge, you need to be keeping your eyes peeled before we get to the challenge kit though we do want to give you this beautiful strand because it will go so well with the peridot i've just unknotted it i'm so sorry i am such a goon i am a goon wait there these are so beautifully well they were before i opened it graduated don't you just love amethyst the richness of it don't you just love gen genuine gemstones whoops do you just love dropping them? No, you don't love doing that, and you won't do that. You'll have your bead tray. But look. Look at that. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. You, I mean, that whopper in the middle. I don't know if I want to uh, do anything but just strand this into a necklace and wear it. But of course you can do so, so much because you've got the smaller ones there. Mine's not knotted is my problem. I'm a goon. What can I say? But you could make little stud earrings out of these. You could make bracelets, necklaces, put it with gold, put it with silver. I always love amethyst because I think it's such a great gift and I think it's a wonderful one to give after Easter time. You've got that wonderful colour of purple. It is actually a gemstone heavily associated with Catholicism. It's in the rings worn by bishops and uh, men of the cloth. Said to ward away intoxication from evil spirits or from alcohol, actually. But I wouldn't give that, I wouldn't just totally rely on that. I mean, you know, we just don't know. Amethyst is a gemstone that we've known, loved and adored for many, many, many years. In fact, there's, a, there's Greek mythology or Roman mythology um, surrounded by this gemstone we're taking this strand under 10 pounds even though it's totally natural it hasn't done anything wrong it's from Zambia and it's totally natural are you sure from Zambia apparently that's how I say it uh, 9.95 look with the gorgeous emerald strand that you bought earlier how good that only 50 of you are going to be uh, successful and we have hundreds of you shopping with us today. It's so lovely to have your company. Thank you so much for choosing Jewelry Maker. Imagine these knotted around your neckline. Imagine putting uh, the pearls or anything in that you've got in your stash. I'm saying the pearls you've got in your stash. It's talking about my personal stash. Even something as striking as uh, one of the turquoise wheels that Gemma Crow calls something else. Te something beads. Heshi. Heshi beads. They'd be perfect in between these. Mm. ZVP041 is your item code. With that extended money back guarantee, you've got nothing to lose by shopping with us here at Jewelry Maker. Sharon, you've got yours. Karen, collector in London takes three. Beverly in Derbyshire, collector in Suffolk takes two. Leah, Janet, you've got yours. Crow, you're tapping in. Oh. Oh, I thought you were tapping in. No. You're giving me the, I thought you were giving me the GC look. <laughs> no, no, sorry. <laughs> I was just being absent then, I think. Oh, I thought you were like this at me, like, I want to say something. <laughs> Stop your mouth. I can't. Uh, 9.95 is your price. Now, we have got for you, the GC is taking over. Oh, yeah, well, can we have fact two, can we? Fact one was that they were from... Burma. Burma. 
I want to go. Should we go to Burma together? I'd love to go to Burma. The GC and the JC let loose in Burma. What could possibly go wrong? Not much. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> They're from Burn. This is tomorrow's mega deal. We invite you to guess what it is. By the way, it's so exciting that I can't believe I haven't blurted it out yet. I am. Um, can I say anything personally about. Or not? Have I got a. Oh. You've got a personal. Okay, yeah, yeah, oh. that is true. Here's fact two. This gemstone is going under 10 pounds <gasps> for that! <laughs> you. You. Th oh. Do you know what it is, Gemma? No. I'm going to mouth it to you. Ready? Did you get that? Yes. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a little... <laughs> you, know when you're, you know when you're on the other side of glass to people and you're like, go to the shop. <laughs> That's what I was just doing to Gemma. But I won't mouth what I... Because it would be very obvious with this big yeah. mouth. Under ten pound. That's Are you mad? That's gonna throw everybody off. Yeah, but I think you won't think it's going under ten pounds. Ordinarily, that's sixty pounds, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's I know. What I, mean. I that's know. Mine was definitely going to throw people off. <gasps> yeah, and mine was. <laughs> they know. They know. They know. I'm not. Don't let he's fuming at me. He's fuming. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. I was a bit loud then. If you've got the telly up, I do apologise. Now. <laughs> Are you ready for Gemma's challenge? When are we going to announce the... Oh, we're all in good time, Gemma. Um, now, the original challenge is to my extreme rice. Is that correct? And then we've got a different colourway for you today. I think the extreme right one has sold out. We've mm -hmm. been as close as possible as we can. It's very exciting to have an alternative, isn't it? It is. Oh, Gemma. Those it... go so well with those pyrites. I know. They, these are gorgeous. I've never seen the um, Druzy in this colour. I love it. I've never seen it. That has to go. I'm just going to... You don't get this in the mm. kit, but gosh. Uh, in fact, Gemma, just explain to us about oh. the challenge and explain to us, because I can actually add one thing, can't I, to my challenge? Yeah, so when you take, when you take part in any of the challenges, you're allowed to add components um, such as findings to sort of help you con construct your jewellery. Um, you use everything that's in the, in the bundle that you get for your challenge, and then you can add one other element, so one gauge of wire or one strand of gems or one type of thread, you know, sort of, yeah. Question? Um, what about beading threads and findings? No, Are they included? Beading, beading threads and findings, you can add as much of that as you, right. as you need. So anything that you have to use to make, you know, the actual physical pieces. But, um, in terms but not of wire? Extra, no, not wire. Wire, because you get, you very often, I don't know, because I don't know what's in the challenge until the day, um, but you very often get wire within, within your challenge. Right. Okay, thank you for clearing that up. Mm -hmm. Any further questions? Now, you also get... A, a download, don't you? You get some sheets that you can fill in. Yeah. And that's to help you with the design process. Yeah. So if you, you know, you might have your very own established design process, but um, what I try to do is create a, a worksheet that you can work through to sort of help you develop your own design style um, and help you develop your creative thinking. So the challenge was brought about, one, for people that just get stuck in a, in a, in a rut with what, what they're doing and so this might check you out of your comfort zone which is a good way of stretching your creativity two if you're new and you just want to take part in a community of people all doing the same projects that's a really nice way to do it and you know three you get some really interesting components that you might never have thought to use before and mm. um, that then you can carry on in your journey it's just really good fun and you get a chance to win 100 pounds so can't go wrong really that's my favorite part and it's always amazing value everyone so far has been just amazing value well, you're also getting, so you've got that wonderful strand of pyrite that we're, uh, pyrite druzy that we're pretty yeah. blown away with. But look at these, you've got Sarovskis. Oh, I love these chains. Yeah. Then you've got these little triangle beads as well. They've these got two lovely. holes. I think they're called spear beads, are they? No, these are no. arrow. Jet beads, triangle, jet beads, triangle, triangle jets. jets. They're brilliant. I love those. They're like little bits of bunting. They, yes, you said that to me before, yeah. and as soon as you said it, I thought, right, that's it, I know what to do. Really but nice. you're right, you do get wire. Yeah. So you've got here 0 0.8, yeah. 
0.4 in your wire. Mm -hmm. But then you've got ribbon, which yeah. I love a bit of ribbon, I do. I'm obsessed with my bow maker. I'm going to bring it in and show you it. Yeah. I'm obsessed with my bow maker because yeah. I'm rubbish at bows. Outside. <laughs> then you've got all this wonderful chain. Box chain, which is the most versatile chain of all time ever. Well, let's have a look at Gemma's designs that she made out of the challenge kit. So Gemma was given a different colorway and it launched and we only, I think we've got one of those left and that's it. So it, it sold itself out. Um, but we've got it. So this is your alternative today. I mean, look at what you can create with this, and you get a whole reel of that chain, Gemma. That is outstanding. It's all statement, isn't it? But it's all very, it's all very simply constructed. But um, this is what I love about box chain. There's so many ways you can use it. You can see I've used it to bezel. I've used it as um, tassels. I've combined it together. I've attached a box chain, uh, cup chain with it. It's a really versatile chain even so this, weaving your ribbon in and out of that yeah, silver one and is that's what stunning. this particular ribbon is perfect for the width yeah. is perfect to go in and out of this chain so not only does it look pretty it's really functional to hold things in mm -hmm. place as well it's beautiful mm. i'm so delighted that you so that was yours you have the purple version but actually Gemma, wouldn't they look amazing those purples I, with these greens well for me that's my colors that would you like some of this to, so i love there you go, i I'll love that bundle even more than i love this bundle because you know i, I love the silvers and and the grays and you know blacks together look great and striking but for me my colors are the gold so i love yeah I love that bundle you've got there. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm, I'm very into this as well. So we are about to give you a wonderful price. Uh, the kit, the previous kit has sold out. They, the challenge kits sell out very, very quickly. We're going to give you all of this. And the chance, don't forget, if you submit your jewellery, you will be automatically in with a chance of winning £100 credited to your jewellery maker account. What have you got to lose? You've got to be in it to win it, jewellery makers. Gemma Crow. Sorry, just, just this one is last month's challenge. Yes, it is. So yes. this one, there's not the chance to win with, You're that, right. with yes. that kit. Just to clarify... The, the next challenge, there's the chance next month to win £100, but this one's already closed today. So. That's right. Sorry, I yeah. should have said that. But you will no doubt be inspired by uh, what I've made and what um, some of our viewers that have entered have made. Mm -hmm. And obviously the kit last month sold because they sell out really quickly. Um, I think there might be one left of last month's kit. Yeah, there was one. So this one sort of offers you an alternative. If you want to get involved with making these designs, especially I'm going to show you some techniques today, then this is the one to get because... I don't think we've got much of it left in no, stock now. No, we certainly chain. don't. And this, we only had a few of. But I've got to tell you, we are launching the new kit after Gemma's demonstration. And that's the one that you can get ready for next month. Mm -hmm. You get a whole month to think about your designs. Twenty-four ninety-five for this one. Now, we are going to put Gemma's kit on, the original on now. But we only have one of them. So if you're looking and thinking, no, I want to do exactly what Gemma's done. I need that silver chain then we're going to give you the opportunity and it's going to go on your screen just now. So um, then Gemma, I'm going to let you take it away okay. and you're going to explain away and, and any questions at home, please make sure, there's your details, uh, please, make, and if Gemma's using anything that we've got during the masterclass, just look at the graphics. If we've got mm. it, we'll change the graphics and we'll give it to you, okay? Um, I'll try not to interrupt as much as I can unless it's to tell you that something is going to sell out. Gemma Crow, please take it away. Okay, well, I've got three of our entries here today in the studio to have a look at and go through. This is what came in from last month's challenge. So using this box chain, I just thought we'd go through some of them to show you sort of what, what other people are sending in. Um, the winner is in amongst this bunch and I don't think we'll, it will be announcing until the end of the hour. So first one I've got here is from Denise McElroy. So Denise has taken part pretty much every month, which is brilliant. Aww. And um, she's, she's listed here um, her first impressions. So basically gone through the worksheet that, that you can download to go with this. Um, uh, but just listed it. So she said that um, her initial design ideas included making the graduated tassel choker with box chain and large jump rings. Um, in fact, let me just show you. She wow. sent me in the designs. And this is, we love to see this, this process, because I think that helps us all seeing how other people process their ideas. So just some um, simple sketches here. She said her first impressions, um, she loved the reel of chain, she loved the druzy drops, and the black triangles were intriguing. Lots of ribbon um, and silver wire to make nice to make a nice change as I seem to use bare copper a lot. I've never used cup chain before, so I'm excited to try something new. 
um, she's added to um, this selection. She her choice was 0.25 silver wire, and she because she used the whole 10 meters of the 0.4, making the woven necklace um, with the Kleshner and necklace weaver. So I think um, that was my fault too. <laughs> um, so. Let me just show you some of um, the images here. Look how I much. saw this earlier. Oh, upside down. Oh, there we way. go. Now, this jewellery just absolutely wowed me. Just I could not much. believe it. Fantastic. Yeah. And look, we've um, we've gone along the same lines here because I've got I've made one very similar to this. Beautiful a statement piece, and I'm going to show you how to do that piece. It's really really simple to make. Um, but really easy to wear and so effective yeah. i mean that looks that looks drop dead it does. gorgeous it looks like something a celebrity would wear yeah it's absolutely stunning isn't it and it's yes. gorgeous color which um she says can be worn as i think this is, i might be getting mixed up um she wanted to experiment with the kumahimo um, the kumahimo the kumahimo uh techniques I think I've got all the pictures in the right order, but maybe um, maybe you'll have to text in if you see me put them in the wrong order. But um, yeah, so we got we got the setting them in there. So Fine. thank you so much, Denise. Absolutely wonderful Could array, be you. array of jewellery, um, and well done for trying new techniques as well, because that's always good, isn't it? Right. So and then I've got here loads of pictures in this one i got uh, lisa channon um, and she says so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and scroll through these stunning whilst i read through this sheet because there's so many look at that absolutely beautiful stunning um, she says these are is the jewelry i've created my inspiration and you'll see this throughout all the pieces was um is the 1920s meets 2020 <gasps> So you can definitely see Ooh, that. Oh, gorgeous. And um, the whole kit gave me a sense of the Roaring Twenties from the colours of the ribbon, the long silver chain and the sparkle from the Swarovski. In my mind, I saw fringes, lariat necklaces, glamour and tassels. Yeah. Um, I would Love. have been happy just to make necklaces, but I tried to come out of my comfort zone and try something new. I thought the choker would also be used as a headband or a cuff. So look at this, Kumahimo, loads of techniques in here. You've got Gizmo, Kumahimo. Um, I re-watched a couple of Gemma's Quick Makes DVDs, which gave me confidence to play around with the kit, which is really nice as well. I researched fashion and jewellery from the 1920s, wow. then started to make a few sketches. Bit by bit, the pieces were created. <gasps> so, you know, it's That's really nice. Amazing. Sorry, really nice just to get you thinking in a different way, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I hope you like them. I haven't been making jewellery for very long. <gasps> um, really? I initially felt a little bit out of my depth with the kit when the kit arrived. I still only have a very basic skill set and have no idea why I pressed the buy button on the app. So when the kit arrived, a little bit of fear took over and I thought, what on earth am I going to do with all that ribbon? Well done. You're <laughs> well, you, amazing. You've done an amazing job. Um, we're all really Gosh, wide by this. a new jewellery maker. It's um, just mad, isn't it? She said, I would, oh, nope, I'm, I'm so way. uncoordinated, <laughs> aren't I? <laughs> How long have I been doing this? Um, <laughs> she said, I would, however, enormously recommend uh, and encourage anyone to take part in the challenge, in wow. the next challenge, as I have found the whole experience very enjoyable and rewarding. Um, it's an opportunity to try new things and push yourself to create things you probably normally wouldn't have thought of before. It's really stretched Beautiful. my imagination. Um, it will scare you a bit, it will frustrate you, and you may want to push it to the one side and forget about it for some days, but when something goes right and you create something unique, it gives you a huge sense of achievement, even if it turns out to be a small ribbon butterfly brooch that you can wear on your pyjamas during lockdown. <laughs> right, which, <laughs> look at this piece. This piece wow. is really gorgeous. I love that. It's a really lovely piece. I can't believe the talent here that we've no. seen so far. It's just mind-blowing. Oh, and to I've say you're saying it. you've just started jewellery making Look. boggles me. That's fabulous, isn't it? But there's a butterfly coming up somewhere. I think I've, we've doubled up on something. Look at that. Wow. I think that is so clever. Great way of using the ribbon. It's and like the box quilling. Chain. It's good. It's really good, it's isn't it? It's um, fabulous. She said, thank you to everybody, the presenters, designers, um, and all the background team that we don't always see for bringing us joy, laughter, education, love, and beautifully stunning gems. Um, good luck to everybody taking part. Lots of love from Lisa in Caffili. Lisa, you've done an amazing job, and we've fantastic. absolutely loved seeing that. And amazed that you that you felt out of your comfort zone, because you would never know by looking at that jewelry, no, would you? No, looks like she's been doing it for years. Yeah. Maybe she's found her calling. Right, and then I've got my last one here to go through, um, and it's from Linda Coling. And again, Linda's t Linda takes part um, quite
quite often in the in the process as well in the challenge as well um, let me just I'm going to turn this around I'm going to so Linda has sent me um, this is the design sheet that you can download um, and she's gone through the process so my first impressions and materials how they made you feel maypole dancing a memory that was that was really nice of um, making braids and plaits I'm reading back to friend this oh, is clever isn't it did, yeah. uh, <laughs> I was really quite impressed with myself then. So yeah, lovely to sort of um, really reflect because you don't necessarily yeah. always know what you're thinking until you think about what you're thinking and that can really help guide the process. And then um, we got this here. You might also think about writing what's challenging you and what yeah. you're worried about and that might help too. Um, and some lovely sketches and um, initial ideas there which we will see brought to life in the in the images in just a second so these are these are absolutely gorgeous linda um and here are some of the images right look at this look at these wow so again loads of techniques i love how you've used those little um triangle beads i think they look just amazing those little earrings um Gorgeous. And then oh, got, I love that. No, nope. oh, <laughs> yep. so bad at this. <laughs> so again, Has she set that big stone at the bottom? That's gorgeous. Yeah, with wire. I think we've got a close-up of that, actually, somewhere. Hold on. Um, Kumahimo. Something I still haven't tried. Oh, my gosh, you've got it. It's so easy. <laughs> I can Kumahimo. I love can it. You? Yeah, it's brilliant. Look at that, with the beads in there as well. I can't believe um, you haven't done any Kumahimo. Yeah, so this is really, really lovely. Again, loads of techniques. Um, look at, that's lovely how that's worked out. That's why I worked around. Well done. Wow, wrong way, again. wrong way, wrong way, wrong oh, way. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? Um, so um, Linda says, Amazing. here's my entry for the June challenge. This kit presented a diff different challenge for me. Um, than maize because my designs were component inspired rather than the external garden theme that led the design process for me last time. With this kit I enjoyed daydreaming about maypole dancing um, which came from playing with the reels of ribbon. It inspired me to use plaited ribbon and kumahimo braids in my designs. I like the handmade look which is often part of the folk tradition. In, normal, in a normal year maypole dancing would take place as part of well of well dressing ceremonies in Staffordshire and Derbyshire, not far from where I live. I loved the Druzy pair cabs. The box chain, cup chain, and black ribbon led me down a steampunk industrial route, and I've really enjoyed responding to the different materials and the design process suggested by them. I will be sending my entries in several emails because of the file size. Yeah, they, that's, that is the problem, isn't it? Thanks to Gemma and all the team. Love and light from Linda Kolig. Oh, Linda, amazing, Linda. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, thank you for taking part and, and offering us all that inspiration. And it's exactly, exactly um, what, what the aim is of, of the challenge. So that's great. So Gemma's uh, narrowed it down to the final three. So, yeah. Please stay tuned so there to is find a out if it there. could be you. One of you three are going to win. Now, um, we are going to be releasing the new challenge after Gemma's masterclass, which is coming up now. Okay. So I'm, I'm ready with this piece. So I'm going to show you a few things because... Actually, all the techniques are so simple and easy. Um, I might be a bit boring if I just repeated over and over. So what I, what I thought I could do is show you a couple of ways of using the box chain, um, especially in terms of how to open and close it. So if you've never used it before, I'm always going on about it. So it's really nice to be able to show you why I love it so much. Um, so if we look at it, we've got all these little boxes joined together, giving it the name. So it's a 3D sort of square. And all these little links are linked together um, and all they are, so if I open this up and show you, so if I put my pliers inside, so I've got my flat nose or chain nose pliers here and I put them inside and just open the pliers, you see I just squeeze the pliers open and you can see, if I flatten this one out a bit, I can take it out completely, you can see it's just a little flap of metal, just a little strip of metal bent in and therefore it's so easy to open and close the chain uh -huh. and rejoin the chain as well. Okay. So if I show you how, how I've done you can see the necklace just on this end with the three druzy drops in. I'm not going to put three in, I'm going to just put one in to show you how I've achieved that um, because it's exactly the same if you do it with three. So I'm just going to take a length of my druzy chain, uh, 
Druzy chain, of my box chain, and I'm going to open it up. So um, when I want to join two ends together, what I want to make sure is that um, keep the chain flat so it's, it's all sort of not twisted like this because that will stop you knowing which link to open. And if I've got a closed link here, so if I say that these are closed and these are open, can you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we've got a closed one on the end, so I want to make sure that I take an open one from here. So if I take this one, I put my pliers in and I'm going to pull it open like that and I'm just going to remove that link. Just, I'm just going to slide that link out and then I'm going to put this link back so it joins the two. So if I just straighten it out again and bring it into a better position to show you. So I've got my two closed links here and I'm going to join those together with this open one. So I'm going to pop that in to that one there and then I'm just going to slot that link in like so and then I can just close it with my fingers because it's quite soft to do that and then just give it a final little pinch with my pliers and that is that chain linked together now. Okay, you can't see the end or the beginning, there's no evidence of that. And then if I want to set one of my druses, I'm going to take whichever one I, I want and then I'm going to take some 0.4 wire, which you get actually within your bundle. So if you get in the new bundle today, you'll get this too. And your druzy has got a top drill on. So I'm just going to thread that 0.4 wire through that top drill. And this is just going to add a bit of support, OK? And then I'm going to flatten it down across the side so that it sort of um, is going to hide away at the back. And then I'm going to take my box chain. doesn't matter where because it's one solid loop. And I'm going to pop it around. The druzy. So can you see it sort of goes around, it's going to link at the top here. So I'm just going to pull that. So what we want really are two open links to line up. Okay. And then I'm going to take my wire to the back. So I'm just going to lift that off. You can make a mental note if you want. I'm going to try and um, make a mental note of which of which um, which links were together. So can you see I've just Link that together. I'm trying to line up two open links at the top of that druzy, and I'm going to get my 0.4 wire and thread them up through those open links. Okay, so that's one side. Just going to make sure that wire stays at the back of the druzy there. Okay, and then take it the other wire up through the other way. So it's going to sort of support that druzy. Now, you don't have to do this. You can literally glue your druzy in because you've got the flat sides on a druzy and the flat surface of the chain. So actually you can get a really good um, sort of contact to, to use glue in this sort of design. So you see how that's just sat there in that, in that box chain. And then we just um, secure that by wrapping this wire in and around through those same little openings in the box chain. So there's going one way, so they're basically they're going from one side on the other, making it a really strong, secure setting. So if I turn that over, you can see from the back, you've just got that wire going across and in through those two loops. So I'll just do that a couple more times to make sure it's really nice and secure. And then I can get rid of that wire, chop it off and tuck it away. Okay, so if you, if you want to, you can use your pliers to really help draw that in nice and tight. So I'm going to tuck my wires down through for a last time and then trim them off at the back. Okay. Like I said, if you don't want that wire there, and if you saw what, um, I think it was Linda, what Linda did, she um, covered those little sections where they were joined together with those little triangle beads, which look great. Great little way to cover, cover them up. OK, so there's my um, druzy set. So that could be a necklace on its own, finished and Beautiful. done, ready to go out. Or what I could do to give it a bit more interest, and which what I've done in that um, one pendant that I've got there, or the one neckline piece that I've got there, even though there's three druzy, it's exactly the same technique. So I'm just going to cut myself a piece of ribbon, and I'm going to find the centre. You can count if you want, or you can guess. It's up to you. It's, so there's roughly, if I draw that out, that's roughly the centre. And then I'm going to stitch 
these together. So I'm just going to lace them really. So if I take my ribbon through the first two spaces above the druzy, so I'm going to pop that one through there, and then I'm going to try and keep it flat so you get a nice, the nice surface. And the nice thing about this ribbon is it's double-faced, and so you're going to get, um, even if it does twist, you're still going to get that nice shiny, that nice shiny surface. But try and keep it straight so you get as much colour as you, as you can. And we're just lacing now, so that's the, what the ribbon in. So now we're just going to sort of use it then to lattice and lace um, the top sort of section of chain to the bottom. So if I just pull that up, take my ribbon across the back and just up through one of those, one of those spaces in the box chain. Okay, back down. And you know, this is something as well. You can get um, the children involved in lacing this, lacing this together because it's really easy, and they can really get inventive with the with lacing patterns. Mm. They can do crisscrosses or zigzags, or use you know a couple of colours together to create nice effects. So, just so just take your time to make sure that those ribbons, so they'll look nice and neat if they're flat. So just line them up. And so then we've got the ribbons coming out here and we can then just, however you like now, you can just um, make this pattern however you like. So if you want to do sort of crisp, you can cross over there to make a little cross in the middle like that and go back down through those um, little holes. And, it, you know, again, you, you can be as inventive or you know, experiment with the different, different ways of, you know, putting the threads, different positions of the threads, or the ribbons to make different patterns. And also the space between, the spaces between um, where you're threading as well. So if you increase the spaces, you'll get um, more, more of the silver showing, more of the box chain. If you decrease, if you've got your threads up here, it's a good idea to um, zap the ends of the ribbon and it passes, so it gives it a bit more um, sort of stability when passing it through. So obviously, here in the studio, I'm trying to hold it in shot. At home, I could probably bring it up and do it a lot neater um, and a lot easier than I'm making this look, but it is just very simple to do. And as with anything, when you do the first one or two, it's always those that are most difficult because you're trying to hold things in place whilst getting them started. Let me just stick, cut that on across. Just, just there. So just to help me get that through, I've just cut that on a on a, an angle so I've got a bit of a point to go through. Okay, so. You can see the other side, I can't. Is it? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> okay, so let me put that straight and then we'll hopefully pull these ribbons through and start seeing our pattern developing. Where's that one gone? Okay, so give it a wiggle. You see my crisscross? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend any more time trying to get that straight because that will be just be a bit boring for you to watch. But basically, that's how, that's how I've constructed that necklace. And you just now carry on weaving in and out, giving yourself the pattern on the side, and then um, you can attach another piece of box chain um, up here if you want to, to carry on around the neck, or do as I've done and use the ribbon to create sort of just a ribbon tie for the back. But really, really simple um, technique to make quite a striking effect. Thank you so, so much, Gemma. Where? Thank you, darling. I'm just going to give yeah. everyone these chains we've just got a receipt Ooh, of before nice. you move on. That's what I um, get And them. we've got about 10 minutes until we launch the new kit, which you haven't seen yet. So I'm going to give you which one first, Danny? The white topaz you've got on chains. Now, I do dip in and out of all of the Facebook pages, and a lot of the jewellery maker addicts love this chain. I'm obsessed with it too. So... I tell you what, um, mm. 
Gemma, we, I had this with um, Laura Binding the other day and she made me some anklets and I love it. Don't you just wear it so comfortably? Uh, mm. But it's so delicate. I think it could be very bridal. Very. You could put this in earrings, you could put this in tassels and it comes on a metre spool. Yeah, it's going to save you a lot of time, isn't it? Can you imagine <laughs> actually yeah. having to rosary link a metre of gemstones? It would take you hours and hours and hours of your life. Or you could just buy this. Now, how many have we got, Danny? We're down to the final 60 and it's going under £10. Wow. So you better act fast. XPV V16. We're announcing the winner. We're announcing the new kit in this hour. Stay tuned. XPV V16, £8.95. Gillian, you're there. Uh, oh, 15% of the stock has gone. London takes two. Jackie, Essex, 20% uh, of the stock gone. Sally, Kat, Wanda, Alison, Rachel, Gillian, Denise, Collector in Wiltshire, Joan in Derbyshire. I've got the black spinel coming up for you as well. You need it. Annalise, Collector in Buckinghamshire, Maureen in Cheshire, two anonymous buyers. Sujay, half the stock has now gone. I mean, that's how quick you're getting these. This will sell out today. We are now over allocated that's on that amazing. one. But they just go, they're so brilliant. And I think a lot of people have got the originals and now gone, I need more mm. of that. And the thing is, we don't know when we're getting things back in because, you know, if we, no. please God, we don't go to another lockdown. But if we do, who knows? Get it now. Get it now. I'm never going to, there's certain things I'm never going to go back to. I'm always going to have a nice garden just in case <laughs> it happens yeah. again. Uh, now, I've done my garden over lockdown and I'm never, go, I'm never turning back. No. We've got 60 <laughs> of these, so if you, and that one does look, has it sold out officially now or is it all, if you, you've got to check out, if you call for it, it might tell you that's sold out online because they're all put in baskets. Try on the phone lines and then they, the call centre can start taking it out and check baskets now. The exact same, but in black spinel, coming to you now. Same price, which is mad. Both for £18. Please do take advantage mm. of this deal. It really is incredible. Uh, Stacey was fast as fingers first on that one. Sue J was uh, faster behind. Collector takes three. Jeff, you've got yours. Suffolk takes two. Alison, Helen, Sally, Elzebieta, uh, Gillian, Marilyn, Collector in Buckinghamshire. Oh, approaching half the stock has gone very fast. That's going to sell itself out, actually. Mm. Uh, now, we don't want to interrupt the demonstration too much because uh, I know that is annoying for you all at home. And we are going to... Gemma, you've got about uh, seven minutes now until oh. we launch the new kit. The and we're going to launch the winner as well. Oh, we have, yeah. Right, so I'm going to quickly show you how to construct um, this, this large the, the statement piece. Mm -hmm. um, and I experimented with a few ways of doing it, but to keep the fluidity in it, so to keep it nice and uh, movable, um, I decided to use a bit of a gizmo coil using some of the wire as well and that's going to sit at the top and it's just going to help me keep my ribbons coming in and out, okay? Mm -hmm. So you'll need a gizmo coil which is um, made with the 0.8mm wire and I'm just going to stretch it out and I want those um, spaces in between to be sort of as wide as the box chain links. Right. Okay, so you, you know, you don't have to do it all in one go. You can sort of do it as you go along as well. So we want them sort of spaced out so they're sort of as wide as the box chain links. It doesn't have to be perfect, so don't worry. You'll need that set aside. I'm just going to cut myself a little bit less so I've got less to work with. Um, and then you want the piece that's going to go around your neck, so the, the top of the collar, that's going to sit there. And then you'll want to cut a graduation um, of various lengths of the box chain. So I've gone for, you know, just a, one long centre one and um, then shorter ones gradually decreasing by two boxes each time. Okay. Okay. Um, then the other thing that's important with this is that, you know how we saw about the, saw with the openings at the bottom of the box chain? So here is the open end. Make sure all the open ends are down at the bottom and you've got the closed ends at the top. That's going to stop the potential for any ribbon to slip through um, when you start attaching, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black ribbon. You can choose whichever ribbon you like, but I use the black. I'm going to start stitching these together. So I'm just going to use a shorter length because we're not going to do the whole thing because it's very repetitive. Once you've done it, and once you've got it done, it's, it's ready to go. So I'm going to start off by just um, attaching the, making sort of the neckline piece. So we're going to line up our box chain. We're going to go through, um, through the loop. Now, 
if I'm because I'm showing you the whole process in just a few short in just a shorter demo, um, I'm showing you just from this end. But what I would do is I would start in the middle yeah. and work that way, ah, right, and okay. the middle and work that way. That way, you very unlikely to have to add any ribbon. Right. You can work with a nice long length, but only half at a time. It makes and it much have your easier. ends in the correct place at yeah. the end. Yeah, yeah, that makes so sense. It makes it easier. And if you do have to join, it means you have to join in the same place each side. So it's you know um, easy. Right. So. You can see I've gone up through um, my links, and what the box, what the little um, gizmo coil is going to do, it's going to sit at the top, and it's going to allow us to just take our wire over it, and it's going to trap it and bring it back down through the next row along. Anything else I found got in the way too much, and these you can move around if you wanted to into a curve. So it's actually a really versatile way of keeping that all oh. all together. So I'm going to come back up through. Um, just remember every time to make sure you come the same side of same side of the coil and down. So if you go over the front of it, make sure you go over the front again before you come back down. Okay. So now then we come to adding in our little sort of dangles or waterfall then or cascade whatever you want to call it of the box chain so I've got those caught in now when you get to this stage because you'll have worked from the end it will be really nice and stable okay it's not going to um, flop around as much as mine is going to because I haven't worked along as as much as you will have I'm just going to pop that one over okay Okay, so what we've got here then, I'm going to take, take my first little section of chain. I'm going to line it up, and I want it to line up with, um, you know, with the next part that I'm going to go up through. So I take the ribbon, and I pass it through the little link at the top. Okay, make sure that ribbon stays flat, because that will help it sit nicely. And then go back up through the next link along and again over that gizmo coil at the top stopping it from pulling back through when you come down through the next link so over the top around and down through the next link next one in the row Go threaded it through. Okay, make sure you're pulling it nice and tight so that it's all lining up nicely. So now you're ready to add in your next one. Oh, sorry, did that wrong. You don't come through the next one along. When you get to adding in your rewind, rewind, rewind. you've got about a minute left. When you come to add in your um, chain in you don't go to the next one along you go down back down through the same one you came up um, because otherwise you end up with spaces in between your um, sort of dangly section and we don't want those spaces we want them to all sit nice and flush together so you get that sort of sheet um, metal look so if I take my next piece if you were go if you went along through the next one you'd have little you have spaces like that in between each one and we want them to sit together so you can back down through that same link thread on your next little section of chain and then go up through the next one along okay so you go up through every other one but down through that same link when you want to apply attach the next section of chain okay so up through there you just do that again so that it's nice and clear so up through there and then around your gizmo coil and then down through that same section all right uh, and that will make sure that they all sit nicely together in a row perfect okay so that's that technique if um, if i just actually bring Beautiful. this one bring this one over that finished piece does look like something like amanda holden would wear it's yeah it's lovely i know i'll be wearing this one it's this beautiful is definitely one i'll be wearing and that little bit of wire around the top you know really helps as well with its sort of keeping its structure and its form for yeah that it gives it section. its curve doesn't it yeah it really beautiful helps. Uh, if you see at the end all i've done is taken that ribbon through the end of mm -hmm. that gizmo coil so a little bit Gorgeous. extra on the end tighten the coil up and run the ribbon through so you can just tie a knot
perfect if you would that. like to make the same you need to purchase the second kit that we gave to you right i think it's about time to be launching should we do you want to do the winner first yeah, or let's, yeah let's do, do the, the winner. winner first okay so if you were one of the three you will be waiting with bated breath because Gemma Crow, please take it away and announce the winner of the £100. Thank you. Thank you so much to everybody who entered Gemma's challenge. If you would like more details, please visit Crow's Mojo on uh, Facebook. Or, of course, you can get hold of Gemma directly on Facebook as well. Gemma, please announce so, your winner. I bet it was our, difficult. It, it, it's always so difficult. And it's not... Just to, just to clarify, before you think about taking part in the next challenge or it makes you worried that it's a competition, it's not necessarily about the most amazing, outstanding, giant piece of jewellery. Okay. It's more about how you've interpreted the materials, if you've tried something new. The journey. The journey, yeah, the process. It could be something really quirky and unusual. Um, and for me, the complete clincher with this one was that butterfly. It was just ah! so clever. <laughs> so the winner is, um, of course, Linda Cha Lisa, yes! Lisa Channon. Well done, Lisa! <laughs> Lisa, well done, Lisa. Absolutely gorgeous. And the journey that you went on and the fact that you know, it was new and it pushed you out of the comfort zone. It was just brilliant. It was a lovely story. And is that Lisa who's only just started jewellery making? Yes. Yeah. Unreal. So that butterfly, I think, is just so clever. Such a clever use of materials. Really inventive. Thinking outside the box, isn't I it? I mean, there's, there's all the jewellery was absolutely gorgeous. Um, this piece as well is really lovely. They're all lovely. Um, but I just, I love the journey and the inspiration. So... Really well done, Lisa. Thank you for taking part and enjoy spending your £100 credit to your time. Well done, Lise. Text us in. Please text us in. Right, Gemma. Yes. I think Nusi She's, um, is bringing the kit. So please, all eyes on Nusi, everybody, bringing the new challenge kit in. Here it's she the is. Day. It's the Nusi. Remember, be a pig apart, a pig apart. Now, uh, Gemma, this is your new challenge kit. Uh, so I don't think it comes in that box. We're just giving you I in, in the box. box. Nice so box. please, Gemma Crow, <laughs> reveal, reveal your kit. The details are going to come up oh, on your on. screen very, very soon. But if you would like to get involved in Gemma's next challenge and win yourself potentially £100 credited, just like Lisa did today, to your Jewelry Maker account, you don't have to have ever done this before. You might be brand spanking new. What have you got, Gemma? Well... Actually, this is this is an unusual challenge. Go on. Why? Uh, because I've got three strands. Absolutely gorgeous, actually. I don't. I'm not entirely sure what the You've blue is. You've got picture Jasper. Picture so Jasper. Delight. One of my favourites. So it is so delight. And delights. then you have got. That's gorgeous. Multi gem. It's, oh, sorry, it's pyrite, that, reconstituted I, pyrite. Yeah, I, can see the, I can see the silvery flex in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. That beautiful colour. There are three brand new strands, I'm just being told, because this has got to be a secret, and of course, because I've got the amazing. biggest mouth in the building, I can never know. Right, this is actually really, this is really nice. It's, it's a, yeah, so I've got a one millimetre gold plated, a champagne coloured gold, um, Copper wire. wire. Yeah. Um, I've got a 0.8 millimetre champagne gold coloured copper wire. And I've got a 0.4 um, gauge champagne gold coloured copper wire. So th three lovely gauges. Fabulous. Um, you can add can, one thing though, can't you? Can you can add one other component, yeah. So you can add another component, which is brilliant. And then these three, absolutely gorgeous strands. What are they, 10 millimetre rounds? They're 10 millimetre rounds, Look yes. Those. Now, this is your opportunity at home. You could get involved. And we're going to give you a really great price to do that. We'll be yeah. talking to Gemma about her early thoughts in just a sec. Right now... Oh, I love this. We're going to give you your challenge. For £24.95, XFXC20. Early thoughts, Gemma Crow. Well, do you know what I'm thinking? This is If you've never taken part in the challenge before, because it might be a bit daunting, this is actually a really lovely, easier way into it. Yeah. You can try new techniques with wire, um, and you can add another element, so you can add something. What, are you, what would you add to that? 
I don't know yet. I think I, what I would probably do is just start, Get home first. start playing and maybe I'll think, right, this is an ideal time to use a specific tool or try a specific technique. Mm -hmm. So maybe then that will inform me what I add. But well, actually, I've got some tools. I don't know whether you were looking over and you saw them and thought, give me them. I, have, I didn't know we had tools things. in. That's what I was waiting to see what tools we got. What tools have we got? <laughs> We've got the wig jig, apparently. Love that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So a wig jig, the Olympus light with the pins is what you get. Do I get this? I don't get the big round thing as well, do I? I get, I get this as well. This big thing. No. Yeah. OK. So I've got the Olympus light here. Uh, and this is the Olympus 10. I don't know, if you, have you ever used a wig jig, Gemma? Um, Wiggy jiggy Gemma? I used a jig years ago, but not this. Not, I've definitely not used this. It's very, very popular. I know yeah. Alison Terry has done a, a few demos on this. this. I've done some lovely jig work. And the lovely thing about using a jig, a, a gr this is great, again, if you are new and, and you're not confident with wire, you're not confident with symmetry. Yeah. Jigs are perfect because you can get the same result every time. It's great for building confidence. Perfect. You've yeah. got uh, QR codes on the back as well to show you how to use them. It's like, um, it's like battleship, so you stick the pegs in. And the thing is, you can make the same finding over and over and over again. And yeah. it'll always be exactly the same. £24.95, ITXC12. Keep coming in for the kit. It hasn't sold out yet, but it will, we think. Um, and you can, you'll be in with a chance of winning £100. Let's give you next. Which one, sorry? A spool tamer? Well, I don't know what these are, you see. I've never seen them. They're boingy, boingy things. Do you know what you do with... Will I pass you some? You can pass me one and I'll demonstrate it in action if you like. I love it. Yes, please. These are great for you. You get Find loads. Oh, crikey, yes. You've got absolutely loads. How many do I get in a pack? 25 of Beadalon spool tamers. We're about to learn why we need these in our life. Right, so um, they're elastic. Yeah. Little elastic things like this. And you can, you can tighten them, make them bigger or smaller. And you've got this little plastic section here with a hole in the middle. So you pop the end of your wire or beading thread right. through there. And then you just pop this onto your spool, the elastic keeps it all in place and you can then release the ah, wire genius. from the spool easily but it doesn't tangle. Oh my gosh, it won't pin! We all need those! Very, very, very useful. And you can wind it back up by um, turning it, pulling the tab and wrapping it back round. Yeah. Wow. Now, listen, we've only got a, a couple of seconds left. Thank you so much. Your details are there. Make sure you're quick. Uh, we have got... Gemma Crow, coming, you're coming back, back of course, three. in with Becky in wow. an hour. You've got an hour off. Uh, now we've got, um, did we do the, oh yes, the garnet is coming up later on. There's all of Gemma's challenge. We'll have a quick look at that. Sorry, we had so much to fit into one hour. But Debbie Debbie Kershaw is coming up in a couple of hours as well. Do not go anywhere. Gemma Crow will be back in an hour with the wonderful Becky. We cannot, cannot wait to see next month's challenge. Thank you so much, Gemma Crow. You're you are coming back in an hour. I'll see you in two. Here's Becky. have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewellerymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre.
The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Hi, my name's Jake and I'm Gemporia's gemstone investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced Jewelry Maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello and welcome to Jewelry Maker.
Erica, it's lovely to be with you today. How are you doing? How's your day been? What day are we on today? We're on Wednesday. How's your week so far? It's hump day, people say, don't they? Hump day. Get your mind out the gutter. It's about <laughs> how, you know, Monday, Tuesdays are caught, you reach the hump and then way easy sailing down to the weekend. Yeah, that's what it means. Um, <laughs> don't know what you've been doing on Wednesdays. Anyway, um, I hope you're having a fabulous Wednesday. My name is Rebecca Reddy Can Be. You can call me Becky. And I have to say, I am, as per usual, um, you know, sort of excited about kit time. You know, I'm a creative too. I love, I love the craft time. It's one of my favourite times of the day. Um, what I have got for you today, I am so, so, so excited about because I have not said this sentence in years <laughs> and I have to say that I am slightly giddy about it. Today, it is my absolute and complete pleasure to invite our gorgeous guest designer to the show. It's the wonderful Debbie Kedjo! <laughs> How are you, lovely lady? I am okay, and it rained once again when I came down the M1 every Difficult. single time for yeah. the last three shows. So are you trying to say that you're the one bringing this? Sorry, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I am a jinx, you're and jinx I'm sorry. It. You're jinx. It's it. so lovely to see you. Oh, it's so gorgeous It's been to see literally you. years. Literally years. Literally years and years. And I remember when I first started working here in 2013, and, and Deb was one of our core cool guest designers, and when you first start in any job, I suppose, you know, it's dead nerve-wracking and everything. And I remember that you were just so sweet and lovely, and instantly, uh, you just made me feel very much at ease. You were my first ever guest designer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. lovely to hear. Yeah, that was really nice. Oh, she's a bab. And to tell you what, she knows her way around some gemstones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she has been crafting up a storm with us um, today. We've got an incredible kit on its way. If you love blues and you love turquoise colours and you love Labradorite, then you're totally in the right place today with the lovely Debbie Kershaw. So, I've got loads to come. Um, I will let you know that I've got some nuggets on the way and a serious feast of them as well. I've also got something very special which I'm going to keep under my hat, but I will say under the sea to you. Mm. Let me get started, if I may, with my stretchy bracelets. How fab are these? These are absolutely beautiful. Um, they don't all come together. I'm going to do the lemon quality ones first. This is your lemon quartz, so it's these two. You do get two of them. It's this one and this one that you'll get together. But I'm going to do this full range of colours for you today. When you're looking at these, I love actually how the, the three of them sort of trio in together. Have a little look at that lemon quartz, okay? Now, what are you seeing at the heart of it? You're seeing a brilliance, aren't you? Brilliance, for those who don't know, is a term um, that's essentially to do with that aura-like quality of light in the center. Who's singing? I'm, I'm gonna guess it's either Danny or Jenny. It's one or the other. <laughs> it was Danny, beautiful voice. <laughs> um, we've got this um, surface quality. And when the light hits the surface, that's referred to as luster. You might have heard the word luster if you're not sort of prone to the gemstone world in like those hair care adverts. Have you ever heard that? When someone's doing, um, you know, washing hair or whatever, and uh, the lady in the advert will go, you know, oh, my, my hair is now so lustrous after using hair care, you know, with... What's that one? Conditioner, that's the word I'm looking for. That's the word. My hair is so lustrous, and it's usually a picture of her before looking sort of like a sort of, you know, um, like a little bit, like her hair's kind of going all over the show, like she's a, a scarecrow or something. Like and me. then, <laughs> I said today your hair looks beautiful. <laughs> and then it kind of, you know, she's usually stood under a waterfall and she puts in a conditioner and she's like, my hair's so lustrous. And she sort of swishes it back like, you know, the mane of a pedigree horse. Um, but yeah, luster. It's the shine, it's the sheen. That's what's happening internally with these and that effect is natural. It doesn't happen in all gemstones but these ones it's doing it beautifully. I'm bringing you two of your stretchy bracelets. You don't have to have them as stretchy bracelets if you don't want. You can cut them up. You can put little spaces in between these if you want to to add your own je ne sais quoi. Both of them today, one price. 
for all of that shine, for all of that internal luster, $9.95 for both of them. When I've got these laying down on, on the desk, can you see the light shining through these and actually how it brings you that almost sort of dew drop of light on, on, on the bottom of these? That's what it's going to bring to your skin. Um, it's going to bring that effect to your skin. I don't know if you're sort of, you know, if you ever put highlighter on in makeup, don't know if you've ever done that. Highlighter is generally like a high sheen product and you'll put it kind of in the places of your face that you want to kind of pop out, make them look a little bit more um, sort of full bodied. That's the kind of effect that this gives you. It's highlighting the skin. Both of them $9.95. I'm going to move on. Next up, I'm going to bring to you the Peach Moonstone. I love these all in together. I really do. I think they work so nicely. Peach Moonstone is one of those um, stones that I think matches with any skin tone, any skin colour. Um, the interesting thing with the Peach Moonstone of that colouring is that it's the type of stone that you can wear it in winter all the way through to summer. So fingers crossed we will be getting a little bit of sun at some point soon. Even when your skin tone goes a little bit darker with the sun, these are going to match beautifully. And my, uh, my dad's is, uh, he's got really sort of sort of rosier, sort of English rose skin, he's very, very pale, he's got sort of Irish descendants, and my mum is originally from Antigua, so she's got really, really rich skin. This matches both my mum's and my, uh, mum and dad's and my skin tone because of that quality. So this is a really, really nice way for you to wear a genuine gemstone that you know is going to be complementary to your skin tone all year round. Again, I'm going to bring you the two of them. We've got $12.95 on these ones for you, £12.95 for the both of them. That beautiful nude skin tone, it's really pretty. It's going to work so well with everything. And I love as well that that lovely colour, that nude colour, that sort of blush hue, it's also going to work with any metal, isn't it? So, for example, you know, if I pop this with some gold, if I just find, here's the knot. See the knot? Yeah. So you might want to cover the knot with, say, a crimp tube, let's say. That works really nicely, doesn't it? But again, it would work with silver, it would work with rose gold. Finally, I'm going to bring to you the smoky quartz now. The smoky quartz, a real deep, intense stone. And um, Debbie, what do you like about smoky quartz, please? I absolutely love smoky quartz. I went through a phase where it was my favourite gemstone. Yeah. I changed my mind as I go along. Yeah. But I just really love it. I think it's gorgeous with gold. You can also put silver with it as well. Yeah. And I just love the colour because you've got like that neutral colour but without it being like black or white gemstone. Completely. It's that nice sort of even in between, isn't it? We're going to do your price drop on these ones, your price today, just £12.95. Now, I don't know about you, but um, sort of when I've been, you know, nipping around to shops and, and shopping a bit online and things like that. You know, it is amazing how many big, well-known jewellery brands do stretchy bracelets now. Um, for me, I remember, you know, starting working here and, and thinking, you know, talking about stretchy bracelets as something that was um, maybe a little bit more of a handcraft thing. But actually, you think of the likes of Thomas Sabo's done stretchy bracelets, Links of London have done stretchy bracelets, amongst many, many others. It's a great, versatile and wearable selection. And to get all of these colours which I think pair in so nicely together. It really is going to be a collection that could look like you've spent, say, 60, 70 pound per bracelet in one of those well-known stores. But in fact, here today, you've only spent about, what, £6.50 on these ones? Brilliant, isn't it? Considering how much genuine gemstone you're getting in there as well. If you like a bit of texture in your gemstones, may I per chance mention Sapphire? Coming up on its way, in the matte finish. These ones are coming up on their way for you. Maybe you could have them as little charms. Could do. £12.95 for you today. Okie poke -lick. I'll pop them away. Um, do feel free to grab which ones you want. Again, all three go well together, but if you're just going to grab the two of them, then absolutely do. Let's get diving in, shall we, to creativity. And wow, this is such a wonderful kit. Um, it's one of those kits that when I first saw it and you just see it in flat form on picture, I thought, okay, yeah, I can understand how that will work. But then when we actually saw Debbie's jewellery, it just goes to show that with a bit of nous, uh, you can really take this to the next level. Debbie, tell us a little bit about what you loved about this kit, please. The colours. 
turquoise absolutely love even though it's not a turquoise gemstone it's turquoise color and labradorite is one of my absolute favorites mm. so just beautiful and it's nice to have a different shape as well so the tubes were gorgeous yeah and i was like oh mm, mm, what am i going to do with these you know i've worked with tubes for crumbs ages because i've been a bit of a seed bead head yes yeah so yeah, yeah. Like, oh proper jewelry making you know different yeah back to sort of old style so i just had so much fun just thinking about and also i'm very about it being wearable at the yeah. minute as well so I, I usually start off with what would I like to wear? Oh, that's good. You know, what, what jewellery do I like? What, you know, and then I sort of go from there. But it was yeah. great fun. I really enjoyed it. And you can see that you've had fun because you haven't almost just looked at the beads as, as individuals. You've played with the shape of them to create your own shapes. Yes. Um, and sometimes that just starts out with me taking the tubes and I started out by just doing a triangle. Right. And then the triangle ended up to be sort of a bit of a medicine wheel kind of affair. But I didn't have a plan. No. I just went with the flow. Yeah, that's lovely. I don't always have a plan, but um, they're just so beautiful, the gemstones. And I think there's a lot of shapes that you can make when you've got these tubes because you can make squares, you can make triangles, you can put them together like in... Um, this necklace mm. here you can see that I've just put sort of a few beads together and and just really ladder stitched them mm. to make a pendant but you could also use that as a bracelet if you wanted to you could do loads of those and just put it around That's your wrist so quite a lot of them can be changed into different types of jewelry so they're kind of multifunctional, actually. Yeah, like little components. Yeah, really. little components, little motifs. So to make your motifs, you're going to want the gem signs. And I have to say that, um, you know, if you just had the tubes by themselves, that would be good. But obviously, Debbie's been able to sort of change angles and make these shapes using the round. So it's great, I think, that we've got the three uh, strands with the two different shapes. So first things first, it is your tubes. And I'm going to be bringing to you Magnesite. And we've added that lovely turquoise colour very summertime very um, sort of optimistic I think it will go brilliantly with my night owl which I'll tell you a bit about later I've then got this labradorite and the labradorite itself has got these brief moments of labradorescence which I think makes it quite surprising when I was walking past the um, pair of earrings that Deb made with the labradorite before it's actually the first thing that caught my eye there was this little glimmer underneath the surface so really nice in this elongated shape to be able to get that movement if you love the colors that labradorite gives you I have got something very 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 special coming up in this hour it's the under the sea thing I was mentioning before. I'll tell you more about that later. I'm keeping it under my hat. As well as those, I'm going to be bringing to you the perfect pure rounds of agate. Um, I want to guess that these are four mil. What is the size on these, B D? I can't see for some reason on my specification. Four mil, these ones are. Um, so you're going to be getting this lovely, delicate size. It's not a size that we see that often. As well as those three, you're going to be getting the essentials with added bonus points, um, including magnetic clasps. So in this, we're going to be bringing you your findings. You've got lots of things, including but not limited to chain, crimp, uh, crimps and jump rings. But I'm also bringing to you magnetic clasps with a real snap. Ooh, ooh, that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> Two of them I'm going to get. Uh, oh, oh, wait, I want to do it again. I'm going to. Oh, it's like magic. It's not, it's science, but hey. I've also got for you head pins in here, which I haven't seen in goodness knows how long. I've also got your featherweight head pins. If you don't know what a featherweight head pin is, it looks a little bit um, sort of scraggly, if I'm honest. But all you do is with your flat nose pliers or with your hands, you just straighten them out. And they're mega, mega fine. They're super fine so that they're going to go through even your most luxurious of gemstones. Got plenty of those, and you've also got your threading material. Now, can I just say, if you are new to jewelry making or relatively new, then I will say that tomorrow at 6 p.m., I've got an hour for you. It's a really special one, but this is basically one of those kits that's great if you are just starting out or you need to stock up. You've got all your threading materials, elastic, monofilament, and your beading thread. That price point on screen, already a discount already a discount deal because actually with the original prices of everything this should be £38.75. The reason your screen now reads £30.75 is because one or more of the things in this kit will have been dropped in price on air in the last 30 days. Okay, So that price is already eight quid off. You've got £8 back in your pocket. Happy days. Skip, skip around. £8 is good. 
but we're live on air. We want to make it even more exceptional. We want to make it even more spectacular. We want you to be able to get in, get ready, get crafting. So let's do it. We are going to roll this down for you today. Already £8 saving today, though, from the original RRP. I'm giving you 48% discount. It's 19.95. In fact, it's 48.5% discount. So I'm going to round it up. Uh, you have got there around about 49% discount. 19.95 from that original price. I think for what you're getting here, that is really, really good price. Threading packs like these, we do them here at Jewelry Maker about six quid, but actually Actually, you know, even getting monofilament in my local crafting store, you're looking at about four pounds for a reel like that, let alone beading thread, which generally costs more because there's metal in the center of it. So actually, you know, the price you've got on screen, making these one, two, three, four, five components, around about, what, four pounds each, is it, about? I think that is a sublime, sublime, sublime price point, especially as you're counting all of these as one component, let alone the gemstones at that price individually. You've got yourself something really, really special here. What do you think of that price then? That's amazing. And especially if you wanted to get started out and you want all of your findings that you're going to need. I mean, obviously not every single finding in the world, but all of the important ones. Yeah. You've got a massive findings kit as well. Yeah. And also, even if you're um, an experienced jewelry maker, you always need more findings, don't you? Yeah. Well, I do. Yeah, because you go through them, don't you? Yeah, you go through them. You do. I mean, there are sort of findings that you can make. The eye pins, for example. Mm -hmm. But try and make a crimp tube. Good luck. <laughs> and I mean... Yeah, no. It's not going to happen. It's not. No. So it's, oh, and I've just realised, sorry, these have got stud earrings in them. I've not seen this finding pack before. Stud earrings as well. Well, this is very cool. Very cool collection indeed for 19.95. So we're going to look at making one of your motifs, aren't we? We are. I thought that we'd look at making um, the little component that I've used on the necklace here. Mm -hmm. Because as I said, you could also use that as a bracelet or whatever you want really you can do one you could keep going and use it as a necklace so really nice and easy and then in my wisdom <laughs> I decided I'm going to demo with monofilament which is see-through so oh cool this should be um interesting no I like that it keeps you on your toes right lovely <laughs> Okay, so what I've used as far as tools with this is a collapsible needle to go through the tubes. Now, a collapsible needle is just literally a piece of wire and you can put your monofilament through. Now, I have tried this with a beading needle and it does work. So you can use a, a, just your regular seed bead beading needle for this as well if you want. I would recommend a size um, 11 or 12 if you're going to use a seed beading needle. Okay. Now, I've taken a decent amount of monofilament. You cut this invisible. This is the only brave people demo with this on live television. Yeah, brave. But you get a whole reel of it, and it's really underrated, I think, monofilament. Mm. I used to sort of get it in the pack and think, what the blooming neck am I going to do with it? But it's really, really good for seed beading as well, and you know I'm a bit into seed beading at the minute. Mm. So I've put sort of about half a metre on there to a metre, but you get so much of it, I would say more is more with this um, so that you don't have to add thread on. And then I'm going to just add a stopper bead. So let me move forward so I'm not under the graphics. Right, there we go. Okay. I'm going to put a stopper bead on. Now, a stopper bead is literally just that. It stops your beads falling off. It's not going to be in your design. It's just going to be there on the end. So I've just used um, a little... Um, bead from my next kit coming on later today and I'm just going to take my needle back around and pull so that that stopper bead now sits on my thread and then it won't my beads won't drop off now this does move so I'm just going to move it up a bit so that I've got a bit of a tail there okay. to either sew in or whatever I'm going to do, uh, do with it at the end or not in okay. right so starting out I added a little bead in between my tubular beads so I'm going to oh do you know what let's do it with these turquoise ones because you've seen it on the bust with the other ones so let's go for the turquoise ones Right, so I'm going to pick up one of my rounds. Now, on the necklace on the bust, I actually used one of the gold stopper beads. There they are. And you do get those in your findings kit. But I can't see them <laughs> without a magnifier on. So I'm going to put one of these and bring it down to my stopper bead. And then to start off with, I'm going to put two of the tube beads onto my thread. 
just to let you know this kit is very popular and um, probably got about 50% of my stock gone at this point so if you do fancy grabbing it remember you've got around about 49% discount from original price so do grab it if you want to recreate what the lovely Debbie's doing now and do you know what I loved about this as well how many times have you tried to get your head pins through um, thin chain and they're featherweight, those featherweight ones. They're the ones well, that always go they? first. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. We're always going to each other, have you got any featherweight head pins? Because we need to make, you know, so you get those in here. I thought that was really good. Yeah, it's And cool, also the it? magnetic clasps I absolutely love. Yeah, they're fab, aren't they? They just make your life so much easier, don't they? Oh, and even when you're putting your own jewellery on and off. Yeah. Satisfying. So I still have to do this because I can't see you otherwise. Oh, <laughs> like Al from Bagpuss. Remember him? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so I've put my three beads on like that and I'm just going to I want these two to sit next to each other like that so I'm going to take my needle missing out my first round I'm going to take my needle back up the first tube that I put on and pull I love this bit it's so satisfying and then it basically pulls together like that now we've brought those two together but obviously we need to go forward so that we can add the rest of our beads so I'm going to go down my second bead again and pull it through and even though these are tubular shape I found the holes are really decent size to work it will take a few passes through the with the monofilament so that's really good so I've got two sitting together now and I need to add another one so we only add two beads at the beginning of a row and then we just add one from then on so I'm going to add on another one of my tubes pop those down to my work so that you're there and then I'm just going to take my needle I'm coming out of the bottom of this bead I'm going to go into the top of that bead like that and this is a satisfying bit give it a pull and then it just comes into sit right next to the other one so that's three you've got on there give it a little tug now if you want it to sit properly you can just pull your tail as well and it will eventually I'm going to go back up that bead again so that I'm actually putting a bridge, a thread bridge between my beads. So I've got three on. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to do five for this one. On the necklace I did four, but of course you can do as many as you want. Let's just go for a different look this time. So I'm coming out of the top of this tube. I'm going to bring my needle down through the bottom and <laughs> pull. There we go, keep your tail out of the way and pull it in. Okay, so now I've got four on. Mm. I'm going to go down again. <laughs> this monofilament's got a mind of its own. I'm going to go down this one and then we're going to be putting on our last bead here. So that's four. Add another one. This is five. Pop it down to your work. and go down the top of that bead. If this were in seed beading, what we a stitch. Yes. So actually, this is a really, really good way of practicing that stitch when you can actually see. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because <laughs> seed beading for yeah. me... Oh, yeah, I can't see. I've one of those Back to the Future head things on. Do you? Oh, yeah, I look really attractive. Oh, I love them. My kids think I'm hysterical. <laughs> You know, needs must now. <laughs> so I've got five on, I'm going to go back up to the top. Now, probably the question would be, how do you get them to sit like you do? That first part was easy. And I'm just going to pop that down onto the mat so that you can see. And now, if I get one that I did earlier to show you how to make them sit, helps if I put it in camera, really, there you go. Um, <coughs> how to make them sit on the diagonal, that's really easy. So what you do is you're going to, you're coming out of your top bead here and you need to decide which bead you're going to use as your in-between bead. So I'm going to use a white bead. What are these white ones, Becky, again? Agate. Agate, right. So I'm going to put my agate down and then I'm going to thread on two of my magnesite tubes on top of it without doing any stitches at all so that I've actually threaded on in this row three beads. Take my beads down all the way and then I'm going to go back up my first tube so I'm completely ignoring 
this little quartz bead. He's just going to sit on the top there. Okay. And then go back up the first tube and pull. So there, now, you've started your second row and you've got your little round in between and this row is going to be on the diagonal so every time you add a new row they're going to always be moving to the right or to the left however whether you're right or left-handed beader so then we need to put five more on here so I'm going to go a bit quicker it's just your ladder stitch again so we only add two at the beginning of a row as we go on we add one take it down to your work go down so that you're pulling that bead to sit next to the okay. other bead. And up. Got caught on the side of the mat. Have you ever tried doing this with like three dogs sitting next to you? <laughs> <laughs> Dog hairs, the jump up, it, you know, it's very relaxing doing it here. There's no interruptions, no. lovely. Do your dogs ever try and uh, help out? Oh yeah. Yeah. The cats are the worst. Oh really? chasing ends of things well no they just get on the bead mat and sit there <laughs> oh <laughs> so you know a cat would appear here yeah which is uh yeah it's lovely a bit distracting yeah <laughs> i wouldn't have it any other way though of course so we've got four there go down and then we're just going to put on our last one pop it on your needle it down it's getting caught on this macrame ball that I've got underneath this mat and go down into your ladder stitch again give it a pull and work up now when you've done as many rows as you want to do with that then you just need to decide you know what you're going to use it for so in my case I actually used it as you saw as a pendant mm. so what I did was when I came to the very last let me get that out of the way when I came to the very last tube yeah I just instead of adding another row I just added a jump ring at yeah. the top mm. so that I could then just use that as a pendant but That's as we lovely. said before you can keep going and then you could make that a bracelet or a necklace and you can add I ch add a chain off the bottom of mine but mm. you could add a charm anything you want really so it's basically ladder stitch I've done four rows here and then five and then four okay. on the necklace that I actually made before I just did rows of four so it's completely up to you it's like a really versatile little component really I think that's so clever I love how you can switch it up I suppose you could even mix the gems with it actually couldn't you because they're the same yeah. sort of look aren't they oh yeah absolutely i mean i used your spacer beads because we have so many findings yeah but you could like on the necklace i didn't add gems to the chain but you could for a sort of waterfall effect that would yeah. be really nice as well yeah. just uh, you know use it all they my are glasses. You don't absolutely want to see fabulous thank you so much for showing us that you're do welcome you, do you want to speak sorry your glasses have just sort of um me off point then but Joe, we were talking about bag bus before they've got a touch of the bag bus about them haven't they do you know what i mean yeah a little bit i like them uh, debbie thank you so 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 much i really appreciate that we are going to bring to you something very 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 special now um a treasure that i was giving you the hint about before the under the ocean treasure this gemstone I'm about to bring to you is from an ancient creature that is now extinct and has been for centuries. That means that with this gemstone, the more we take out of the ground, the less and less there is, essentially, because the creature is extinct. Now this creature, no one actually has, you know, because they died out so long ago, nobody has actually ever seen it in real life and wrote about it, uh, written, sorry, about it. Actually what happened was <clears throat> they found the shells of these creatures and over time and science they've kind of imagined what they might look like. And what people have imagined that these look like, and you can see the sort of historic artist impressions of these, is an under the ocean mollusk for all intents and purposes 
which goes starts off very very small swirls outwards and outwards and outwards imagine like it like a big snail shell and then from the side you get this almost squid like creature with long tentacles and a gnawing beak and this beak could actually crack through other shelled animals so it's kind of this almost magical mythical beast that no one's really ever seen but that's what we presume it looks like I have brought you this gemstone a fair few times I have never brought it to you in a gradable quality now just as a brief overview when we talk about graded stones I do indeed have a slide for this when we talk about graded stones certain stones will have a grading system I'd say the most well-known grading system is probably diamond right so you you grade it whether it's you know VSI or whether it's you know D grade and basically to be clarity and color and they're graded but there are other stones that are graded as well and this stone itself is really unusual in its grading system and we generally won't get as graded because you can tell by looking at it around about where that grading sits. The grading system of this goes in four main parts, four main stages. There's the lower end grade and the higher end grade. And just before we look at these, I want you to have a little look at this grading system with me. So this is information from the Ammonite um, uh, factory. And the Ammonite factory is talking about the different grades of this gemstone. Do you mind if we just scooch that bottom bar out of the way just so I can read the underneath? Thank you, Pompo. So A minus grade gem. So this is the gemstone that is right at the very, very end, very, very dull, very lacking in color. It describes the A minus grade as something which is fragmented and something which when you rotate it under the light, only 90 degree range in color. That I would say is what we have brought to you 20% of the time. A grade gem. So that's the one that's got the bluey colors in it. A grade gem, it talks about how it is usually only one color that shines through and it talks about it being a little bit pale, a little bit dark. You've got around about 180 degrees worth of color on that one. You then go to the one that I am happy to say we bring to you the vast majority of the time. That beautiful yellow, green, pink, the second stone in, that is an A plus grade gemstone. The qualities you get within this, it says, you know, predominantly it'll have two vivid colors and they'll drift around about 240% degree rotation. So, you know, if you imagine that in kind of a percentage, the vast, vast majority of the stone will have this beautiful color and it'll talk about it having some inclusion some inclusions but that's absolutely fine because that is an A plus grade that's incredible obviously then that is topped by the top grade gem not just gem grade top grade some might even say museum quality now that is very 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 rare indeed which is why we very rarely bring it to you but that does exist it's very very rare because around basically the whole table of it will have color obviously there's still textures within there but it's nowhere near um, as much texture and as lacking of color as any of the other grades we're lucky that we bring to you a plus grades i would say the majority of the time i'm about to bring to you for the first time ever double a grade I've never seen this before. I, I've, I've assessed this, I've seen it in museums and I've assessed it in my training with Gem A and the Gemological Institute of America as well. I've seen this quality in, in photograph form. I have never held it in my hands ever before. This is individually, independently, laboratory tested as double A grade. I'm about to bring to you The most incredible, I can't even believe I'm bringing this to you. The colours on this are outstanding. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, I don't know how to describe it. It feels incredible. It looks sensational. This is like what I would imagine, you know, if you found like a mythical creature and you found like a wing, this would be what I would imagine it to look like. I've got to show you this. This is astonishing. Feast your eyes. Officially the premium double A grade of your, oh my gosh, what colours can you see? Officially double A grade of your historic ammonite, your extinct creature, this mythical, magical beast of the ocean, never before seen. Oh my goodness. The colour 
colours you can see are incredible. You can tell that in the A plus grade, you may well be lucky to get two colours. How many colours can you see? How many colours? I can see green and blues to purples just there. Shining in now is reds to oranges, right? What about greens? I might, it's all happening, yellows as well. This is sublime. And one thing I will say is, you don't have to take our word for it that this is double A grade. You get your authenticity card with this. This isn't like the certificate you print off at home. This is like your credit card. This is something that you can save and you can store. So when that you make with this, when you gift this, when you sell this, you have got the opportunity to prove that this is not only from that one location in Canada, but also that this is that premium grade. This is unlike anything I have ever, ever witnessed in real life. If everybody checks out, it has sold out. This is limited. We cannot get this grade like that. We might be lucky to buy 50 of a really executive strand with this. We were lucky to get 10. I have not got that amount now though. Good luck everybody. This is the premium for just £129.95. There's literally one left now. This was limited edition. We weren't able to get you a massive amount of it at the best of times. Literally one of these ones left and there's three of you who want it. Three of you have got it in your baskets. It's literally fastest finger first. This is is an heirloom history piece. This is the type of piece that in, you know, we're lucky to be able to get it now, but in 40, 50 times when more and more of the double A grade has, has, has gone, as I say, this isn't something which is being recreated. This isn't like, oh, I don't know, what are the rare gemstones, tanzanite or quartz, which is forming. This is, this is it. This is what you've got. That, to all of you, I'm not going to mention names because I'm well aware that you may well be getting this to gift it to someone really special. Huge well done. Huge well done. I've got one more of these. One more. I will let you know I've got less stock of this one. So if you missed out on that, it is a smaller carat weight, I'm going to be honest, but for me, in times like these, if I missed out on this one, I would literally be picking up the phone and dialing now because I just want to own double A grade. All right, it might not be the same carat weight, but I want to just own it because this is, as I say, in my mind, like heirloom quality. Let me have a look at this one. Oh, okay. I mean, have I set your expectations high? I don't do that noise for now, do I? Do you know what I mean? Oh, this is just divine. Okay, like, let's do it again. Let's do the side view of this. <sighs> I mean, really. I mean, really. It's like a butterfly wing. It's gorgeous. Doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it's like something out of this world. Yeah, it's amazing. If someone had said, you know, this is like Moldavite and actually it crashed from Earth with this huge, you know, sort of... Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's from outer space. I would not bat an eyelid. I'd completely, completely understand. This is a smaller carat weight, but... Um, don't worry, you're still going to be getting around about a 22 by 12 mil piece. So this is really, really big. Um, double A grade amylite. Um, amylite. This is something very special indeed. The quality, the beauty of light. One thing I will say is, uh, because you know me, it's important to draw these things to your attention. There is a treatment. There is a treatment on this one. Um, the treatment that is A. Now that might make it sound like, I don't know, we've treated it with an A to make it double A. I don't know. It might sound like that. It's actually not. A is for assembly, which basically means when you get these, they're very, very thin pieces. We wouldn't be able to bring them to air to craft with because they would literally snap. Um, so what we do is we literally see that base on it that has essentially been added. So it helps with the strength of this piece. It basically means that you can actually craft with it because otherwise it would be sort of thickness of the side of a ruler, let's say. So that is what the A means. It just means assembly. It's still a genuine gemstone. It's just got more strength. Your smaller size, but still worth an own. I've not got many of these ones now. 49.95 for you, even on that recording. Look at the colors. It's like, a rainbow within a stone, isn't it? It's like, what an amazing gift maybe for a key worker or someone who's, uh, you know, working with the NHS, because that's had a lot of connotations with rainbows in recent times, hasn't it? So this would be a brilliant one to add or to gift. How amazing. And to give them something so special, which is obviously well-deserved. I love that. 
Are you laughing at me, mug? It is, it's a face shape. And I've got another one, which is a red one, it links in it, makes them look like they're smooching. Um, speaking of woo, well done to every single one of you on that. I'm afraid it looks like we've only got one left. That is just a beauty, it really is. Um, tell me what you want me, tell me what you want to be in that box. I'm afraid, sweet cheeks, I have nothing in there. Sorry, B. Sorry. I've got, mm, I presume you want me to say I've got a sterling silver chain. Mine, I do. These ones are like faceted. This is lovely. Do you know, um, I don't know, we were talking about Peter Andre before and his greasy body in Mysterious <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Just things we talk about when we're not on air. Um, um, but do you remember around that time there was the really big trend of particularly lads wearing the ball chain with like the dog tags on the end? Do you remember that? This is a take on that, but with a real femininity in the sense of it's more dainty and delicate but it's seriously faceted look at the glitz on that what do we love about sterling silver chains please well it just gives luxury if you're going to use gorgeous gemstones you need to use pre we don't need to but i like to use precious metals mm. i use these chains a lot because they just add something a bit different yeah they're quite different and if you've got quite an intricate design and you don't want a large chain this is perfect yeah and I'm just thinking, actually, with your uh, love of the seed beading, no, it's, with your love of the seed beading, would you maybe use this chain with seed beading you yeah. know, and hand dependent from it? Because they're all little circular shapes. Yeah, I have done that. I think I did a seed beading the last time I was here and I used a very similar chain mm. to this because I like to mix it up a bit, sort of mixed media. So, you know, bringing the seed beading with other, and obviously I'm a trained silversmith to yeah, start with. So to kind of bring a bit of everything mm. in, mm. I really like doing that. And I do use these, I'm not just saying that, but I do use these chains quite a lot. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful 18 inch piece you've got here. And just remember, when we're talking about silver, the white light that hits this, around about 95% of that light goes back into your eye. That is way more than titanium, way more than platinum, way more than gold. So silver is, I think, for those sort of magpies among us, those of us like myself who love a bit of glitz, a bit of glamour and good at light interaction, this is kind of creme de la creme really. Big luxury on this, big interest in this. Tiny price. £9.95 for you today on that one. I don't know what that voice was. It was weird. Oh, sorry, it happened. Tiny price. I've been listening to too much Harry Potter. Um, £9.95 for you on that one today. I've got a night owl Ooh, coming up for you later on. It's the last uh, deal of the after, well, the day, actually. Um, but it's going, it's a special topaz. One topaz from this would look absolutely incredible because it's so luxurious and high shine. Don't forget that you can juxtapose it slightly. Add a little bit of texture with me and nuggets, if you so wish. That would work really nicely as well, wouldn't it? Especially because of the juxtaposition in the sort of evenness and the high shine with the sort of boho chic matte nature of these ones. So something to bear in mind. Let me whip on screen. Anti-tarnish sheets, well enough. Let me whip on screen for you now. Oh, this is divine. If you go on um, Van Cleef and Arpel's website, because I love having a little nosy on websites like that. Not that I'd ever be able to buy any of them, generally, um, but I just like looking at them because I like to be inspired and see what's, what, what's going on with those at the moment. But if you literally go on it, um, at the moment there's a, um, oh, what are those only birds that can fly backwards? Hummingbird. hummingbird. Yeah. <laughs> there's a hummingbird. That's my impression of a hummingbird, apparently. <laughs> no, no, they don't only fly backwards. <laughs> Could you imagine? Just bumping into stuff. No, that's not what I mean. It's the only bird that can fly yeah. backwards, is what I meant. There's a hummingbird and it, it flits around the screen and then it kind of goes into this forest of lots of flowers and they've got this um, sort of 
theme going on at the moment of floral and all of it is rose gold every single thing on that first whole page and everything the bird flies through is rose gold rose gold is still huge it is still here to stay and if you are fashion forward it's a great one to have in your collection because whether you're wearing it yourself or you're selling it on this by the looks of things is a trend that isn't going anywhere anytime soon and it's been around for quite a while what I love about this chain in particular is for me, this could be a standalone chain. It is dynamic. I can feel the gram weight in this is massive. And actually the gram weight in this is approximately the same amount as the gram weight you would get in two engagement rings. So average gram weight of an engagement ring, you could actually get almost two of them out of this. That goes to show how durable this is gonna be. And when you hold this and when you, you're wearing this, you can feel it and there's that security in being able to feel that weight to it. You know that this is gonna last. And the fact of the matter is, with that kind of gram weight, it's that lasting quality that for me could make this a great lifelong gift. And what I mean by a lifelong gift is, this could be a gift that you give to someone at a christening and they could wear it all the way throughout their life because as well, not only because of that durability, but because of the links in this. Have you noticed? Here's your clasp, right at the very end, the links are exactly the same all the way along. So you could literally put this on a one inch wrist if you wanted to, you literally just do the clasp up here. You could do it in a one inch wrist if you wanted, all the way up to 20 centimeters. So this is something that is one size, really can almost fit all. Say that again, price. In all honesty, looking at that gram weight, I would have probably been guessing jewellery maker price, you know, mad as we are, $24.95. This is a brilliant deal. You ready? £12.95. You know, I was talking about that gram weight and being around about the same gram weight as two, the metal in two engagement rings, yeah. If someone said to you, oh, look, I'm engaged. Oh, yeah, it was only £6.50. <laughs> I mean, you'd, you'd be baffled, wouldn't you? That is what this is working out at though. This is what this is working out at if you were to break it in half. You're looking at about £6.50, you know, for, for what, nearly three grams. We're bringing to you rose gold and sterling silver, mushings of rose gold over the top of it. I think this is incredible. We are going to offer to you now loads of you in on the rose gold. If you fancy something a little bit um, golder. <laughs> I'm going to bring it to you now. Let me show you them together. How do you feel about mixed metals? It's for some people. It's not for others, and I do get that. I'm going to bring you the gold now. If I say gold, what do you think of, please, Debbie? Do you know, I went absolutely years not liking gold. It was silver everything. Me too. And now crazy for yellow gold crazy for it wow even to the point where i put my original engagement ring and wedding ring back on you know you get an upgrade don't you yeah I went yeah back to the original because you love the yellow gold because i love the yellow gold wow and i do mix metals i'm a massive massive fan of mixing metals yeah so i mean how much would that bracelet be in a little boutique jewelers i think 12.95 just wouldn't would it just wouldn't i want every color up for my arm worn together Lovely. yeah and actually, you could really have fun with these doing something like that too, because they're so big. This is dead easy to add charms to, isn't it? Oh, charms or little oh, gemstones. But, you know, if you just, if this is a wear all the time bracelet, go, go in the shower, you know, whatever, because it's precious metal. Yeah. So you can, you know, because quite often I like to have a little bracelet and just keep it on and then just put other ones with it. So yeah. you could with this, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. This could be one that you wear morning, noon, night, mm -hmm. you know, breakfast to the club in the evening, <laughs> do you know what I mean? What the front room you mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> in my case, yeah. yeah. The club in the front room in the kitchen. <laughs> Gold plated, 95 solid sterling silver, 12 pounds and 95 pence. And um, one thing I don't think we talk about that often here at Jewelry Maker is the plating process. Hmm. The plating process is difficult to say the least. There's lots of chemicals and there's lots of time you would expect, I think, for this being gold plated, even just the gold plating time and effort, you'd expect to pay a considerable amount more. Oh, it's not something that you want to do yourself. It's nothing that I've ever taken on myself. No. I would just send something off to be replated because it's just a hassle right. and you need lots of equipment. And I just think to be able to own, this is just such a beautiful, the links are lovely, aren't they? Yeah. 
I, I really like this. I definitely wear this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And also for gifts as well. If you even don't know somebody's taste, who's not going to like this? It's classically beautiful. Completely. And do you know what? You, that's a really good point. You saying, you know, even if you don't know someone's taste, even if you don't know someone's wrist size, yeah, which perfect. I think is one of the lesser known sizes. Quite a few people know what kind of necklace size true. they like. Quite a few people would know their ring sizes. Yes, not true. everyone, but you generally know it for at least one finger, won't you? Wrist size, though, not a scooby-doo, most people. No, and it's a dead giveaway when you say, can I just measure your wrist? Why? No reason. No reason. Yeah, exactly. No reason. Yeah. So you can do this up on any one of the links, right? Completely. Any single one. Any single one. So if you hung a head pin on the very last link with like a little round gemstone round on, yeah. then it doesn't matter if that hangs down because it immediately becomes a little accent, a little charm. Yeah. God, so I'm just pretty. a little think here. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. You could even do something to another chain here yeah you could you could get another one yeah another one yeah do a little hand adornment thing well i never um there we go 12 pounds 95 is your deal on that one today a beauty of a chain i have to say really really pretty and it's just so weighty so weighty let me bring to you oh, a bit of k2 jasper K2 Jasper is from the second highest mountain range in the world and it's a really individual and unique stone. This has got orbs of beauty locked inside it and it's azurite that we've got within here. If you imagine and sort of hold your mind to what sort of the top of, of that huge mountain range might look like, okay? In fact, we don't need to imagine because B Diddy hasn't deleted me email that I sent her. Oh no, no it's not. Um, here you go, so that picture there is the top of Mount Goodwin, Austin, which is uh, kind of one of the peaks of, of the K2 region. And uh, there's a little, few little interesting facts there about it, like for example, how it stands at around about 8,607 meters high. Um, the interesting thing is, I think, when you're looking at that mountain range, it's those white peaks with those jettisoning out sort of slopes of rock and ice and it's the blue it's so pure white that the blue of the sky actually is reflected in that that location is where we get this stone from and those colors are mimicked within the stone itself to be able to get and you think about those jagged slopes those icy edges you think about those shapes and those you know sort of motions let's say within the range and the ice whites mixed with those reflective blues this stone has all of that locked within it it's almost like mother nature's looked out on that vista from k2 and gone do you know what that's beautiful i want people to be able to actually own that and that's exactly what this is you have the chance right here right now to own completely natural K2 Jasper. We've got these huge drilled rectangles. They are really sturdy and they're really, really 3D. I think this is going to make great unisex jewellery. You've got pieces here, size for earrings, bracelets and necklaces as well as rings. Today we're giving to you £19.95 from one of the most difficult mining regions in the world. This snapshot of this beautiful vista-like gemstone. It's so individual, it's so unique. Debbie, what do you think about this when you're looking at it? What comes to mind? Well, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I worked with a similar strand to this on a challenge yeah. like a couple of shows ago. I hadn't seen it before. No. But you know that picture that you just showed? Yeah. They look like that picture. They look like the mountain, don't they? Do. They do. It's incredible. Well, isn't it? But I love anything that looks like it's been plucked out of the ground, that's organic, you yeah. know, that's what I love about this. And like each one, when I was looking at it closely, looks like someone had painted a scene on it. It's just yeah. really beautiful in, in a way that I've not seen before. It's so individual and so unique, and I love the way that you put that, yeah, like sort of plucking it from the earth. That's, that's what these look like. This isn't... This isn't artwork, this isn't painted on, you know, this is mother nature. It's kind of magical, I have to say. £19.95 and pence for something quite different, quite unusual. And one thing I will say, actually, I think it'd go rather nicely with some of the colours in your kit. Oh, it'd be gorgeous. That 
looks really good together actually doesn't it the kit is still available by the way it was called winding rivers and um, there was a 49 percent discount approximately on it from original price if you do want it you can still get it although at last look i think it was about 60 percent of the stock gone well done to you on that's a beauty let me bring to you morganite you say where i'm afraid there's nothing in that box poppet sorry well there well no there's not there's not another chain don't mind if i do necklace chain now Ah, oh. if you've got the featherweight head pins in sterling silver, you could go absolutely wild with gemstones on this. Lovely, simple link belch chain. The first chain I brought to you of this type, and unless you watched me, or unless you were watching around that time, you probably think what I'm about to say is an absolute downright lie. But it's not. The first belch chain that I brought to you was in this studio. It's when the studio was the opposite way around. So we were sat along here. So I was sat sort of just behind the camera. And it was our birthday show. And the first belch chain I ever brought to you, the start price on it was $399.95 or $349.95. And then we closed it out at £199.95. It's not the same as this chain, it's not. But it was precious metal, like this chain. It did have this one in, one out link, like this chain, that's where it gets its, its name from. I'm not sure if it was Italian design like this one, but um, it must have been, may well, may well have been. But yeah, 199.95. This one, I think, is a little bit more day wear than that. The one I brought to you was uh, quite a bit chunkier than this. But 199.95. Get the similar look. For $7.95 today, it is £7.95. As I say, it's daintier. The gram weight's not the same at all. But as an idea, if you liked the look of that chain and you wanted something maybe a little bit more day wear, some might say, this is a great way for you to add it into that collection. I will let you know, too, if you're looking at these and going, Becky, I've got more chains than I can shake a sausage at. Don't know why. Don't know. Don't know. I'm hungry. Um, then... Don't worry, because I've got anti-tarnish bags on their way so that you can literally buy however many of these you want, pop them in these bags, and they will generally last this high shine for years. And that's no exaggeration, but I'll tell you more about that later. So, bring it to you £7.95 on that gorgeous chain right now. What kind of size gemstones might you put with something like this? I did a craft fair last Christmas and I hadn't done one for absolutely years. How was it going back to doing a craft fair? I, I love talking to people, so yeah. I, was, I love talking about jewellery and everything. And I had a lot of these chains and I put like um, Zorowski pendants Lush. on. Yeah. Not even anything really intricately done with them, but just hung on here. And then I did waterfall designs with the uh, Zorowski bicones and they just flew out. Oh, lovely. Um, and also gemstone wise, you know, you often have a lot of the teardrop shaped gemstones. Yeah you could just sort of wire up that very simply and just hang from the bottom Beautiful. I think it's quite unisex this chain as well isn't it I agree with you on that definitely and chains are really in with the youngsters now my sons are into chains at the minute because yeah. it's, it's like really in yeah so I think again it'd be good presents that's a beautiful idea and this is a great one for that kind of present drawer isn't it you know the thing mm. that you have where you know I don't know Molly from Down Road nips over and she's brought you yeah, yeah. a bottle of wine or something and you go, oh, oh, you know, and you go, oh yeah, oh sorry, yeah, we missed each other's birthdays, I've not seen you in months, oh yeah, I've got this for you, you know, nip in, grab this out, put it in a nice box, she's going to think you spent a heap lot more than seven ninety five, and then the great thing is, then next time, Molly will go, she got me something really special, so I better oomph my gift up. <laughs> Not just a bottle of wine no more. <laughs> oh no, there's chocolates, there's flowers. Um, well done to you on that. If you want the anti tannish bags, they're not too far off. Blue sapphire chips are coming up after the break. And I haven't forgotten this time. It's time to say goodbye to the lovely Debbie. She's back in an hour. What I'll are you going to do when your hour off? I'm probably going to uh, play with some gemstones that someone's just given me. Have you got a challenge? Yes. Oh, keeping it under your hat, I like it. <laughs> lovely Debbie's going to be back with us. Thank you so much, Debbie. It's been really, it's really appreciated. Yeah, lovely to see you. It's lovely to see you too. Debbie will be back with us in a bit, but for now, though, go make yourself a brew. I'll be back on the other side of this. Only
Finding a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Hi, my name's Jake and I'm Gemporia's gemstone investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy, the few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show, where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. Did you know that when you book a jewelry maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our jewelry maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Welcome to this, our manager's special. So now 
pretend because I know it's cryptic. A manager has given <laughs> us, they've, they've looked in the vault, they've found us sometimes something new, sometimes something old that we can take to a new, never before seen price, and sometimes it's a bit of a mixture of the both. What I'm about to bring to you now as today's manager special is one of the most famous gemstones on the planet. Sapphire. And this sapphire, I think, is going to be the type of sapphire that my lovely guest designer is going to have a little penchant for. It's the wonderful Gemma Crow! Hello! 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 Hello. Um, Gemma Crow. Yes. Full naming you there, full naming Thank you, you. but be Thank serious. You. <laughs> um, you're not afraid of a bit of texture in your gemstones, are you? Absolutely not, no, I like a bit of texture. I've got these raw nuggets, which are the mattified Ooh. raw nuggets. What do you like about the sort of matte gemstones? So the matte gemstones are nice because they feel, they, they sort of look like that's how you would find them in the ground. So yeah. they've already got that sort of tactile they look like you want to touch them, you want to hold them, you know, that, they're that sort of feel. Yeah. And they often offer a bit of contrast as well, alongside like shiny metals or other polished gemstones. Mm. Yeah. That's actually a really good point. Yeah, if you put this next to, say, a sterling silver chain, um, I had one before, but if you put this next to like, a sterling silver chain, because this is slightly more mattified, it's always going to make the chain look like it's sparkling more, isn't it? It's mm. always going to make it look like it's shining more than it is. Mm. Now, when we talk about this being mattified, um, you may well think, and you would be right to think, that actually what some places can do to make it have that kind of effect is they might put a, sort of, a certain coating on it. That's not what we've done, it's just that we haven't polished it quite as much. This is, for all intents and purposes, how Mother Nature intended these to look. They're from the ground, yeah, of course we've put a drill hole through them, but for all intents and purposes, this is how Mother Nature wanted these to look. So they've got this wonderful matte finish to them which makes them feel really different to any other sapphire it makes them feel tactile wise quite unusual and soft against the skin it's not a million miles away from the feel of something like an ultra suede you know ultra suede that feels very very smooth and soft but not in a shiny way in almost like a flock manner that's similar to how these ones feel I always like, well obviously I like jewellery, I like jewellery a lot, but I always like jewellery that not only looks good but feels good and that's exactly what this will create, good looking and good feeling gemstone jewellery. We have got for you on this around about 82 centimetres worth in a strand and we're going to be bringing to you a gargantuan 280 carats worth. Cast your mind back before your new jewellery maker existed, cast your mind back to when you were 12, 14, how much would you have expected? you know, even like a two, three carat ring to cost a blue sapphire. It'd be in the hundreds or thousands, wouldn't it? For you now, 280 carats worth of As Mother Nature Intended Sapphire for just 14 pounds and 95 pence. And that is it, 14 pounds and 95 pence for that big, impressive carat weight. This is your time to grab this. This is your opportunity to grab this. This is definitely the time for you to, um, wow, blimey, there's loads of you in for this. Hey up, hello. Um, there's so many of you treating yourselves to this one. And just remember as well, that this is entirely and absolutely natural. So if you do believe in sort of the benefits of, of this gemstone or the crystal healing aspects of this gemstone, many people will say and believe that because it is completely natural, then it is less likely to, it, it's more likely to be more powerful, if that makes sense. Um, so if you are interested in that type of thing and you're interested in knowing, um, you know, the powers of this stone, it's brilliant to have it naturally. I think that's a great price for these. What do you think? I, it's amazing. It's amazing yeah. to get any sort of sapphire for that price, isn't yeah. it? Let alone a whole meter strand of it. It's amazing. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's beautiful look and finish. It really is. And you know, as I say, if you do believe in the crystal healing aspects, then very, very powerful indeed. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I can't say that's scientifically proven, but it is something that a lot of us believe. And absolutely, that lovely raw nature, as Mother Nature intended. Well done to you all. Um, I've got some serenites coming up for you, which is a complete juxtaposition of this. So if you love a bit of sh shine and a bit of sparkle, then I've got it for you here, coming up. Well done at £14.95. Loads of you in on this. Loads of you. 
if I said to you, imagine a diamond ready to be set into a ring, I honestly think this is what a lot of you will hope to see. Oh, just look. Imagine that in a ring, just one. Wow, that's gorgeous. Isn't that stunning? I love the square cut. Yeah. What it's, is it about it that you like? It just, I don't know, it's sort of just a little bit more modern. Um, I don't know, it doesn't feel quite as traditional. Although mm. I suppose it is a, a nod to 1920s, which I really like as well. Like Good a point. 1920s jewelry is very, you know, angular. angular. Mm. Yeah, it's gorgeous. What I love about this, and, and with the shape of it as well, it's really good for us crafting because you can have it sitting on multiple angles as well, which yeah. is really fun. Um, what I have here for you is something really special. You will know that I talk about serenite quite often, um, but I'll use the term in reference to something, well, something that is this, but usually it will be something that um, you'll get, and it's called Oregon Sunstone. <coughs> This has actually got the name of Serenite, and that is because um, essentially it's a name that was taken on by Gemporia, our sister channel, and then was, for all intents and purposes, bought out by another company. That company, you can buy Serenite pieces for four figures very, very, very easily. The interesting thing about this Serenite, and I instantly mentioned Diamond, didn't I? I instantly mentioned Diamond, and that is because of the quality of this Serenite. Serenite, it's name derived from um, the Welsh word meaning star because it shines like a star. It is so, so, so bright. And one of the reasons that it shines so brightly is because it has these microscopic copper inclusions. Now, when you're looking at this, you might think, Bex, that doesn't even look slightly copper colour. I know you're right, that, that proves that you've got a premium here because a lot of the time, Serenite will have more of a, um, well, copper, brown, gold colour to it. This doesn't because it's absolutely premium. Um, those copper platelets are what helps give it this glow. You know, um, have you heard of, what is it, Parabitormaline? You know Parabitormaline? Parabitormaline, one of the rarest, most loved gemstones on the planet. Parabitormaline glows so beautifully because it has copper platelets within it, just like this stone. So this stone and probatormaline both glow excessively, giving you that brightness and that beauty that looks like diamond-like quality because of the tiny platelets inside. This comes with the authenticity card so that you, when you're gifting this, are showing people that you are getting not only genuine real deal serenite, but that you are getting completely natural serenite in this incredible princess cup. So, we're offering to you something special here. You may well have already, in this time, tried to do research on Serenite. What have you found? What have you found? What, what pieces have you found on shopping section of your search engine? If you type in Serenite, generally the main brand that now holds you know, that name and holds the largest amount of Serenite, um, they generally come up and you will see four-figured sums next to individual pieces. Yes, okay, they're finished pieces, they're crafted pieces, but you will see four figure sums. The thing that I find so incredible about this, and I have scoured the internet for this, and I personally have never found it. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I've just personally never found it. To be able to work with the branded name Serenite. You can buy it in jewelry, as I said, four figure sums often. You can buy it in jewelry, but to actually craft with it yourself is very special. So you can make individual bespoke jewelry from a gemstone that you can prove is genuine serenite, and that is going to stand you in good stead against even some of the biggest jewelry houses on the planet. I'm bringing to you way over a carrot. I think that's incredible. You are absolutely kidding me. Right, I wish, sorry, my producer's telling me the price. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Becky, you should know the price. I'm just managers, I probably should. <laughs> but I never look at the price because I don't remember the price as a general rule. The numbers go out of my head instantly. So I like to be just as surprised as you are. And let me tell you, this is a surprise. Another surprise you may well have noticed in the graphics is one. Three, 
beautiful. I've got four of these stones. That now makes them only £10 each for genuine, real, princess cut, totally natural serenite. But guess what? I'm not stopping there. For this glowing, diamond-like example with Paraba tourmaline-like inclusions with that copper bearing uh, quality to it, I'm about to bring you something very special indeed. Good luck. How many have I got, B? <laughs> They're going to be gone, I guess, in less than a minute. Good luck all collectors. Seize the moment. We are going from £40 to better than half price. £9.95. £9.95. <coughs> Absolutely seize the moment. That is a real... Re that's... That's proof of what we do here at Jewelry Maker, I think. And as I said, you know, you can get serenite in finished pieces, but for you to be able to work with it, it's incredible. What would you be doing with these, please? Uh, that, 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 just that is an amazing price, isn't it? Yeah. I, I think I would try and set all four together, sort of in a row. Okay. Um, in maybe the front of a bracelet, so, nice. or a bangle. So... I would try and create some sort of setting, like a faux prong setting. Beautiful, Beautiful idea. That would sort of sit in between each of them to keep them snugly in a row. That would look really good. Yeah. yeah, that's a lovely, that's a lovely idea. And, um, you know, maybe even your gallery wire with this, you know, yeah. the really thin one, the sort yeah. of finer one, you could maybe do something <laughs> with this. Yeah. That is just so, so, so special, I think, to be able to get that. Funnily enough, I've got less than 30 available now. Well, I never. Uh, I've got less than 30 available now. In fact, now, because you're all absolutely grabbing in, some of you multi-buying, I would be too, definitely. Um, I've now got less than 20. More of you in. Hello to Sandra, Leslie, Anne, you're in. Hi, you're Amanda, Denise, uh, Ness, uh, no, 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 I'm saying that. N E R Y S. N E R Y S. Neris. Neris could be. Neris, I like it. Uh, from Bristol. Hi, Neris, I pronounced that right. Daisy Daisy's in. I've got Linen, Wendy, I've got Suffolk in. I've got Linen as well. Hello to Jenny. I've got Elizabeth, Josie. You've all checked out. There are a fair few of you with this in your baskets now, though. So if you do want to grab it, please do seize that moment. It's £40 worth of stones at an already exceptional price. Simple as that. Well done to you all. And yes, just to remind you, do get the authenticity. Let me bring you some more goodies. Do you mind if I show you something really special coming up in a bit? Do you mind? Which one to go for though? Which one? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> this is the type of gemstone that oh. when you were younger, you would probably imagine that only someone very, very regal would be able to own. Wow. <gasps> That's incredible, isn't it? I mean, can I just show you next to my hand? Look at that. Look at that. Come on. I mean, this is very, very special. I've never said this in my life. It's over 21 carats in that topaz. 21 carat stone. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Absolutely oh, unbelievable. Isn't it? It's incredible. Gorgeous. Really it is. Okay, I'm moving on to some more nugget. Oh, these are divine. These are lovely, aren't they? These are so lovely. I haven't seen the long nuggets like this for so long. Yeah. And they offer so much texture and they're just so easy to work with. Just love them. When I think about you and the type of jewellery that you design, although obviously you work with rounds and everything else, but I do generally think of this kind of stone, this mm. kind of texture. Mm. I think when we first start out, maybe it's likely that you're inclined to work maybe purely with rounds, etc. Yeah. And possibly something like this could be a little bit daunting. Yeah, maybe. What is it for you that is so beautiful about this kind of texture that these Zambian amethysts give? Well, I think the sort of jewellery I like to create is quite rustic jewellery, big, bold. And I think... Sometimes this just allows you just to just literally restrand it, and it gives you that feel of um, 
of something that's ancient because yeah. is because they're not perfectly sized and shaped. They're not, you know, they're not perfectly cut and polished. They're just well, they're, they're perfectly polished, but you know what I mean. They, I do. They give I you that that sort of authentic feel to mm. to maybe the type of pieces that you're making without any extra work. You know, yeah. you just restrand them. Actually, I love that word you've used then, authentic. I think that's such a good word to describe <laughs> these stones because they are so authentic and that is so blatantly obvious. Yeah. You know, I can tell that these are authentic just from looking at them. You can as well at home, can't you? You can tell these are the real deal. I can definitely tell they're authentic in their feel. They're very cool to the touch and they're very, very weighty. I've got 608 carats on this. This isn't the type of thing that I would walk into a fashion shop and ever find. No. It, it's not. You wouldn't find plastic even attempting to look like this no, at all. probably not, no, mm. no. It's so unique, it's so individual, it's yours today, 90 centimetres, 39.95, I like it, but if we can do a discount, we will, and guess what, we can. So we're going to roll down for you today. Eight pounds ninety five pence. I was in this is before lockdown, but I was in a well known fashion shop, um, and it's one of those shops that sells clothes, but then at the end of the tills, they've got those mm. things that spin around. And in there, they had a set of base metal earrings, and the base metal earrings <coughs> uh, they were on a shepherd hook, and there was literally like a little. Um, mini tassel -y thing it was only tiny made out of fabric and then it had one chip of amethyst and when i say one chip there isn't even one on this strand that is as small as that one was and genuinely i'm talking a chip not one of these really like elongated shapes and there was this big bump about it being genuine gemstones etc 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 and they were on sale and they were just shy of 15 pounds and that's absolute, on sale they were, just shy of £15, and they were a base metal. I think they were £12.99 uh, from my memory, but they were, you know, not a million miles off £15. And that was for something minuscule and tiny. The fact is, with this kind of individual carat weight of each, with this blatantly obvious authenticity, as, as mm -hmm. Gemma so rightly said, honestly, I think something like this, set your mind to it, and you could quite easily make your money back very easily in fact on one make with with just a couple of these mm. um they're just so beautiful they are they are absolutely gorgeous and you know on their own like that they're lovely twist them together and then you get you sort of intensify that texture so you can put them onto wire and twist them or you can kumihimo with them or you know do some sort of braiding or plaiting with them as well and what? at that price you can afford to sort of get a couple to do it with and then you get really bold looks then what um, gauge of wire would you suggest if you wanted to twist them? So I would say go as high a gauge as you can manage to get on. And I, usually these are about 0 0.6. Exactly what yeah. I was going to say then. So just looked, usually yeah. with these are 0 0.6. 0 0.4 to be really safe in terms of getting them on. But if you can, if you can manage to go up to a 0 0.6, do that because it's stronger and mm. will hold a twist much better because they're very weighty. Yes, they really are. So. 608 carats worth on here you've got. If you do want to add them with something... Maybe you could go down the route of the um, sapphire as well. Yeah. I quite like how sort of tonally yeah. they, they kind of sit quite nicely together, don't they? Yeah, they're sort of um, quite oceanic, you know, sort of deep oceanic. That's Very. Sort of look together, yeah, aren't they? Agree. Uh, £8.95. Well done. That's a great deal. Really great, great deal. deal. This is exactly what I was looking at. Oh, I love these. Shells. These are so nice. The surface area on these is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Shells I'm about to bring to you now. And I'm bringing to you kind of like mother of pearl shell now. And when I think of mother of pearl, I think about the white body colour as a general rule. And I think about the wonderful colour on the surface. And that is definitely what these have. They're lovely, aren't they? Love these. <clears throat> these are in their size because we're looking, they're a two and a half centimetre drop. These are quite bold. And you wear quite 
bold sizes of jewellery. Yeah. But actually, because these are shell, a bit like when you wear like the big wooden pieces, yeah. they look bold, but they're really comfy to wear, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, and quite lightweight. And I think because these are so pretty as well, um, they sort of they're not as bold, say, as a, a big piece of agate. Then they're very delicate in look. So yeah. you're going to have a bold look, but not not be quite so weight. Um, yeah, yeah, but. In this, this, uh, these make great wings for dragonflies and butterflies. They also make great flowers. You put five together and they make lovely flowers for headpieces and That's idea. bouquets and things like that. Could you work something of these with, oh, blimey, what's it called? The medium that you are um, epic at. Um, headpieces. Cinema. 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 Yeah, I mean, they're, they're ideal with um, your textiles, any textiles, because they're flat backed as well. They're sort of flat you can glue them in place if you want Lovely. to so you can literally stitch stick them on and again use them with your sutash and your shibori ribbon and alongside they're going to work a lot alongside nice. any medium really nice we're bringing to you a guaranteed 10 on a strand and we've got for you eight pounds and 95 pence eight pounds 95 pence so you're looking at around about what 90 pence per one approximately which I think, considering that these are, you know, from Mother Nature, is a really wonderful price. Well done. I've got to move on because I've got more to bring you. Oh, it's authenticity. Oh, I did these the other day. Yes, please. I've got a slide for these. We did these the other day. And something... Um, oh, right, OK. It's a tiny amount of stock. What will have happened is the two people uh, or whatever that we um that checked it out sometimes if a payment doesn't go through or whatever whatever then we get them back in stock so that's what's happened but i've got literally a couple of these ones um proven color change fluorite this is such a special gemstone it's something really quite magical and um if i just show you on this slide the sort of variation in its color so if you look at the picture you can see the really really dark dark blue ones and then the sort of lighter blue almost sky blue tones that is just the gemstone under different lights fluorescent light and incandescent light so wear these outside and or wear these at home wear these in a restaurant the colors literally will change before your eyes and the interesting thing is uh, with these ones, um, with the location being China, which is where this, and it's really recent discovery, I'm sure it was only like 2016, 2017, that this location was actually discovered. Um, it's named that because it is said to mimic the colours that you get in the uh, Baiyang uh, Lake or River. No, it's a lake, isn't it? Yeah, it's the um, biggest fr freshwater lake in the north. Um, of China as I remember but yeah that's the variation in color that you will get so it goes this really deep deep glossy blue color and then it will go to a lighter blue shade a great thing too is it does have actually in incandescent light it will have pink flashes as well at moments so there you go it's kind of hard to see it in that purely because we've had to obviously turn the lights off in the box but you get an idea of that color change and that is totally natural we are bringing to you today two of these great for earrings and so much more this shouldn't have been the price by any stretch of the imagination but for the final couple now it's 14 pounds and 95 pence I think I could sit here all day and I could actually show you pictures of before and after of this stone, but you almost do not appreciate how magical it is until you see it in the flesh. So do grab these. If you go, okay, um, you know, but I'm not that impressed with it, which is impossible because it's like magic. But if you decide that, you've still got that money back guarantee. 60 days it is at the moment. 60 mm. day money back guarantee. Yeah, 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 it still is. Mm. Um, so that's an incredible chance to get these home. Um, this is special, isn't it? It is, and you know, it's, it's something that I've missed every time. All the colour change, you know, we've had some colour change garnet, uh, colour change fluorite pendants that you set in yourself and yeah. rings, and I've missed them every time. What is it that makes you want to get them then? The phenomenon of them yeah. changing and actually the beautiful colour that they are to start with. I mean, it's not very often you see fluorite that colour to start with, is it? No, it's very true. You know, so, very true. Um, yeah, I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. Actually, to purchase even non-colour change fluorite in blue is yeah. one of the most expensive. So to be able yeah. to get it then with the phenomenon is 
out of this world. It, it is actually gorgeous. It, I'd be tempted to buy two at that price. So because I want to make earrings, I don't know why. I just feel like I need to make earrings with them. But I also want to be able to see it, so I'd have to have a ring as well. So you'd use the two you get in the pack for earrings, and yeah. then another one for a ring, and then one for maybe my show cabinet or something. You know, my little show box. Yeah, that's a lovely idea. Yeah. Mm. Show cabinet. I know. She's I actually got... haven't got a show cabinet. I don't know what I'm talking about. <gasps> a showcase. You know, I've got a little case with my, <laughs> my show pieces in. Show cabinet sounds so much better though. It does. It does, yeah. <laughs> my show cabinet. <laughs> um, yeah, Swiss blue paper. Now, don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, blimey, blimey, blimey. Ooh, blimey, blimey. Say that again. Oh, no, none of these begin with that code petal. It's all right. It's all right. We'll show you a recording and then I'll pick it. It's a guaranteed carrot weight. Well, that's hard, isn't it? Tell me what the guaranteed carrot weight is, please. 25 carrots as the minimum. So this one is minimum 25 carrots. Oh my gosh. Right. Do you know that bit in Titanic? God, that's exactly right. Uh, <laughs> where that, the lady who, I mean, I don't want to do a plot spoiler. Surely I can't plot spoil Titanic now. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, we all know that what happens to the ship, don't we? But you don't necessarily know what happens to the characters. Well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. If you have not watched Titanic and you intend to, well, don't listen for 30 seconds. <laughs> right, for those of you who have watched it, which I imagine is the whole of the population, because let's face it, it was a good film. It was huge. And Leonardo DiCaprio was sopping wet for half of it. So you don't forget it easily, do you? You don't. You don't. And he had those gorgeous <laughs> curtains, didn't he? Oh, I was really into boys with curtains at that time. Oh, I just thought it was beautiful. <laughs> anyway, not the point. The point is, the, po okay, the point is, do you know Rose in that, Kate Winslet, do you remember that bit at the very, very end where she's an older lady and she has the heart of the ocean, that stone, doesn't she, and she throws it into the water? That's what this looks like. I wonder what the carrot weight on that stone was. <laughs> Sorry, that was me dropping it and trying to casually hide it, but I didn't do a good job. How big do you think that was? This is Gargantian. <laughs> Sorry, it's very slippy. I need my reverse tweezers, but I don't know where they've gone. This is absolutely mammoth. This is ginormous. <coughs> do you know, I saw that stone. Um, I went to the exhibition for the Titanic ex exhibition at uh, Wembley, I think it was Wembley. Um, wow! Yeah, I years didn't know ago. That was a thing. Wow. My sister was such a fan, so we, we went and they had a hologram of it falling as if it was falling through oh my gosh, the water, so, cool. so the whole necklace. But then the stone was actually on display. But I think it was, um, I think it's a tanzanite, isn't it? Yes, it, well, no, it's one of those that's a tanzanite or it's a sapphire and people bicker about it all the time. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember now because I wasn't, I wasn't into gemstones and things then, yeah. I can't really remember, but, you know, it's, it was about that size. Yeah. It was definitely, you know, it's the heart of the ocean, wasn't it? Yeah, it's cool, yeah. that, isn't it? Oh, wow, I didn't know that was a thing, I don't yeah. mind that. Um, we have got for you your gargantuan swiss blue topaz it's absolutely mammoth this piece the largest piece you can get your hands on if you do want to grab this one um i will say i've got two other pairs but this is much by far and away the largest one i don't think i can guarantee you the shape though yes i can shape pair i can guarantee you a shape it's a shape per that's what it says on this one although maybe you get different ones for each one And it's a different one for each one. It's a guaranteed carrot weight minimum, 25 carats. So this specific one, which one of you will get, is 25.45 um, carats, and it's a pair drop. So each one will come with its own authenticity certificate. I've got for you a should-be price, which I have to say is quite wonderful, actually. 
considering the size of this one, you know, the sizeability to be able to buy, to be able to get a raw piece of, of topaz for that size, maybe nothing that special, but to be able to get this size and quality in its cut colour, your know, clarity in its, in its beauty really is very, very special. I'm not stopping there though. November babies, this is your birthstone. So if you do want to get something very special for yourself or for a loved one, this is a great way to do it. £199.95 for something which, quite frankly, has got this kind of level of excellence within the stone anyway, but to be able to have it in that size, you really are taking your collection, your makes, your designs, your gifts even, up many, many notches. Many, many notches. £199.95, that is very special indeed. Very special. Wow. So this is the largest one. What would you do with a size like this? <clears throat> I think it would have to be a pendant. Yeah. A really, ex you know, exaggerated pendant. And I, do you know, I would think I would do sea beads with it. Okay. Um, Tell me more. Which I know is unusual for me, mm. but... Um, it's, it would be nice to, to frame it really intricately with little seed beads and I think you can get that really vintage look with the seed bead pattern and it from a distance looks like it's set in lots of gold and um, maybe pearls around the outside. That's a lovely idea. So yeah, I think I would, I would probably put it in something like that. If you were to set this with, say, gallery wire, would you go silver or gold? I, I think I would... If I was setting it for me, I'd probably go gold because that's my colour. But yeah. um, I think it would suit silver and yeah. rose gold. That's kind of a good thing about it, isn't it? Yeah, it kind it's, of works with everything. It would suit any of the colours. Yeah. So I think you could really go with whatever you or your customer wanted yeah. with something like that. I have got another one to bring you now. And it's going to be minimum carrot weight of 20 carrots. But this is what I love actually about this piece. Minimum carrot weight's guaranteed 20 carrots. I'm actually bringing you 21 carrots in this. Well, even over that. Oh, this shape is beautiful. One thing, oh my goodness. One thing that is absolutely epic about this stone is we've got the concave cut. So just as a brief reminder, um, the concave cut means that each of the facets is not completely flat. Each of the facets is absolutely perfectly domed and that's why when you're looking at the luster on this as you can see in the recording you get this real rippling of light and it almost looks like if you look when the um, crown comes around, there you go, it almost looks like the light is shining from outwards into the gemstone, doesn't it? It almost looks like it's being pulled into that centre like a vortex. And that's because these facets are arced, so they have to be perfectly, beautifully angled. I wonder if I can sort of show you if I show you at the side. Hang on, let me get me a magnifying glass of truth out. That'll help. Here we go. So if I just hold this like this, have a little look at the girdle point of this, you should be able to see... Can you see how that's, yeah, there you go. Can you see the girdle? It's not flat, is it? No, it's got this waving effect. And that's because of the facet work on these. It's because of those concave facets. The concave cut means that you get even more brilliance, even more brightness in the center. Minimum 20 carats guaranteed your deal today. 129.95 only that is it and remember with that concave cut it really enhances the brilliance that topaz gives you and that's what you're getting with this the reflection because the concave cut almost what it does is it's like shining a light in a wall of mirrors um you know like a room of mirrors that's kind of what happens the light enters that table and it gets sort of flung from pillar to post because the facets aren't flat so the light can't just easily escape you've got a lot of beauty with this. This is a popular number. This is a popular one. Good luck. Minimum 15 carats I'm bringing to you now. And what I would say is, you know, if you are thinking for, you know, anniversary stones, because these are anniversary stones, if you're thinking for birthday stones, if you're thinking, okay, I'm going to get maybe a large one for a pendant and then a smaller one for a design, may I say that the first two I've just brought would be brilliant for your pendants. The next two might be what you use for rings or even earrings. So minimum 15 carats now. 
and again and again I'm going for me Swiss blue in the pear drop but you got that slide for me B about Swiss blue because then um, we know a lot of topazes don't we you get white topaz Swiss blue London blue so much more but I just thought I'd give you kind of the description of what a Swiss blue um, can be classified as so the reason I've got sky blue at the top there is because that is my night owl coming up for you later on Swiss blue topaz um, um, is described as it's a name given to a blue topaz jewels that are lighter in tone than London blue but darker than sky blue so I've got sky blue coming up later this best of both worlds balance between the two is very popular and is thought to have been named after the colour of the sky above the Swiss Alps on a perfect spring day. Swiss blue topaz looks stunning in any precious metal setting, but we think it looks perfect when it's set into sterling silver as the neutral colour of the metal lets the bright, vibrant blue of the stone take centre stage and truly shine. Well, that's completely what you've got here, isn't it? You can imagine a perfect cloudless spring day over the Alps, the light shining through and this being the colour, can't you? That almost ice spring blue, it's incredible. And as I mentioned before, the shine of this is what is really helping that colour even more. It's the best of both worlds with this. If you don't want something too dark, you don't want something too light, you go for Swiss Blue Topaz. And if that is you, now is your chance. Minimum 15 carats. It's 89.95. I've only got one more left. That's it. This is a minimum of five carats now. I'm going to pop this in. So if you're looking at these and going, Bex, I want the most affordable one. I've got it coming up next. Value for money wise, they are all sensational. So go for the one that's speaking to you most. Go for the one that's speaking for you. This is the smallest one and I'll just give you an idea of difference in size because this could just be me but I always think from home it's almost hard to get your head around if you can't see the difference in size but this is your minimum five carats that I've got here and this one here is the 25 carats that I brought you before. <laughs> That's a significant difference, isn't it? That really is. Imagine, you know, ring and pendant. Again, I can't guarantee you that you will be getting these shapes, but this is what I've got. Someone will get these shapes, but I can't guarantee that you will. I'm gonna to bring to you the daintiest one now, and this is a minimum of five carats. Actually, in mine, I've got just over six. We have got within this one real affordability including that gorgeous cut the wonderful carrot weight and of course that color affordability wise it is the most affordable you should be getting over 100 pounds but we're going to roll down for you today 149.95 these should be on air deal and i will just remind you this is only whilst we're on air this is only whilst we're live so do take that moment take the opportunity if you want to be lucky enough to get swiss blue topaz in your collection what does Swiss Blue Topaz say to you? Just, it's just clean and um, clear. It feels like you're going to breathe fresh air when you look at it, doesn't it? It's yeah. That, it's, it's just lovely. But the cut and the, the, that, the clarity of it, that sparkly jewel, mm. it just makes me think of, of luxurious jewellery and, you know, costume jewellery and just, you know, that sort of very exuberant designs. Great way of putting it, exuberant, yeah. the perfect word for it, definitely. Um, 39.95. How's your challenge going over there? Oh, oh I'm nice. doing, I'm working with these Opalinas with, um, it is Opalina, isn't it? Correct, yeah. 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 Opalinas with some lovely ear wires that you've got coming up as well. Mm. So just making some earrings, they're really pretty. That's really a lovely pretty. design. We're bringing to you the earring findings now, I think. Am I right? I am. Um, so, tell us a little bit about these earring findings, if you don't mind, just because I think you've got them all. I have. I, I, if I have some, I'm going bar to borrow these earring stands for a minute so we can put them on. But, yeah, they're, they're absolutely gorgeous. So, they're, they're stone and silver, 
I, I think it's, is it Topaz set in them or? Cubic it's zirconia. Cubic zirconia, yeah. Um, so they're already set with a cubic zirconia and they've got a built-in loop, but they just look so high-end because, because of they're all in, it's, they're all together, you know, there's no extra loops or, you know, um, join. Do you, do you know what I mean? I know exactly what you yeah, mean. So, and like a shepherd's hook, the shepherd's hook is just a function of holding on beautiful jewellery. In this case, the shepherd hook is a part of the beautiful jewellery. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I, I really love them. And I love the shape. It's very 1920s. I'm, and we haven't got long to do the challenge in, in this hour. So, um, but if I had these at home, I'd be putting them with a really 1920s style piece, maybe some black spinel or we had some lovely chain earlier on the show like um with spinel already in it that's lovely so something like that actually i'm just thinking you had a challenge from danny before didn't I you i did yeah with the garnet am i right yes yeah what about a combination of those absolutely i mean the garnet would look gorgeous just in a drop and in fact any of your beautiful stones that you've got the citrine that we had earlier today the deal of the day and mm. um, any one individual stone on there is mm. going to look exquisite they're beautiful. I love these. I love these ear hooks. We are going to be bringing to you three pairs of those ear hooks, and um, I don't know what the ground weight on them is. Do you be? No, but I can find out for you. I can. They're going to be quite substantial. Do I they think. feel nice and weighty? Yeah, yeah, they do. Do they? Do you, would you like a pair? Have you got? Yeah, go on. I'm got just trying to look for scales. Me. Where's my scales gone? I don't know. Oh, they were here just the other day. Oh, I'll measure them for you later because Do I Do you want cannot... a pair to talk through? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, they feel beautiful. Oh, they are weighty. Oh, wow, the shape of them's quite different. Yeah. I mean, they... through the actual ear. Yeah, they sort of loop through really nicely. The nice thing is because they're, they're silver as well, they're malleable. So once you've got them in the ear, you can pinch them. Oh, that's good. So that they will sort of, you know, be a bit more secure with, if you've got long hair or, you know, if you've got wearing a scarf, you might want to just pinch them closed and you can so it quite get easily. So don't anything. That's brilliant. Yeah. They're very pretty indeed, aren't they? They are. Fourteen ninety-five for three pairs. So we're talking about four ninety-nine per pair, which is incredible considering you'd be able to stretch the bike still and still with stud earrings for that kind of price point, wouldn't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, would. If you saw the challenge that Demo uh, that Gemma was given before, <laughs> I, I, I put together Gemma and Demo. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. Uh, but yeah, if you saw the challenge that Gemma did earlier on with Danny, uh, you'll have seen those lovely garnets. They pair quite nicely, actually. Mm. Um, we've got £14.95. And, and next up, I'm going to bring to you the Opalina, which is what Gemma has been working with. Now, mm -hmm. if you don't know what Opalina is, I always feel like Opalina sounds a little bit like one of those names that's almost been created almost made up you know almost like um Jimmy Zirconia, for example you know it is a crafted name opalina is not a man-made element it is from mother nature but it's mother nature creating this most sublime marriage of two highly prestigious stones one of them opal opal heavy silica based um gemstone and then the secondary one is chrysocolla now chrysocolla you may or may not know don't worry if you don't it is an incredibly rare gemstone and mineral we uh, you know only get to get a few now and again here at jewelry maker but yeah chrysocolla what i absolutely adore about these is you've got that binding together of the gemstone and it's binded together by mother nature it's opal and chrysocolla and it's very much a gemstone of togetherness because you've got those two in one. And I think what an incredible stone to own at this moment in time. You know, mm -hmm. we're going through, at least to say, the most unusual, bizarre time, you know, in the world at the moment. And what a beautiful stone to be able to gift to somebody, whether you're posting it, whether you're, you know, gifting it over, leaving it on a doorstep. But two gemstones in one signifying togetherness signifying you know your thinking of that person i think it's a really thoughtful gift actually but also when i'm looking at these wow that one is huge when i'm looking at these these colors and these swathes in together it's almost like you're getting this rushing current of water and aqua underneath the surface that's absolutely dancing pairing in together with that opal and with that chrysocolla you're getting this really interesting 
banding as well. You're getting these sort of jettisons of colour and light that shine through. That one here has got that kind of almost turquoise colour meeting in with that really rich um, blue hue. And actually on this one, you know, that kind of colour is very similar to that of Sleeping Beauty turquoise, isn't it? But it is, it's almost like that striking oceanic effect and you're getting these merges and moments of, of current running underneath. They are just so spectacular. Um, you've obviously really enjoyed working with these because we gave these to Gemma, oh blimey, probably, honestly, probably about 35 minutes ago. In all yeah. honesty, it wasn't that long ago at all. No. And already you have whipped up a massive amount of jewellery with them. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm focusing on the earrings because I've got these beautiful findings. Yeah. But, I mean, they're so gorgeous and there's so many things, so many ways of using them. You make really high-end jewellery, putting them with sterling silver, make them really luxurious, use one on their own to really increase the drama, I think, mm. increases that drama when you use one on its own. Mm. Um, but... Um, yeah, you can also use them alongside more contemporary pieces, like with your copper work and things like that, to awesome. really, because the colours work so well with copper. Yeah, um, yeah they're, they're beautiful. They feel lovely. I think that's part of it. You know, yeah. I've, got, I've got some in a bracelet, and they do just feel lovely. They're so smooth and waxy and... You know, it doesn't quite lovely. feel like any other stone, does it? Because no. I know what opal feels like, and I know what Christ Calder feels like, but this is literally a blend. Yeah, yeah. And uh, opal's got, it, it does feel like opal. It's got that lovely soft, can't quite explain it, soft waxy sort of yeah. feel. Um, but it's got, you know, that luxury look. And you can tell it's my favourite colour anyway. So, yeah. you know, I've got all the, all the turquoisey colour gems. I love these. So, yeah. yeah, they're really, really lovely. Opalina is really interesting as well when it comes to price point in it because it's almost like we take the price of a Chrysocola and the price of a average opal and we don't sort of meld them and then double them. We kind of seem to stay and almost drop it down a little bit as you're going to see now. 35 carats at £39.95 even though this is rarer than opal alone. You know, this is a rarity level which exceeds that of Chrysocola alone because you need them both to be forming at the same time, at the same rate, in the same place, at the right temperature for such a long period of time. It's a real rarity and scarcity. And yet still, we're able to bring this treasure of the earth for just £39.95. It really is something very, very special. And if you do want to buy those earrings and you want to make high-end jewellery, like Love the Gemma Crow is beside me, I'm going to guess that you want to keep the quality up, right? I did promise you my anti-tarnish bags and I'm not going to let you down. I'm bringing them to you now. I've got the largest ones here for you and then I'm going to do the smaller ones. There are different types of anti-tarnish bags and these are some of the most highly regarded in the industry because they're essentially impregnated the whole bag with something that has anti-tarnish properties. So essentially it means that all of the sort of corrosive elements in the air are minimized. So that means that if you open this up and put a piece of jewelry in it, and just to give you an idea of how much jewelry this can hold, this is a huge necklace, pop that in there, just to give you an idea going to hold a lot of jewellery. We do suggest just one piece each, but something like that or even a big cuff can go in this. You literally lock it up and it's reusable and then that will keep nice and high shine for around about two years. If you keep opening it and taking it out and putting new stuff in, then it will not last quite as long, but still up to about two years worth of tarnish free qualities within this. £5.95 pence for you today. That is such a good deal. And you're getting a massive 10 of those at that price. Another thing I will mention, because I know I've spoken about it being sterling silver, but actually, this works with your bare, your plated copper as well. You can actually put reels of wire in here. It doesn't have to be finished jewellery, um, but it keeps everything top-notch quality. I have also got the smaller ones here, and these are going to be great for, for example, the earrings that... Gemma Crow herself created. You can put genuine gemstones in here and of course you can put varying metals in it as well. So even if, for example, I don't know, say you've got like a pack of sterling silver findings, you've got loads of them 
and actually you're not going to bother buying any more sterling silver findings anytime soon because you've got so many of them they all go grubby have you ever had that when you look at your sterling silver and it's gone a bit it's not as high shine as it once was yeah you can polish them back but prevention is generally better that's what these are for 4.95 you've whipped up a pendant now with that Gemma yeah I thought well I made two earrings and I thought well I'll show it as a pendant because actually it works as a pendant too <laughs> That is beautiful, isn't it? Um, Gemma, thank you so much for today. Um, oh, how are you nice. finding the new format? Go on, tell me. Well, it's the, it's the first, it's first one, so, um, and I've got my first masterclass one next Monday. So today was a bit different because it was challenge, but yeah. I'm looking forward to next week having a nice long demo. And is that when you're next on? Yeah. On Monday? Yeah. What have you got? No, I'm next, actually here tomorrow with you, I think. Are you in tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, we've got six till eight, the beginners. Yes. Oh, my goodness. New speeding. Yay, that's yeah. so exciting. Yeah. Yes. So we've got great bundle of gemstones and lots of hints and tips for new, new jewelry makers. That's really exciting. That is actually because generally we won't have a guest designer on six till eight. We, it's just clearance or whatever. So, yeah, that's a really good point. I mentioned before that it was beginners tomorrow, didn't I? So yeah. six till eight tomorrow. Gemma Crow again. I'm back. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Um, thank you so much, Gemma. You're, You're an welcome. absolute love. Don't thank forget you. you can find Gemma. It's Gemma Crow if you want to find her on social media. Then do. Um, we have got oodles and oodles more to come. You have got the gorgeous Jenny Cleary on her way with the lovely Debbie Kershaw. And then I'm back with you for clearance after that. Bye-bye. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, my name's Jake 
and I'm Gemporia's Gemstone Investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. Did you know that when you book a jewellery maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our jewellery maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Thank you so much to the gorgeous Becky and Gemma for the last couple of hours. Please welcome to the show the one, the only, back with me for the first time. That was like back once again with the Debbie the Master. <laughs> <laughs> it's Debbie, everyone! Ooh. Hello. Debbie, Debbie Kershaw. Debbie Kershaw. Debbie, Debbie Kershaw. Dip, dip, dip. <laughs> so that's enough. I don't want to be sued by the Chuckle Brothers. Debbie, it's Hello. amazing to see you. I know, it's amazing. We need to catch up more. We do. We've chewed the fat. We've spoken about stuff. We've still got a lot to catch up on. It's been too many years. We're so delighted to have you back. Thank you. And I love your kit today. <gasps> amazing purple and green. Yeah. It's just like this fantastic combination. And it's just, I could have just gone on and on and on making. So I'm loving it. I'm loving it too. And of course, no Wimbledon this year, so purple and green in a kit is definitely ticking a box for me. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And we've got lots of texture coming up. You've got the gizmo coiling in there as well, so we're going to give you the gizmo coil. We've got so much, but do you know what? I've got something in a mystery box here. I don't know if you know what this is, Debbie, but tomorrow's midday mega deal. Uh, so the first two hints were, this is from Burma, okay? Mm -hmm. The second one was, it's going under £10. <gasps> that's not really a cue. That sort of throws you off. That sort of throws you off. Mm. Uh, what's the third clue? Are we going to give a third clue? This gemstone will be rectangular in shape. What do you think could be going under £10 from Burma? I can't think of anything under £10. I would have said... Uh, no, everything that I can think of would not be under £10. Sapphire? Under £10! <laughs> exactly! Yeah, no, honestly, it, yes, because Burmese sapphire. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's not sapphire. No. Uh, it's a good. I'm going to show you what it is, but I want mm. this. I just had a slight scrap with Gemma Crow over this. There's only one. Okay. She won, obviously, because. Make sure we're a pig apart. <gasps> Do you know what it is? Oh, yes. It's one of my favourites. Oh, it's gorgeous. And when's that coming tomorrow? Tomorrow, mega deal. Midday <gasps> mega deal. That is a mega deal as well. Yeah. <laughs> Under £10. Are we mad? Yeah, that's crazy. We'll be showing you that at the end of the show. Don't worry, not too much suspenders. Now, <laughs> have a look. This is your pick of the day. Oh my gosh, look at this amatrine. Sorry, only dogs and cats could hear me then. I'm a bit excited today because when I go home... Uh, my friend's dad's wallpaper. My bedroom for me. I'm oh, so I, uh, listen, if I had a tail, it would be constant. It would be thudding Working. on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, it would. Now, 
we're going to start with some shell. I've got the most amazing, honestly though, because I've actually, it's here Danny, and it's beautiful, the Aquapraise. It's like a mermaid's gemstone. But let's start by giving you, which one, Dad? Oh, number five, yeah? Whoops, oh, I didn't realise it was two. Wait there, I'm going to have to just go down and get the, that. Okay, now, hearts, always a great idea because of the sentiment of them. We all heart somebody, don't we? But these are just so cute and I think they're very symbolic. I think they could be, um, they could be wish bracelets. I mean, Debbie, when you see a heart like this, I, I'm thinking earrings, wish bracelets, but you know, where would you go with these? Flowers. <laughs> of course. They're petals. But also, you know, when you're selling your jewelry or even commissions, it's just the most requested shape because it can mean anything. It can yeah. be for your child, for your significant other, for your nan. It can just be for anybody. So I think I'd definitely go with the hearts, but I'd also like to make a flower out of those because they'd be good petals. Yeah, do you know, um, which way would you do it? Would you do them sort of tip downwards or cleavage down? Tip down. Tip down. Yeah. And then put them all together. You could do like little clovers like that as well. Yeah, that would you? be really pretty. I love these because they're very lightweight because they're shell. Yeah, and I love the way they catch the light as well, that shell. They've so, got like thunder cloud. Yeah, you can go quite statement, but it's not going to weigh you down when you mm -hmm. wear it. And, oh, yeah, exactly. So you can put quite a lot of these in, into, uh, into earrings. Now, you've got two of these. Now, Debbie's got Earlier's Garnet Strong that we had. We challenged Gemma with that, and uh, Debbie is now uh, working away. 9 95 so we're going to give you a little reminder of that later on. TFG P90, that's £5 a strand. Really super value. So much that you can make out of that. Now, oh, yes, I want to show you. I've got some... Are these brand new, Danny? Because they are gorgeous. I've got the most beautiful connectors. But if you've got the etching tool, you're going to need these, because look... So you see, they're so pretty. You've got white shell here with a silver detail in the centre, but look at all of that silver. I absolutely love them. These are right my cup of tea. Then we've got a Howlite one. I think those are gorgeous. They're coming up for you in a bit, Arch. in about 20 minutes. Okie dokes. Now, mm, that one goes there and that one goes there. Now, we're going to give to you... Yes, I, now, Debbie, have you... I don't know... If you've seen or used Sleeping Beauty turquoise. I love it. It's, it's stunning, isn't it? Yeah, turquoise is my birthstone. Oh, you're a December baby. I am. Um, but the turquoise is often quite hard to get, isn't it? Like, especially these days. Yeah. If you want to make jewellery with the turquoise. I love the sort of ethnic kind of Native American feel to turquoise as well. And that's exactly what it gives you. And this is from Arizona. So if the Sleeping Beauty Mine is in Arizona. And, um, the, if you didn't know, if you're watching maybe and, and you sort of dip in and out, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is prized for having one of the best purities in colour in all of the turquoise um, from all around the world. And you'll notice that's directly straight away because often in turquoise, and there's nothing wrong with this, you can identify a black or a gold or a white vein that runs through it. That's called the matrix. Now... Sleeping Beauty Turquoise has very little matrix and it's all about that colour. So arguably in the gemstone trade, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is the best turquoise your money can buy. However, the, the, the sort of ditty in the industry is that Sleeping Beauty has been finally put to rest because, because that mine is no longer producing. I call it that. Now, this isn't called Sleeping Beauty Turquoise because of a, a, a Disney Sleeping Beauty movie. Actually, this is why... We call it Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. 18 by 13 millimetre, we're going to show you in a sec. Uh, just under, very, there she is. You can see the mine looks like a lady lying down. Wow. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. I want to go to Arizona. I want to see that sight. Can you imagine just being stood at the foothill of that, of that great big sort of mountain there and seeing that that mine is wonderful so that's sleeping beauty that's why this gemstone arizona's gemstone is called sleeping beauty turquoise so i think a lot of people think it's because of the color yeah but it isn't it we're going to show you what you could do with a cabochon like this oh that is gorgeous uh, is now is that oh gosh it's wire wrapped i wonder whether it's gallery wire that's beautiful isn't it that absolutely is wonderful now, this Sleeping Beauty turquoise, at the moment, I mean, for me, it's got to go straight into a ring because look at that colour. I want a seed bead around that. 
And what colour of sea beads? Gold. Yeah, I like gold. It's yeah. Egyptian then, isn't but it? But you could put some red in there as well, couldn't you? So then you've got like yeah. the whole Native American colours. That is stunning. I've got a ring with Sleeping Beauty turquoise in it, but it's nothing as big as that. It's massive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, huge. It's a whopper. We're going to give you a £150 saving. Well, actually, you're going to save more than you're spending today. Have a look. £94.95. This is the wow. only loose Sleeping Beauty turquoise we have in stock. It's time to secure yours. Make sure you're checking out baskets. BJUP37 is your item code. I absolutely can see this selling out today. Sheila in Washington. Hello to you. You're shopping from all around the world. It is wonderful to have your company. By the way, no matter where you're shopping from today, you get a 60-day money-back guarantee. 60 days, that takes us into September. How many of those did we have, Danny? We only have five of those, so if you want it, you're going to have to be quick. Let's talk about some really, really exclusive chains for you. Now, we're not really supposed to bundle chains together, but you know what? Danny's done it. Should I have three? I should have three chains. I should have four. I have four. I have four. I love these snake chains because they look very expensive, they're heavy and they will hold on to a big weighty gemstone. Then you've got the Prince of Wales, so you've got two Prince of Wales and two snake chains and they're all clasped up. You've got bolt ring clasps on all of them, you've got just under eight grams. Debbie, if you're selling jewellery on, I think it's really important to have the option of your customers purchasing a, a chain. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I don't think I've ever had any or ever offered a pendant without a chain. I was saying earlier when I was with Becky that I did my first ever craft fair last Christmas and I just had to have lots of chains and I realised that the more you have in the stash the better because you never know where you're going to need to make presents, mm -hmm. you're going to need to do a, a craft fair and you just, people want precious metal chains. They do, especially if it's a Christmas gift. Absolutely. Because it looks more expensive, yeah. it appears more special and I think if you're a, a gift giver you, you want to give the most special gift you possibly can. So to be able to have in your price range as the person purchasing, you know, it's, I think that's just lovely isn't it? It gives you that extra amount of luxury for your money. Now we're going to give you a brilliant price that means that per chain you are paying £6.20. Oh that's amazing. These are all 18 inch chains. You get four of them for £24.95. Now you pay that for one on the high yeah. street. You've got oh, yeah. four for the price that you would pay for one. Suffolk was straight in, two for you. Well done. Loads of you shopping. Thank you so much for choosing Jewellery Maker. Three ways to shop. The first one. 0800 644 655. Jewellerymaker.com if you're shopping online. But Emma. On the app. Emma. <laughs> <laughs> but how do I get the app? And you can download it on your smartphone. You or, can. Or a tablet. Or uh, Android. Or any of them. And how much does it cost? Free. Free. There you go. Oh. That is my favourite <laughs> price. Three chances left. It looks like they've gone. Now we're going to do the hip. Oh, the kit. <laughs> I was going to say. Oh my God. <laughs> Got a spare hip. No. Now, more chains coming up for you. We're going to give you Debbie's kit just now. Now, we're really excited about this kit because we've managed to wangle a very special price for you. You've got some really wonderful gemstones in here. Dog tooth amethyst. Wow. Hello. Love that. So you've got, this is really special. You've got four strands of gemstones. You're not going to believe the price for it. These are all genuine gemstones. So February's birth gemstone, dog tooth amethyst sees these striations, which make it very, very different. Then you've got, and I, I absolutely go crazy for this, fluorite in your chips. But then you've also got fluorite rounds. You've got a lot, to, there's a lot going on in this kit, but watch, but watch, but watch. Then you've got serpentine or serpentine. I love those colours together. This is spring, summer, but actually I'd wear fluorite in the winter just for a little bit of freshness. Mm -hmm. What a lovely combination of gemstones. So first impressions with the gemstones. What, I, I mean, these are, are, are gemstones that are going to give you, I think, quite a feminine vibe. Yeah, really feminine, but I think, you know, amethyst is my, one of my all-time favourite gemstones. And purple and green 
one of my all-time favourite combinations. You just can't go wrong. I don't know. It's almost like, I think when you get your, your fluorite, you can see that Mother Nature puts purple and green together. Yeah. And, you know, you get so many colours within the fluorite and you get so many gemstones within these strands that you can make a lot of jewellery with this kit. Yeah, I agree. And I think I, I agree with you with lots of different gemstones going with, like, I love pinks and greens, purples and greens. I think it's botanical. And I think if you ever get stuck thinking, I need some inspiration, they're easy to put together. Yeah. If you, this could be a mojo booster for you, this kit. When I look at this kit, the findings in rose gold just warm it up. And you are, this is what we would dub an old school kit. And you've been asking for these, so you are going to get your beading thre thread, your monofilament, and your elastic. But then look, you get rose gold on base metal in chain, and it looks like you get half a meter of that. So this is really bountiful. Then you get ball head pins, then you get two toggle clasps, then you get your, head, uh, your earring findings, your ear wires, then you're going to get your jump rings and your crimp tubes. Everything matches. You don't need to dip outside of the kit save for your tools. YSX C90 is your item code. You're getting ever such a lot here. So these rounds, let me see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Your fluorite rounds is six mil, and then your serpentine nuggets are four by uh, up to ten millimeters. Then you ten millimeters in the front. I'm just thinking. Like, oh yeah, they are. They probably are. And the amethyst is ten millimeters. You've got absolutely loads here for twenty-one ninety-five. That is a great price, isn't it? You have got all of your findings. You don't need to search outside of the kit, save for your tools you get basic toolkits why don't forget Gemma's uh, sorry I pointed at you Gemma is launching tomorrow the beginners class which is six to eight six to eight tomorrow with Gemma Crow 21.95 YSXC90 we're not stopping there we're cheeky today aren't we we're cheeky. Yes, we are. I love that bubble bracelet. That is beautiful. I'm going to demo that one. That's the one you're demoing? Yeah. Perfect. Are you ready? $14.95. Wow. Ridiculous. <laughs> I charge that for this bracelet. In fact, I charge more than that for that bracelet. So that's crazy. <laughs> Could it be a profit maker then for any jewellery makers that are looking to go into that? Like, you know, I'm going to make jewellery and potentially sell it whether it's online whether it's at markets absolutely and I think even if you think oh well these colours aren't for me it's a stash builder definitely I mean we always look at it as the kits in the entirety and you've got your kit in the entirety if you were a beginner or a new jewellery maker you get so many findings in this yeah but actually take your green put it with pink take your purple put it with citrine you know whatever works beautifully together but they are gemstones i'd use anyway outside of the kit yeah absolutely now this kit will sell out in fact 30 percent of the stock has gone on, gone already catherine you've got yours carol leah jane collector in london shirley of midlothian collector in suffolk marion well done you are loving that price it is ridiculous just the strands two pound fifty each then you've got the chain you've got your beading materials you've got everything this is incredible lorraine you've checked out yanis you've checked out uh, collector in florida janice in the channel isles yvonne you've got yours Anne and john Groats, Alison in uh, Wrexham, Norma, you're shopping as well. Marion's come through on the telephones. Loads and loads and loads of you are shopping today. Don't forget your 60 day money back guarantee and 1 pmp all day if you shop this morning with Carol. If you shop this afternoon with me or with the wonderful Becky, uh, then you're only paying 1 pmp. So, how many pieces of jewelry did you make out of this day? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, 7. I'd say if you take that out of the equation, you know, you'd sell that for the money. Yeah. So you've got all of this. For profit. For, for profit or presents or if you don't make to sell for yourself. <laughs> we, will, we all do that, don't we? <laughs> That's amazing. So, you know, it's very comprehensive. It's like you said, the old school kits where you get your, like, your monofilament exactly. and your beading wire and everything. You get all of that in here exactly it's perfect especially if you're looking at your session i'm gonna have to get some more of that at some point i need some more beading thread it's got this in if you fancied one or two or th all of the strands in here it's worth you picking up the phone and dialing it's worth you checking out it's worth you opening that app that's two pound 13 a piece of genuine gemstone jewelry by the way wow that's crazy Fabulous value isn't it certainly is we are very, very delighted. Now, we are a bit worried that the kit is going to sell out. Well over half the stock's gone. Debbie, you're going to give us a demonstration. Please take it away. I am. Well, I thought that I would show you how to make um, 
this bracelet. Now this is a sort of technique that I've been doing for a while. Um, when I want to show the findings and have some metal, and I don't necessarily have any spacer beads, I do this because I like to see, like use the head pins, they're lovely and long these head pins, so you could make you know quite long drops of them, but I like to sort of use the metal and make it a feature, so that's what I've done. Uh, beginners can make this, it's very simple, so I'm going to show you how. Okay. So within the kit, you do get your beading wire. I have to say, and I'm not just saying this, I really like jewelry making, uh, jewelry maker beading wire. I find it very easy to work with. You know, sometimes the beading wire that you work with can be really stiff. I find this really malleable. So that's the first thing. Now, what I'm going to do is take a length, ideally twice as long as you want your bracelet to be. Now, I haven't for demo purposes, just so that you can see what I'm doing, but about twice as long as, as you want the bracelet to be. And I'm going to, let's grab some pliers, make sure, am I in frame here? Can I see the, the overhead? Yep. Great, I just want to make sure I'm not under the bar. Okay, so I'm going to take a crimp bead, and if you don't know what a crimp bead is, it's this little tiny bead that holds your clasp in place, and they're really good, sturdy, quite large actually. Now, you can put a crimp cover on, but I like to see my crimp bead, because I like to see that bit of metal, so I'm just going to put the crimp bead on, and one half of my clasp to start off with. And then I'm going to take my tail, down through my crimp bead so I'm making a little loop for my clasp to sit on to through there and then I'm going to pull the crimp up so that I've just got a little bit of a loop left there between my crimp finding and between the end of my clasp okay so then I'm just going to take my pliers and squish, that is the technical term, <laughs> it's not really, I've got to squish there, I'm very serious today aren't I, it's very unlike me, there you go, and I've squished so that now that is really really sturdy and that will stay on, okay so I'm just going to put that aside and then I'm going to show you how I made the little components with the head pins, so everything that I'm using you get in the kit, some of the pieces you saw a bit of wire, that doesn't come in with the kit but I just wanted to add a little bit of embellishment, so I'm going to take head pin and I'm going to pop on one of these rounds. I really enjoyed doing this because I really enjoyed hand-picking the colours to go in the jewellery because some of them are clear like this, some are purple, some are like this amazing blue colour. So you can really cherry-pick your colours uh, with this strand. It was really beautiful. And then I'm just going to get my round nose pliers and I'm going to pop my pin into the jaws of the round nose pliers there. So you don't want your pin to be sticking out too far from the top, just sort of nestled in there so I can't feel it when I bring my finger along the top. And then I'm just going to turn my pliers away from me and take my pliers out and then pop them in again. Now what I'm doing with my thumb is just pressing the wire against the pliers so that the wire sits next to the coil before. And then I'm just going to coil it all the way down to the bead so that you get that really nice if I hold it like that you get that really nice effect whereas if you'd snip that off you wouldn't have been using it and I just think that the colour of the findings is so lovely so you just add that and then you need to make as many of those as you need for your bracelet so I'm going to make a few more but quicker this time and just pop on what I tended to do was do sort of a green one and then a purple one and then a greeny toned one and then a purple one. Um, but, you know, you could cherry pick this and just have it in mostly greens or mostly purples. That's completely up to you. And I also like mixing my shapes together as well so that I like mixing my rounds and I like mixing my chips. I just think it gives a really nice texture in the jewellery. So I'm going to make another one. I'm just rolling the head pin away from me. Take my pliers out, pop my pliers back in again and now I can just keep it in there using my thumb to push against and just roll down using the jaws of the pliers. I just keep going until I can't go any further and that leaves me with my little component. So actually to put the bracelet together we're going to take our length 
of tiger tail and we've already got a clasp on there and what did I do I put on a round to start off with and you just pop your round on now what I like to do and you'll know this if you're an experienced jewelry maker of course is if you can you can't always fit them through the holes but the tail you want to take down as many beads as you possibly can because that is adding to the security of your jewelry so I've put on one round and I'm going to put on three chips now you might struggle to actually get your chips into both pieces but I did I did in a couple. Chips tend to, chips and nuggets tend to be different. On one strand you can get bigger holes and smaller holes. So sometimes if you cherry pick, you can get them to go through twice. Pop that on there. So I've got three of those. And I'm just going to see if I can get this end thread through one more. Oh I can, look at that. So that's hugged in really nicely mm, there. Okay. That's not going to come out. See if I can get it down this one. No. So then what I do is to get it out of my way, I would just twist it to a right angle. Whoop! That went flying off behind me. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell Debbie Kershaw's been here. I'll have to be sweeping off after when I finish. Okay, so I've got my chip on there, and then these little Oh, what are they? I suppose they're like little charms now, aren't they? They just act as little charms. Little bobbles. Little bobbles, like that. And so then you just pop that on. And I think I just put, yeah, I just put one chip in between each. Uh, now, my eye is trying to see the holes. There we are. So we'll put that green one. You know, like some of this floor, it really looks like sea glass. Look at that one. It does, doesn't it? And I think the, co the colours that. together are beautiful. <gasps> it's like matte. I've got a thing about matte gemstones mm. at the minute and matte seed beads. Look at that. It looks like sea glass. Isn't it beautiful? It is stunning. I just really love this colour combination of the purple and the green. And also this kind of... Would this be classed as copper or rose gold findings? Rose gold. Rose gold. They're, they're gorgeous, I love that together. They? Really yeah. beautiful. And then you just put on another one of your little charms and another, let's try a purple one this time, another one of your little chips and they all go quite effortlessly through. And then you can see that your pattern is starting beautiful you know to build up it's not it's not a difficult at all when I first got this cat I was like oh it's not seed beads because I've been doing seed beads so much lately that I got really excited and was like oh I've forgotten how much fun this is it's nice to do something different and to make sure you're you know because if you're doing something the same all the time yeah. it becomes like groundhog day doesn't it and then sometimes yeah. that makes your mind go like a bit blank it does and I think you know you come back with fresh eyes as well to for the gemstone Definitely. kits because you haven't just been making them all the time before and you literally you just continue in that fashion and but we'll make a baby bracelet <laughs> you continue in that fashion so I've got my end there and then I would just finish that off in exactly the same way but with my crimp bead and with the other end of my class so if I grab the actual bracelet you can make it as big or as small as, as you want it to be and you don't if you think oh that's a little bit clumpy for me you don't have to put one of these little components on you know and one bead in between you could just put a few you know you could have six beads in between you can have three beads in between it's completely just look I love it and I think as well this color with the green and the purple it just works so well on any skin tone as well and that's a very easy way to make your findings sort of into metal components and this kit is very very finding heavy so you've got lots there to work with and I found that everything worked with everything else everything went through the holes even in the chips I was able to put the chips onto the head pins as well so again I would sell that at a craft fair for about 20 pounds if I'm honest um, and the, the kit was less than that which is a little I think bit crazy. It, I think if people know that it's genuine gemstones there then they're happy to pay 20 pounds that's really great price yeah and an original design you're not going to see like 20 other people wearing exactly. it exactly exactly now we've got uh, Anne in Jolly Great saying hi and more of that colour serpentine in rounds maybe please 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 love your designs Debbie oh yeah isn't it gorgeous that serpentine there's, yeah, gorgeous. there's no other colour like it there really isn't there really isn't and it's uh, I tell you what we are we are going to have more and more things coming through so just keep watching uh, now this kit should have been over 30 pounds i've got we are over allocated 
uh, some of the people that have got this in the basket, they're not gonna, they're, you're not going to be successful. So I'm just going to give you a little name check. Collector in Florida, Claire in, Claire in Bristol, Maureen in Cheshire, Lisa in West Yorkshire, one, two, three, four anonymous buyers. Uh, we have got C in South Yorkshire, Lynn in Ayrshire, Helen in Somerset, Sue in Bristol. You've got your findings pack, you've got all of your gorgeous gemstones, and you've got a, tw is it, how many pieces in the, 21 pieces in the findings pack. Let's have another quick peruse across the gorgeous jewellery that Debbie has made. It's just beautiful. I love your linking as when well. When I saw this, I just thought rosary, rosary links yeah. ev every day of the week because you've got so many different shapes and colours there that I just thought if you make the rosary links and also, you know, use, use the chain. I've used the chain here and, and just... Um, and I thought this finding was so lovely down here that I actually just wired the fluorite... To, that's a toggle Oh, cross. I love that. You know, just for something different. Again, if I can make a flower, I will. <laughs> We know. <laughs> you know. Danny texted me and said, what does Debbie Kershaw like? And like, what does the first thing I put, Danny? Flowers. <laughs> Florals. Flowers. Yeah. She loves it. I can smell hospital food again, can you? Yeah. Can you smell yeah, hospital food? Smell like <laughs> I'm asking the viewers, yes, Danny. Are you asking the viewers if they can smell hospital food? <laughs> I don't know, but it smells like hospital carrots. It does. Ugh. Sorry. It's actually... It does. And you see it, it's actually my shepherd's pie and it's delicious. <laughs> Sorry, but it does smell like hospital pie. It does. Hospital pie. <laughs> that might be the lentils, apparently. Now, we're going to get busty on you. I know. Of all things, on a Wednesday of all days. Is it Wednesday? No. Is yeah. it Wednesday? Oh, it is. Now, I've put this on a... It is in, in Australia, they call this hump day, don't they? Oh, do they? Yeah, because everyone gets the hump by Wednesday, so half through <laughs> the way through the week. I think that's what it means. That is what it means. Yeah. Yeah, you go, you're, oh, you're over the hump, I think. <laughs> or you're at the top of the hump. I don't know. Now, I've put, I chose a black cord because I think I wanted to show you, like if I put this one on a black bust, the black cord kind of gets lost from there, doesn't it? You can't see it. But if I put this on here easily, you can see. Now, to have busts, and Debbie, I know if you, you do put your jewellery up, um, you know, you, you'll put photographs on Facebook and you'll put yeah. photographs around, um, you know, your social media, and it's important to elevate it, isn't it? Oh, definitely. I mean, it looks professional. Not only that, but as a designer, often I will design on the bust. Because so you can see what it looks like? I can see what it looks like, because a piece of jewellery, if you're making it flat, you need to keep picking it up and seeing how it's going to hang, because yeah. you might think, wow, I'm a genius, and you hang it on the mast, and it's like, ah, oh, that doesn't work, because it's going to flop forward, yeah. or it's, you know, so I think they're really important. I have them around the house just to have my necklaces on when I'm not working. That's because you're very bougie. <laughs> <laughs> you Well, yeah. <laughs> You've got little diamond tassels on your slippers, haven't you? <laughs> In fact, wouldn't that be good? That would be good. We did very a tassel cool. with our diamond chips. And then we'd have diamond. We're going to create a range. That's posh, that We're is. It's bouge. It's full on bouge. It's the mighty bouge. Full on. Large white bust for you, $9.95. If, you if you are taking pictures to sell on Etsy, mm -hmm. on eBay, on Facebook, Marketplace, or on your website, it's really, really important. And this one's kind of boofy. You know? For, yeah, that's a description. You've got the booth there. It's a, it's me. Well, no, it's like yeah, no, it's a large one. Yeah, it's got the booth about it, the booth ability. Do you see? There you oh, go. Yeah. Not to poke. I mean, because that looks a bit painful, but it's not because it's not a real. Per don't do that to an actual person. Yeah, um, but it's you almost want to massage it because it feels quite. <laughs> You know, it feels like somebody's got their neck in front of me there. Uh, nine, nine, of course, don't massage random people because obviously of the code ins. Uh, well, don't do it, do it anyway, it's weird. IBZ X20. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, when your mouth doesn't stop, but it keeps yes, going anyway. You I know, know you want well. it to, and it won't. Um, there we go, £9.95. Do you know what? It's, I'm just like this because of my wallpaper. What can I say to you? That's how old I am now. That is really exciting me. My Laura Ashley wallpaper. No, but your bedroom is like your zen place. I know. And then I you can go wait. and just be really chill. It's all about the yellow rose in my garden. It, not in my garden, in my bedroom now. <gasps> so everything's pure, crisp white, but with yellow roses and stuff. Oh, it's lovely. I know it sounds a bit chintzy. No, well, I it like is. It. 
It's a little bit darling it's buds, flowers, darling, isn't it? yeah. It's flowers, isn't it? It's flowers. <laughs> now, I just had to put the citrine, which I think is still available. There's not very many of them left. I think there's about 20 left, a little handful, because they had quite a lot. Oh, my gosh, look at that citrine. Oh, I love it. Uh, but, of course, displayed on this beautiful black bust. And again, if you want to really show off a, uh, a lighter gemstone, you put it against a black bust because the white will, it, it just won't be apparent. So if I had something like, let me see if I've got any, like, white gemstones, which, well, actually, I know what would go really well on here. If we take this off, your shell you had earlier, this is a great example to show it off, because you can see from there then, can't you? You've got, there you go, so you can see, because you've got some, um, some real whites on there. Now, you know what price we're going to. Well, these are always very, very popular. So come and grab. We've only got 50 left of this one. Okay, so at the back of here, you've also got a little elasticated piece that helps you tuck a longer bit in so you can see how it will sit against the decollete. Uh, AUZ X69, your black large necklace bust display 1195 still still with boofability which you've got there so you you then get a feel of how it's going to sit mystery box either a ruby or jade mm. are we allowed to tell them if they got it right or wrong all right no no <laughs> all right i'm getting stressed about it though because i'm going to say it you know what i'm like i'll be like oh that's round of boop that we've got tomorrow <laughs> I do need my own bleep button, don't I? Danny's just found another bus for £17. Very, very similar. Pretty much the same. £9.95 for ours, AUZ. X69. Now, we've got some sterling silver for you. Some more. Let's give you... Oh, yeah, I love this. Do you like... Are you a pearly girly? Oh, yeah. Oh, me too. I love a pearl. Oh, so do I. Well, we've got the perfect toggle clasp if you are a pearly queen. Look at this. So cute. I just love these because you can make a total feature. That's a real little button pearl. Oh, I've never seen anything like that before. Isn't it beautiful? That is gorgeous. I actually think you could use that as a pendant or get two and put them in earrings. I really like it. I'd use that at the front of the neck. Hundred percent. That's not going unless I have my hair up, that's going around the front. Yeah, definitely. I mean selfishly, because I'm not talking like I'm gonna sell this. It's all about, you know, if I had my hair up. Well yeah. I think this is bridal. Very I think it's bridal. beautiful in a bracelet as well as a necklace. It's gorgeous. J E R F twelve is your item code. Six pounds and ninety-five pence is your price, and away you go. What? A, and this sterling silver. And I think if you are going to sell on, the first thing your customers are going to do is look for that nine-two-five stamp. It's there for them. You are using sterling, such super quality, isn't it? I think these are just utter. They inject a little bit of luxury into your designs. They are beautiful. Just gorgeous. Here we go. Another mystery box text. Think the mystery box is Burmese ruby. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> you said sapphire, didn't oh, you? Oh, did I? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can confirm it is. Oh, I can't because. No, because then that'll give. It is not root. No, because it's not root. <gasps> root. Ah! I nearly got it out. <laughs> Stop it! It is like yeah, it is a, it is the elephant in the room for me because I just want to <laughs> reference it, but I'm not allowed. Now, let's show you the connector. Connector, connector. I love that. That's very. It looks very vintage. Mm. Darling, oh, which way up would you have it? That way or that way? Either or, isn't it? Whoops! You could put it on a chain, sure, from the chain bundle. Now, let's keep going. Debbie, I don't know if you've seen these. They're pretty new to us. Mm. But you've got all this silver and they are... See, these I think you'd want to link together. 
You've got little squares here or diamonds, depending on which way you put them around. And you get 10 of those. Then I'm going to give you lots of little silver tubes. This is like a little bumper pack of silver. They're sold out in June and we've got a few back in. And then you've also got the silver um, spacer beads as well. So you get, how many silver spacer beads do I get, Danny? I think it looks like you've got about 20 there, I'd say, anyway. But then you've got all these tubes. Now, would these all go into one piece? How would you? Yes, there's 20, because Bruce just counted them on the picture. Thanks, Bruce. What would you do with findings like this? And, and do you use them sparingly? Would you put them all in one piece? I wouldn't necessarily put them all in one piece, unless I was making a statement piece. Um, but I would use sort of the square ones. I would use probably to hang like little brilliettes off and chain. Ooh. Um, waterfall designs, you know, or if I was seed beading, I would bead sort of around it and add embellishment in the middle. I think that I would use my higher end. Do you still use gems of distinction? Well, most they, tassel uh, strands are gems of distinction. Yeah, so so something of, like this. Yeah, like that. I would use my gems of distinction with the um, sterling silver because I just think. On, with simple designs because that's what a lot of people like to wear and that's what I used to sell the most when I went to the craft fairs. I think I, I think people do appreciate a genuine gemstone, I oh, do. Oh, definitely. And when you see it, you think, oh, it's special, isn't it? There's something special yes. about seeing it outside of a jewel, isn't it? Like mm. a bespoke jewellery maker's collection. I think there's yeah. something quite romantic about getting mm. those gorgeous genuine gems it's because they can become heirlooms. And I do think if you're going to use, like Debbie said, any kind of gemstone of a higher caliber, it has to be a precious metal with it. Otherwise you sort of, you should sort of take the integrity away from that high end piece. PGR F95 is your item with 39.95. You can see the, the 925 stamp on the um, findings there. And I think again, that's what you're, your customers are going to look for, you, you've got that credibility, and you're using sterling. A lot of people are allergic to non-precious metals, yeah. so to be able to offer them that luxury is a wonderful thing. We were just giving you these at one pound of, uh, of finding. Now we're going to take that down to 44 pence of finding. You've got 40 pieces for 17.95, a brilliant opportunity. Geraldine, you've got yours. Elaine in Greater London, collector in Suffolk, Bev, Kerry, Anne, loads of you there. Great to have you company. Thank you so much. Thanks for, for tuning in. It's, we really uh, appreciate it. Pat in Menorca. Menorca. Hola. 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 Do you think it's hot in Menorca today? I'd say it is. Yeah. It's not very nice here, Pat. You're not missing out on much. It's a little bit rainy. We need it for the grass, though, don't we? I, I mowed my grass yesterday morning. Riddle me this. And then in the middle of the night, I could hear it absolutely chucking it down. Good or bad for my lawn if I've just mown it? I don't know. I'd say good. I think good. It'll just make it um, grow again. <laughs> yeah. In which case, not so good. Yeah. I'm a little bit patchy in areas, you see. Now. And the dog has dug this hole, right? And the grass <laughs> grew over it. And I keep going with my washing to the washing line. And go, where she's done that hole. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. Maeve! Stop digging holes in the garden. Is the mystery box kyanite, Jane? It's good, but it's not right. It's good, but it's not right. Like off of catchphrase. Do you remember that, Debbie? Yeah. <laughs> um, whatever the mystery box is, it is bound to be something... Be Linda, you're not wrong. Can we give another clue? Can I give a crystal healing clue? Because it's my favourite crystal healer. Well, can I? Can I? I'm gonna. <laughs> bum, ba -dum, ba -bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Do you believe in crystal healing or is this stuff a nonsense to you? Oh yeah, I've been on courses. <gasps> Stop! Yeah. Have you? Yeah, yeah. What course is where I need to go on one? Well, there's St Albans. Well, that's right near where I live. Yeah, if you go to St Albans, there's a guy there and he's written books called The Crystal Healer. And um, Stop. I've been on some, yeah, really good. So okay, that's literally not even 20 minutes from yeah, my house. Yeah, he's got a studio there. Will he come on? Ooh, okay, let me give you a... Okay, blah, blah, blah. We've got all the... Oh, I can't say that because I'll give it away. I'll give you one fact. Well, it's not a fact. It's a crystal healing myth and legend. A piece of this... Hang on, no. I'm trying not to give it away <laughs> right there. <laughs> okay, wait there. 
Tam, 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 tam. It's a stone to inspire the mind to quick and precise decisions. Ancient traders would hold it up into the palm of the right hand on making business transaction, transactions. Ancient Greeks used its soothing and healing colour for ailments of the eyes, placing a piece of bleep directly onto the <laughs> eyelids or in a cleansing eye solution. Others ground bleep into powder and used it as an antidote for snake and rodent bites or as an elixir for stomach uh, complaints. Wait there, wait there, wait there, <laughs> wait there. I'm going to give you another one. There's feng shui the lot. You can do the lot with this. Bleep! Oh, hang on. <laughs> Bleep honours the Bona Dea, the Roman earth goddess of fertility and the Greek goddess of women. Uh, she protects women through all of their changes and is a skilled healer, particularly with herbs. Uh, Bleep honours the Aztec water goddess and protector of children. Her name mean, means lady of precious... I can't tell you the... Oh, stop talking, he's saying. Sorry, apparently I'm boring everyone to death. Um, now, you'll see and know about what it is. You know what it is now. You do, you do. I love you. They're so lush. Now, we're going to give you... Oh, can we do the brand new connectors? Which one first? Star by. These are brand new silver connectors and I am delighted that we've got them in our show. So you've got this incredible sort of mother of pearl background here in your shell and you've also got the detail of the silver. Can you see that? But then you've got two loops. I'm going to just flip this over. You could easily engrave onto that. It's perfect for engraving, isn't it? Now, you can use these either way up. That could go straight into a necklace with a little, you know, like a gem of distinction or the garnet that you're using there, Debbie. Um, this is just, this, things like this just, I think it's all in the detail. So detail like this adds to the expense and luxury, I think. What, what do you reckon? Well, you want something unusual. I've not seen anything like this before. So, you, I mean, you could use that as a pendant, as you said, but you could also use it on a bracelet. Um, how big is it in real life? Could you use it for earrings? Absolutely just. Just. Um, I do like... How, is it heavy? Mm, no, it's light enough to put in your... Light enough to put in your ear, for sure. I'm thinking it could go in this kind of style, but there, look. Yeah, just with, like, um, a talk bangle. Yeah. That would be lovely. So, if I just show this to Debbie so she can see how big it is... Oh, yeah, definitely. You could definitely. put it in an earring, yeah, you could definitely you? could, yeah. I think these are really beautiful. It's very unusual. You wouldn't have to do much with that, but you could. If you put pearls with it, it'd be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Yeah. It, oh, it would. And right, do you know, it could be quite Victorian up this way yeah. if it was a, if it was in a pearl necklace, couldn't it? Mm, definitely. I think that is so pretty. I love the star in the centre. I love the fact that you've got all that silver at the back. I think it looks very expensive. And it's jeweller. You look at something like this and you think somebody, oh, right, okay, that's a, that's a jeweller's finding. And, and really it is, isn't it? Yeah, you could do a whole collection with this, couldn't you? You yeah. could get a few and then just make a suite of jewellery. I think multi-buying would be a smart idea with this because you're right. I think this could be a bit of a signature collection for you. LUG P70, your oval connector with white shell. 15 by 23 millimetres, £8.95 pence. That's a bri I was expecting 11, 12, 95. Yeah, that's that's amazing. a brilliant price. Very, very good. Suffolk takes two, Devon takes two. Maureen, Sheila, Susan, Claire. I've got a couple of brand new buyers. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. Don't forget, tomorrow is our beginners. Uh, it's kind of like a beginner's workshop, but in a show. And Gemma Crow is going to take you uh, between six and eight through how to get yourself started. How lovely is that going to be? It's going to be a fantastic show tomorrow night, between six and eight with Gemma. Uh, and, the, and the gorgeous Becky, of course. Uh, and that will be after you've gone over the shock of our midday 
mega deal. Uh, Jacob says the mystery box would be could be malachite based on its healing properties. It could be, but it's not good. But it's not right. It's good, but it's not right. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> <laughs> what we should have done is like catchphrase and you and you reveal do, do, yeah. do, 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 and there's like it spinning around we're going to think about that next time can we do that because we've got the button every time someone makes a guess they can say where they want to um which part they want to reveal we'll think this through we'll think it through um darren says hi jm lapis lazuli live jenny what's in the box that's what's in the box it's good but it's not right that was the crushing up hint that made you think of that. I think it was the crushing up. So I've never heard of this being crushed up No, before. me neither, no. Jane in Cumbria says, I think Spinel, we love you girls, we love you right back. But Jane, it's good, but it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do a slider reveal. Do -lo 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 -lo. <laughs> Michelle says, yes, I do that. Hey, Lloyd, how are we video of it? Would you like to see it now? Because I have got Danny videoed it. <laughs> P58 is your item code, and you've got that gorgeous how light in it. Now, we've got loads of chain coming up for you. Look at this. I've got rose gold chain and nine carat gold chain. I mean, I don't know who I think I am today. On sterling silver. It is, is it the bouge hour then, is it? I suppose it's ten to bouge, isn't it? <laughs> it's ten to bouge. <laughs> it is ten to bouge. Oh, we've got the gizmo. Let's do it. Come on now. I've got it here. We've got the gizmo, and that is what made the... It is ten to bouge. <laughs> Apparently that's... I've said some really good stuff today, and that's your favourite thing I've said today. What should I say? Oh yeah, please can I show that? I started doing this weird thing in the break and then Alan, Alan who does our VTs, I made him film it. <laughs> he was like, stop giving me extra work. And I was like, just do it. <laughs> Apparently I give everyone extra work because I get all enthusiastic and I'm like, let's do this. And, and let's do like a VT where we're like this. And they're like, why? And I'm like, for fun. What, work for fun? <laughs> yeah. For fun. Debbie, you'll work for fun with me, won't you? I will. I do like a bit of fun. You're not going to invoice me afterwards, though, are you? <laughs> <laughs> they hate me. My whole crew hates me. <laughs> They're not denying it either. Now we have got for you the beadle on deluxe coil and gizmo. What makes it deluxe? You've got the extra thick one and, sorry that sounded so weird. Someone, someone stop me talking, will you? Oh, no. oh. Now, right, actually what makes it deluxe in all seriousness is that you've got the big one and you've got the skinny one, okay? So that's we, that's a we one there. So you can make your own French wire, but you've got it on the clamp. Now you can clamp it if you want, or you can hold it. Do you clamp or do you hold? I hold. You hold. Yeah. I'm a holder yeah. rather than a clamper. Yeah. Uh, LWB N27. It's going from bad to worse. I don't know what I, look, I'm saying it with all the innocence in the world, I'm telling you. What does the gizmo do? Well, I'll tell you. And also, we have, in fact, got um, a DVD that talks to you about uh, gizmos. So here's, um, on the front of the packaging, if we had just take a little look. Um, you can see what, get this, so that's a gizmode gizmo coil. And that's a gizmo 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 coil. There's some here, there's one here. And there's a gizmo. So you can do a gizmo in a tube and then you can coil it again. And that makes a gizmo gizmo. Yeah. Not to confuse people, because <laughs> that is quite confusing. But here's how you use it. That might. And there's Leroy. Oh. He invented this. His name's not Leroy Gizmo, so I don't know why he called it a gizmo. I quite like it, though, do you? I like that it's called a gizmo. Yeah. 
$8.95. And Debbie, how essential is a gizmo to a jewellery maker? Well, I, it's such an easy tool to use. Obviously, if you've got gemstones and you want to add just a little embellishment, or maybe you're just not into doing your intricate wire work, like I don't do intricate wire work, mm -hmm. um, and you just do a coil and it just adds a little something like you can so see the necklace there and all I've done on the pendant is pull the coil apart a little bit and put a piece of wire through the middle so it can really help you with your designs and it's not a difficult thing to do it's very very simple to work it really is and honestly once you do it for, once you do it once you you literally feel like an expert wire worker yeah. we've only got five, because it's so neat and tidy and you make your own jump rings you just snip them along yeah easy you've got to have one of these if you don't have one of these, you're doing yourself an injustice, I think, in your jewellery making. Not in life, obviously, in jewellery making. LWB, uh, we've got the ameth amethyst ametrine. LWB N27 was your item code. And we're going to reveal Le Mystery mm. after this. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Hi, my name's Jake and I'm Gemporia's gemstone investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. 
Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, my name's Jake and I'm Gemporia's Gemstone Investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. This is the Bouge Hour, where we are going to be bringing you some mighty, mighty Bouge. Let's have a look. I'm going to start. <laughs> Apparently they're laughing because I said that. Seriously, Bouge is serious. This is the bourgeoisie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're luxury. We're sauntering. We're sauntering through white sands. We are going out to dinner. This is a fantasy, obviously. We are going somewhere extra bouge. We walk in, and there's a man sat at a grand piano. And he's tickling the ivories. Is it John Bon Jovi? It, it's... Mm... It is in my fantasy. OK, you can have John Bon Jovi. Yeah. I was going for Buble because it was a bit oh, more bouge. Oh, yes. We can have Bon Jovi later when right. it gets a little bit more rock and roll, OK? Right now, we're in the bouge. OK, we'll have Michael then. We're in the bouge. Then. Get, back, get back to the fantasy, so we've gone... For a walk to the restaurant, we've had to go through the white sands. We're barefoot, but we, it's OK. We've got our gorgeous shoes in our hand, and then we kick the sand off as we go up the steps to that really expensive seafood restaurant, if you like seafood. If you don't, then it's whatever food you like kind of restaurant. Your, your uh, shoes go back on. You enter. Everybody stops to turn around, and there you are, wearing Amatrine. And you know the bouge is on. You have here a gemstone, I'm still sauntering, and uh, Buble is still playing on a white grand piano. You're shown to your table, you sit down, and you know you're feeling good. You've got something expensive on, and you've got a ring of ametrine made out of this strand. It's beautiful, and it matches the scene. And you're relaxed, and you're happy. And you're wearing something glamorous. And this gemstone, by the way, is the gemstone of happiness and tranquility. You've got amethyst with citrine. If you believe in, in, in myths and legends behind gemstones, I do. Some don't. Ametrine is also called Bolivianite. It only happens, only occurs this gemstone in one place in the world, and that is Bolivia. So this is from Bolivia. Bolivia isn't in Brazil, by the way, is it? No. This is Bolivia, because it says from Brazil, it's not, it's from Bolivia. Uh, so here we have that bicolored ametrine in tumbles. For me, I'm going to put this in gold, with gold, and I'm going to put it in a ring. Debbie, when you look at this, very bouge strand. And, it, and this is a very unique gemstone, isn't it? Look at, look at that, look at the way oh. the colors bleed into each other, it's beautiful. It's, it's stunning. I've got, again, a ring with an ametrine stone in it, as these are as nice as that stone it's I'm, I'm very interested to see what you're gonna bring up price wise because this looks to me like if i just looked at this i think it would be out of my price range it's boutique isn't it yes it's it has that stunning. boutique bouge about it yeah definitely bouge your bicolored ametrine tumbles today are going to go at a fabulous price be ready for it we're feeling fabulous we're there we're still there 
We're still there. Don't forget we're in our fantasy. These are just beautiful, aren't they? Adorn yourself with one of the most beautiful gemstones in the world, in my opinion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Rosie took two. Collector and Suffolk took two. Maureen, Vivienne, Anna Marie, Anne Marie, sorry, Amy, and Collector in Sussex. Should be price oh. is twenty six ninety five, and Deb is already gasping at that price. I think that's some... You've put your cocktail down at this point. I stood up and told Michael to stop playing. <laughs> Buble, stop the music. <laughs> not your price okay you're going to be able to afford one extra song from buble right why isn't it our price i don't know danny because you're quite mad today because if there's one thing danny wants to bring you it's bargain bouge rms <laughs> f 78 is your item code let's get ready are you ready are you ready no. 19 pounds and 95 pence <gasps> unbelievable Unbelievable, there's 13 on the strand. On my strand, you said there or thereabouts, that's under two pounds, one pound 53 per ambitrine. Crazy. This really is a sensational deal. Mickey, you've got yours. Diana, you've got yours. Lisa, June, Maureen, you've got to check out. Debbie and Powers, you've got to check out. Collector in Heart, the cheer, check out. I have got, oh, you need to check out your baskets. We are absolutely busy as bees around a queen. 0800 644 if you're dialing. Jewelrymaker.com if you're shopping online. The third way, though. On the app. Tap the app. You've got a 60-day money-back guarantee that takes you all the way until September just now. Whew. You've got to make sure... Ray, you join us. Hi, Ray. How are you? Lisa, you join us. You've got to check out. You've got to check out now. Oh, do you know what? We have still got some citrine left. It's on the website, and these will go together. I've just got to show it. Sorry, Danny, because we are bouge. We're bouge. do 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 I love it. That is full on, but it, but it does make you feel like that, doesn't it? I think we're going to have to have a bouge theme tune, everyone. Bouge. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's, I'm going to add it to the list of things I want the crew to do with me, and then they're going to refuse. And then they'll be like, oh, fine. Danny does everything angrily that I ask him to do. doesn't do anything with glee or gusto. Because I never might do anything fun. Well, you're just very, very grumpy. Now, it's very grumpy, it's very tetchy. Now, which one, darling? Oh, aqua praise. Do you like that? Do you like that? No, I hated it. Um, I love aqua praise. It's such a beautiful gemstone. It's got that mermaidial green to it. Oh, I love it. God bless you. God bless us all. You all right? Little sneezy poop yeah. is hair, hair fever, not hay fever, not hair fever. Yes. <laughs> You've got the hair fever. <laughs> uh, it's coming up for you in about this bundle in about 15 minutes' time. Let's give you some gold spacer beads. Now, do you know it's very difficult to get sterling silver? We've only got a few of these. Be, as Danny says, on and gone. You get 100, but we've only got a few opportunities for you. You get loads. Now, this is very difficult to source. You'd have to go, I, you know, if you want sterling, I think we're your best bet. Would you, I don't know whether you agree with that or not, Debbie. Yeah, but, I do. And I've bought sterling from a lot of different places. Things like this, I just run out of. You know, the spacer beads, because I'm always just wanting to put, I don't think you always necessarily have to do something really, really difficult and intricate with your gemstone strands if you've got a beautiful strand just put spaces in between yeah. the, the gemstones work with the ametrine won't it oh beautiful with the ametrine and you've got a hundred of them at 9.95 if you try i mean you could go to cook some gold you could go we are i believe much better prices than anywhere else we're giving you they usually give you packs of 20 of these we give you 100 now it's sold out and gone We can see what's coming up in the mystery box soon, which is good because any minute now it's blurting. Have you seen 
these rounds. They're Russian diopside rounds. We never have round. This is is it Russian or is it Brazilian? R -r -r Russian. Now, I think yes. Wait there. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait to see what I've got. Wait to see what I've got. Yes, yes, yes. Look at those together. Ooh. Wait, wait for it. I've got more. Oh. Oh, that's stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, oh lovely. Oh, I'm getting all the treats out. Don't you worry about me. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> when I show you this, you're going to go a little bit crazy. Look what's coming up. Oh. oh, hang about, hang about. We haven't had these for oh, ages. Look at those. Isn't this a very versatile colour? Wait, wait. That's what I say to my dogs, wait. <laughs> they never do, do they? <laughs> no. 1995, four chances, SJN V17. You've got to be very, very quick. Three chances and it is the final bouge down. That's what they're, rose gold, gold, silver, it doesn't matter. It's gonna look gorgeous with anything. This us go great with Debbie's kit with the dog tooth amethyst. Collection Suffolk takes the first. We've got all well, only collectors in at the moment, actually. Two in on, two just collectors, I don't know where you're from. Uh, 22 centimeters, SJN V17. This is Russian diopside, a huge, huge carrot weight. A gorgeous opportunity for you to get that tapered strand. You've got a wonderful amount of graduation in here. What a gorgeous, gorgeous strand this is. Russian diopside, we know, isn't coming out in big carrot weights at the moment. Look at those together. <gasps> gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry, I was going, <laughs> and they were like, what are you, what are you doing? What are you? Oh, that's what she was doing. <laughs> Sorry, it's hay fever, I knew my tablets are. Big reveal, are you ready? Da 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 clap, da 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 da, da da da, da 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 da, da 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 da. Is that weird? Is it a bit weird? Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce is like, <laughs> Emma's like, woo, woo. Daddy and Bruce are like this. <laughs> is it like when you're? It's like when your parent does something really embarrassing. Is that how you felt right now? That's how they felt. <laughs> da da da. <laughs> Uh, hello, this strand is going, hello, uh, this strand <laughs> is going under 10 bananas pounds. Crazy. And That's look, crazy. if you believe in crystal healing, you've got white jade, deep green, traditional green, you've got, I mean, white jade, they've all got their different, they've all got their crystal healing meanings, you need this strand tomorrow. Now, we are going to put this on pre-order, what time should we put it on pre-order tomorrow, Danny? We think it's going to go on at 9am. Well, what if it sells out, though? Danny says he's got a plan. Don't worry, i got a plan. All right, all right, fine. But if I don't get my strand, me and you are going to have some kind of turmoil. I'll tell you what, I'll do this. Da-da-da. Every day if I don't get my strand. I'm going to. Da-da. 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 Was it every time I go da 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 da? Is my mic on now? No. Oh. <laughs> that was Bruce. Am I back on? Michelle says my mum is going to be happy as it was her who suggested it was Jay Dank to me after the first clue. Yes. Well done. Be there twelve o'clock. Be there or don't get the bouge, basically. Mm. Can we do the phosphorus? I love, I'm just gonna get off my chair. Oh. Sorry! <laughs> I'm like Lord Farquhar when he gets off his horse, <laughs> aren't I? <laughs> Princess Fiona. Now, other princesses are available. I love this color so much. This is 
Phosphidiorite. Have I said that right? Phosphidia, right? I always say it wrong, and I think, and what I do is I have that song in my head to remember it, and then I say it wrong. Yeah, sorry, Debbie. You've got to put up with me, I'm afraid. I've not heard of that. I, uh, isn't it beautiful? I love the colour. Uh, that's it. It's got this amazing, amazing opaque purple. Mm. No other gemstone. Maybe Angelite has that bit yeah, in Angelite blue. Does, yeah. But that's what it sort of reminds you of, if you ask me. Which nobody did. But. No, it does remind me of Angelite, but this gorgeous kind of lilac -y purple colour, isn't it? It's so unique. Let me... Phosphosiderite. Bum, bum. I'm just going to see what I can uh, get up about this gemstone. It's called a dream stone, if you're into what we're into. Um, and it's used to interpret dreams. Ah. Which is nice, because I have some very strange so dreams. The other day, I dreamt that my son was a baby, and I was giving him his bottle, and my mum said that the bottle had been in the bag for too long, and that I was a terrible mother. <laughs> and I woke up going, I'm a terrible mum! Oh, wait, my son's 15, <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> like, I went in and told Max my dream, and he went, can you just stop being weird first thing in the morning, please? Like, I was like, I just had a weird dream that you were a baby, and he was like, oh... <laughs> It's eight o'clock and I haven't got school. Get out. <laughs> now, this is a gemstone. It's so the dream stone. Let's see what else we can see about this gemstone. Uh, now, it's a guardian buffer crystal. Guardian buffers are talismans used when the desire is to find a way to transform a part of one's life to a more calm and balanced state. That's nice, isn't That's it? That's lovely. It's lovely. Um, oh, do you know these stones are used for emergency workers, soldiers, sailors and airmen uh, in the performance of their dangerous duties. Mm. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. Oh, you're going mad for this. Thirty-two ninety-five is your website price. And when we bring something to air, we'd like to give you a bit of a better price. I, do you know what? I'd love to wear this around my neck. I just think, what a colour. If you had a white shirt white on shirt with that, with oh, jeans. I'd love, oh, yeah, and a pair of jeans, yeah. little pumps, looking cute, out yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah. 14.95, perfect, perfect price for this gemstone if you've never used it before. I've put it next to my pink nail polish and I kind of like those, those colours together. I think they're nice together. Jam takes two, Lorraine, you've got yours. Joe in Hampshire, D, Rachel, Morak, you're going crazy for this, it's beautiful. What would you put this with? Would you go straight in and put it with a green? Would you put it with another purple? What I do you think, think I'd put it with the spaces that you had just earlier. Yes. Um, and I bet this is, feels lovely against the skin as well because they're just like it does. The classic sort of matte round. Yeah, space out. Oh, all pearls, maybe. Pearlies. I'm just going to get my cheeky bit of jade out. I won't sing the song, OK? I think they go. Oh, they do. It's that green and purple combination again. Oh, I love that. Gorgeous. Hilma, Diane, check out. Half the stock gone. Sue, collection of Suffolk takes two. Uh, well done to you. Uh, Elizabeth, you've got yours. Abiola, you've got yours. You need to check out if you haven't done so already. Approaching three quarters of the stock has gone. Let's keep going with the uh, purple. Is that in the other side? Yeah, I saw those and I thought they're so beautiful. This isn't just any amethyst. This is rose. What's rose in French, Danny? Rose de France. Fleur de France? That's flower, isn't it? Mm. Flower. Le Fleur de France. I don't know what rose is. Oh, it is rose. You said that in a, uh, in a northern accent. You went, it's rose. <laughs> it's rose. Rose? Like Saint, oui? Rose de France? Oui or non? We're very excited about the Jodak going under £10. Danny likes to remind me, yes, yes. This going under £10. Look, look how beautiful with this. How beautiful it go with your acropraise. Oh, that's perfect. This is Rose de France. You know what you would put it with? The citrine that you bought as your deal of the day. You have to have that, honestly. It's so beautiful. It's totally natural as well. Gorgeous strands. We've been extra today. We've been extra, haven't we? Nine ninety five for Rose de France Amethyst. And again, you know, Debbie, you were talking about gems of distinction. This is definitely in that calibre, isn't it? Yeah, you'd put your sterling silver findings with something like this. You just have to, because it's just beautiful. Oh, 
with the ametrine. There's so many things in this hour that go together so beautifully. I know, it's the way he does it. Amazing. He's actually got an eye at the moment. You can Very say good excellent producing. producing, says Danny. <laughs> All right, Danny, don't blow your own trumpet. No, Danny is actually, um, you know, as much as we do wind each other up, he's, he's got an eye for it now. Oh! Uh, yeah, you're, you're one of my top two producers. There you go. Yes, I would say that, yes. Stop going on, because you also remind me of my son and you do frustrate me very much. Uh, 9 95 I love my little prince, but my goodness me, he's got a lot to learn. Now, a lot of pressure for you for the next one then, Dan. Danny. Where did I get that from? 11 or... Oh, okay, yes, which one? Please, can we do number 11, because they're just so beautiful. Thank you. Dan is being nice. I love Rubelite. Do you remember mm. when you and I first started in Jewelry Maker? It was all in one big building and we yeah. were at Gemporia and they were having a big launch of Rubelite. Yes. And we all, had to, we all went and looked at Rubelite. Do you remember that big Cartier ring? And then, uh, uh, and then they had a Lorique collection ring, which was oh. everyone went crazy for. And we all went. And remember, it was in a glass case and everyone yeah. used to sort of press their noses against it. And it was a Lorique piece and it was thousands of pounds. Yeah. But, oh. But it was, the Cartier one was POA. And if, darling, if you've got to ask the price, you can't afford you can't it kind afford of thing. It, yeah. um, but Rubelite, since then, I've always wanted it. I've seen the hype behind it. Cartier have made a huge deal of this. And my gosh, did we all want that piece of jewellery. And then there was a one-off Larique piece that Gem Poria did. Gems TV back in the day, it mm -hmm. was called. When De and Debbie, it would just, it captivated me from the off. This rich incredible colour that wasn't quite pink, wasn't quite red, was somewhere perfectly positioned in between. What a colour. It's a talking point, isn't it? Because people are going to ask you, what stone's that? Because they know, they think, is it a type of ruby? Yes. You know, wh what is it? And I like jewellery that has a story or a talking point. And you can tell it's natural. You can tell it's real. Look at these colours. Oh. To know Mother Nature gives this to us just blows my mind and again i'm going to show you this with your citrine i know it was today's deal of the day but there are some left and i just think you have to put them together it sings this sings together look at the quality of these two uh, and to get rubelite of any kind of carrot weight is an utter treat if you go and see see who's using rubelite some of the best jewelry designers in the world are using this gemstone. Why? For the richness of colour. For the fact that you put this with rose gold and it literally just is the most remarkable combination. But then you put this with classic gold and you're talking. Look at the richness. Then you put it with silver and it works. It's so versatile. 99.95, you've got a whopping 17 and a half carats of ruby light. Get the certificate of authenticity. Collection stuff it takes two. Well done. Uh, we've now only got a small handful of these left. They're just gorgeous remember your 60-day money-back guarantee remember this is an absolute collector's gemstone this is one of those ones that you will seek and wait for this is a gemstone that you wouldn't necessarily ever think ever think that you'd be able to get hold of as a jewelry maker first hand this goes to jewelers normally and it probably has it's probably gone to a jeweler just there now we're gonna give you some pink tourmaline Have a look at this. So I'm just losing my talk back. Can you say that again? Now saucers, they are ideal to nestle in between, but they'd be perfect on your bead loom. They'll be perfect to go around a cabochon. Have you used a saucer, Debbie? Have you used any of these? No, I don't think so. I was just looking at first. They're almost like a bit like a bicone shape, but yeah. flattened out. A little bit, yes. They are very much like that. And you can use them in place of a bicone. So they'll do pretty much the same thing and you can mm. sort of knit them together in the in the same way. I love that colour. I think this would make a lovely anklet. And you can Ooh, channel yeah. set these as well. They're so pretty, aren't they? That colour's beautiful. I'm always calling out for more anklets, Danny, yes. What a beautiful, beautiful colour. And you know you get a little bit of sparkle here. It's going under £20. 
Oh, I think it's gorgeous. Naturally, this colour should be twenty ninety five. Uh, representative of October's birth gemstone collection in Suffolk takes two. Richard in Tyne and Ware. Julie in Suffolk, you've got yours in a basket. We're going to go to fifteen pounds. Actually, says Danny. Twelve pounds and ninety five pence, and away you go. B W N V fifty eight is your item code. Make sure you're quick. I don't want anybody missing out on this one. Victor and Pamela, you've got yours. Melissa, you've got yours. Well done. Collection Mercy side joins the queue. Make sure you're checking out. Uh, lots of you are adding twos and threes to your baskets. Angela, you've joined us. Well done. Lorraine joins us. Hello to you, Lorraine. Hello to each and every one of you. This is from Madagascar. We must go there one day. Have you been to Madagascar, Debbie? Nope. Me either. I I'd expect all the animals to talk, though, if I were. 100%, yeah. I think they do talk anyway. Yeah. It's just that we humans have got to listen. True. That's the point. You've got to listen. I'm pretty sure Maeve talks and Minnie, my other dogs. Oh, yeah, my dogs, definitely. If you try and cuddle Maeve when she's asleep, she goes... <laughs> <laughs> and it really makes us laugh. I must film it. Because she's like, she has to go to bed at 9 o'clock on the dot. Otherwise, she, gets, she goes up, puts herself to bed. Even if we're all still downstairs, she's like, I've had enough. I'm going to bed. <laughs> And then if you go up and try and move her, because she's always on my bed, she goes, <laughs> like, it's my bed. And then she huffs and puffs. Like, yeah, <sighs> mine do that. <sighs> like, it's such an inconvenience. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> mmm, mmm, mmm. Beautiful. Come and see, come and see. So we've got aquaprase here in a, in a strand, and we've got the loose gemstones to go with. Beautiful. Now, we've only had aquaprase, I think, since we've gone back under the Gemporia umbrella. Look at that! Oh, I love it! Look at that, look at that gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Oh, I love it. I just think that's beautiful. And I would put it with my pinks. Look at those together. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, I love this strand. Sorry, I said that in a whingy voice. Like, oh, I want it. Wee. What a clarity. What a colour. This mermaidial treasure is going to go with so much. I think this might... Oh, this might make it to my... I might have a top four of gemstones now. IYS. F91, you've got 64 carats of aquapraise. Should be 129.95. We're going to bring this under 70 pounds, but you better be quick. We've only got a handful. Beautiful aquapraise. This is exclusive to us here. Uh, you won't be getting this strand anywhere outside of Jewelry Maker. It's utterly exclusive. 69.95. And the collector is straight in. Julian Suffolk, you've also got yours. You've got an eye for the beautiful, beautiful gemstones. Let's pop it again with your deal of the day. Gorgeous. I can't wait for you to get this home. I just love this colour so much. Now, okay, it looks like that's gone. Um, I've, got to, I've got to tell you, we're doing the Aquapraise Star Buy and I don't think this is, this is going to, they're going to sell out in, in minutes. So you better be ready, jewellery makers, it's time for your Star Buy. Here we have Aquapraise. Have a look. This is a, a limited edition. We've got less than 20 of these. And you get, I get the whole collection, yeah? You get three of, look at the size of this. I'm going to take this one out, but look, you've got a marquise there as well. And then you've got a teardrop, which is round the wrong way. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to flip it this way for a minute. So you're getting over five and a half carats all together. Gosh, this is going to be... Look at them. Now I'm going to take the oval out. Look at the size of this oval. Oh, well, that's got to go in a ring for me. Debbie, what precious metal would you choose? Ooh, I think it goes with gold and silver, doesn't it? But I'm leaning towards the silver, I think. 
but I'd want to um, set that in for a ring, I think, because Definitely. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's that um, sea-themed, like, remedial colours again, isn't it? 100%, yeah. That colour is just absolutely blowing me away. That's a really good size again as well, isn't it? Per the perfect size. I love it. I just love it. And you've got this whole collection. I think maybe I'd keep some. I'd put this one in a ring and the other I'm going to keep in my vault. In my little stash. Because they've got, by the way, separate them from their certificates. Just in case. Because if somebody... Oh, yeah, true. You, you should always do that. Always keep them separate. Look at that colour, though. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. YBX, C74. We are about... I don't know where Dan is going on the price, so I can't... Go on, then, tell me. Stop it. This is Aquapraise. <laughs> and by the way, there's no... This is pure colour. There's no clouding in here. It's a very, very fine example of aquapraise. Look at the look at the saturation of colour here. This really is beautiful. We are right. Okay, I'm going to just tell you something. The price we're going to, we think is wrong. <laughs> but you're going to do it anyway. Just doing it anyway. Are you sure? Ten pounds a gemstone at twenty nine ninety five. You've got an utter treat. Be as quick as you can. Zora in Julie L. Collector in Merthyr Tidville. Collector in Suffolk takes two. Loads of you there. We only ever had how many was it? Twenty chances. Nineteen chances. I've lost him. How many chances, Danny? Nineteen chances we had. This is going to sell out today. Well over half the stock gone here. Uh, we're trying to catch up with our system. Collector in West Midlands. Make sure you're checking out. This really is in incredible. Uh, Teresa, you've got yours. Alison in the city of Bristol. You're there. You all need to check out. If you all check out, it's gone. Ellen the Shire, you've had yours in a basket too long. Collector in Kent, you're there. Teresa's checked out. We are definitely limited stock look we've only got well we got less than that carolyn enhance you're there you've got to check out an 89 pounds and 90 pence saving you get three you've got a 60 day money back guarantee you're guaranteed the shapes and sizes that i've got here right that's true isn't it yes uh, and they are totally natural unenhanced look at the beauty that you're getting do you know what you pay more than that for one this is lunacy what how come this is happening have you seen this before? Is this a new deal? What's going on? Somebody else do that to the price? Sorry, we should have had this conversation earlier. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. I didn't know he was going to do that. Hilda, you've got yours well done. Uh, L, you've got to check out. We've only got five left. Right, there's a queue on the phone lines. Four left. The telephone caller takes the luck next. Uh, there's three more on the phone and then that leaves one. And I've got Merthyr Tidville and Gloucestershire. What a price. Did, has this been on before? Never before. Never again. <laughs> well, it won't. That I There'll mean, that'll sell out. Today. Of yeah. course, yeah, absolutely. I'd I'd be adding twos and threes into a basket. A beautiful. Get it valued. Get this valued. You've got your certificate of authenticity. It comes with. I just can't get over the sizes of them. That marquise as well. We know marquise is an expensive car. You'd pay that for a marquise. Look how beautiful that colour is. I'm delighted for you. Well done to everybody. For getting theirs at 29.95 YBXC 74. We've only literally, we're down to the last two. There's somebody on the phone, and there's a collector in Methodville and Elle in the Shire. So one of you is going to miss out. Whew, that'll sell it. That'll sell itself. That will. I've got that Tanzanite strand. Should we do that? Let's do it. Let's do it. So Tanzanite. We. Oh, this is one of your birth gemstones, Debbie. Yep. Yeah. Now, of course. Anyone who's worked in the jewellery industry at all, or in shopping TV, in fact, knows the hype of Tanzanite, don't they? Did you see, Debbie, the guy that had um, discovered, I think, one of the world's biggest pieces of Tanzanite, and he was uh, a multi-millionaire now. Oh, no. In uh, Tanzania. And he is building a school. He was a local who found it, oh, and he's amazing. building a school. He had 30 children. Wow. Because he had three wives. Wow. So they must have 10 children. Well, I don't know. I don't know how this... Um, 
And yeah, he's building a school and That's he's going to keep it all in the community, he That's said. That's fantastic. How lovely yeah, is that? It really is. It was wonderful. Here we have Tanzanite, it's said to be a thousand times rarer than a diamond. I put this with pearls. This is your wedding day strand, isn't it? Now, this was granted to be a birth gemstone and a precious gemstone. I think um, it's been like over 100 years since that had been done previously, hasn't it? I, I found the information and I've forgotten it again. I really, I found it and I was reading it out. But this, oh, it's gone. Crikey. How much was it? Well, no wonder it sold out if it was that price. Now. Let's give you the blue zircon. I think this will go very, very well with your aquapraise. Look together. Ah. Blue zircon, another December treat. So you could have, you could have had all your December birth gems, but put it, look at that together. Oh, that's beautiful together. Oh, isn't it just, look how sparkly zircon is. It's so fiery. Absolutely fiery. It's a very durable gemstone. So this is the oldest gemstone on the planet. It's, it's up to 4.5 billion years. It's older than what we thought the, the world was. Wow. So when they, when they had the uh, technology to analyse how old Zircon was, they realised, oh, we didn't realise the Earth was that, lot, that, that old. And look at that fire. Said to... Uh, to drive away evil spirits if you believe in that kind of thing look at this but you can't deny that sparkle a little bit of heat gives it its color from cambodia this is a ratanakiri blue 18 carats one left at 49.95 beautiful beautiful stone collectors bought two so it's gone of course it's how you... yeah i saw this it's so nice yeah, it's beautiful and very very white loads of pin fire <sighs> The rainbow goddess is said to reside within this gemstone if you believe in ancient folklore. And I think I can see why. The rainbow goddess is strong in this strand. Look at that. You go into the jewelers and you don't see pin fire like that. And you've got your reds, that's your money color. If you've got red in your opal, you know it's expensive. You know it's exactly what you're looking for. You've got reds, you've got greens, you've got violets, you've got blues, you've got oranges. This is an exceptional example. Even down to the tiniest ones, look how striking the pin fire is. What a perfect opportunity for you. I, I love this gemstone. Said to be very, very lucky. Look at the glow. Beautiful. You're taking this on. We've only got a few of these, of course. Look at that quality. Look, look, look. Look at the flashes. $39.95. Walk into any jewellers, even in the high street, and try and find opal in one small pendant for anywhere near that price. You'll be looking over the hundreds. DQJ N36, 15 carats of opal. Alison, you've got yours. Collector in Suffolk, Hilda, you've got yours. Rosie in Devon, Collector in Suffolk, takes two. It's gone. Of course. Yeah, can we? I haven't seen these and they're beautiful. Um, I think these are kind of classic jewellery maker. We used to see strands like this often, but I haven't seen any since I came back. So I'm really, I'm really delighted to see these. I think these could go in earrings. You'd probably get away with one in each ear. I wouldn't put much else in there because they'd be quite heavy. Uh, but definitely pendants, absolutely lots of drops. But I'm thinking 1920s. I'm thinking choker, long chain down the back, and then one of these. Be quite sexy, that, wouldn't it? I'm obsessed with that look, but I haven't got the back for it because I've got back fat at the moment, which I am working on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I mean, in my head, I'm wearing that Chanel piece and my back looks like that. In reality, you don't know if that's the back or the front. <laughs> you know, that's all I'm going to say to you. It's true, though. What happens to your back when you get, you hit 40 and your back lets you down? You're like, what are you doing? What's that role? Get back. What are you doing? What is back fat? How, what? How dare you creep up on me like that? And there is no amount of spanks for that 
I mean, spanks the wearing. Don't, you know, <laughs> I'm going to stop talking, actually. I'm going to stop right there. Um, here we go. IEG, other supportive underwear is available. <laughs> Are there 11 on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Actually, Danny, you should have there or there a bounce on the nose, Danny. Eleven pounds on the nose. The, but look how be I think these would be so lovely in home decor. Oh yeah. These would work in my floral themed bedroom. Very chintzy, I know. I'm an old fashioned girl. Eleven pounds. I E G P thirty seven. That's seventy. Three pence each. Gillian, Sarah, Lynn, Collector in Sussex, Leslie, Bertha in Colorado. Hi, Bertha. Uh, uh, we've got Collector in the West Midlands. Hilda joins the queue. Great to see you all. Rosalind in Devon. Lucky you, Rosalind. Especially this weekend. It's supposed to be a, a bit warmer, isn't it? Five chances. Uh, we had summer and then it left us for a bit. It did. It's gone. We're so inconsistent. It'll be coming back, hopefully. Just when we get trust in the fact that we can hang our washing on the line. <laughs> what is that about? I put it on the other day, it blew away. I know. I was chasing after it. Now, we're going to give you those wonderful chain bundles. Which one should we do first? Rosa. And of course, these are star buys. Now comparing back fat in the studio, just so you know. Don't cry, it's just a thing. And to be fair, you look good from the front. Oh, thank you. What? You're, supposed, you're allowed to big other girls up. Like, that's what you should be doing, isn't it, Debbie? Absolutely. There you go. Not to put words in your mouth, Debbie. No, that's what I isn't was telling it, my daughter. Huh? Yeah. You yeah, got it. Champion other women. Absolutely, always. Just randomly for no reason. Uh -huh. Go up to someone in the supermarket and tell them they look great. Why not? Someone came up to me in the car park the other day and I was wearing the plainest dress ever, a t shirt dress, and she went, You look good in that dress. I just thought I'd tell you. And I was like, Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm only just here at the, uh, at the German supermarket oh, getting nice. my facial stuff because, oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, Danny, all right. Now, we have got, I love rose gold chain so much. Oh, Danny, don't do it. He says, I'm going to say one thing to you, Jenny. I've got one word to say to you, Jenny. That's what he just said to me. And he said, four pounds a chain. And I said, what? Well, I'm saying, what? <laughs> Are you, you can't do that. Have you not been on Cooks and Gold? Do you not even know you can't get rose gold on sterling silver? Do you not even know? Actually, let's check, let's check that today. I haven't checked today, and, and it does go different every day. Cooks and... I always go to say crepes and cones instead of cooks and gold. Rosa gold. Rose gold. Sterling. Chain. We want it finished, though, and I don't think they got them finished. We'll see. Oh, one chain. Do you want to know how much it is? Yeah. Nine carat belcher chain on sterling, seventeen ninety seven. Another one, sixteen fifty five. Fifty four, fifty six. Oh, that's solid. Oh, that's that's solid. Oh, I'm not sure if they got the endings on them. Oh yeah, they have. Okay, and that's eighteen inches. Four pounds a chain. We've gone mad. Have we gone mad? Have you gone mad? What is four pounds chain add up to? So this is going to 16 pounds? You've gone mad. You have, you actually have. Is that on sterling silver? It's on sterling silver. Waka, crazy. <laughs> Waka, it is That's crazy. That's really, really good. That's it incredible. just says rose gold chain there, doesn't it? So yeah. it is on sterling just to confirm, aren't they? This deal should not be happening. 
I can't get, what's going on here? Why are these only 16 pounds? Because we've gone bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Jennifer, you've got yours. Helen, Phyllis, over five grams of silver and they're all 18 inches, are they? Oh, I've got to ask. I've got to ask the questions, Danny. Christine, Jennifer, Chris, another Christine. Phyllis, Diane, Joy, yes, they're all 18 inches. Lynn, collector in Suffolk, takes three, over half the stock gone. Joe, West Midlands, Pam, Stephanie. We've got collector in Derbyshire, Karen, Suzanne, Sue. Collector in Sussex, Donna, Annalise, Mickey, Lynn, Tom, Audrey, Kat. Literally, there's so many of you, this will sell out. I mean, gosh, that's, I would just give these as gifts if you wanted to. They've got, I love, do you know why? Because look how lustrous these are. Oh, no, you must think about Christmas now. Absolutely. We haven't got long, mm -hmm. have we? Mm -hmm. Bertha in Colorado. The thing is about Christmas, it catches up with you every year. And if every year you say to yourself, why do I let myself pay for everything on payday at Christmas and then I've got no money for the rest and why is December then so long till I get paid and January is the longest month ever? You know, don't do it to yourself. Just do one thing and invest in, in your Christmas stash now. And if you are creating to sell at Christmas, you're doing that already, aren't you? You're already ahead of the game. 16 chances now. Right, this, this was our ridiculous star by deal, by the way. We can't do the same for the gold, Dan is just telling me. We've got three chains for the gold, but we are going to give you a fabulous deal. You're still going to give a good deal, though. Oh, stop. Oh, he's such a little... <laughs> he went, I am really. <laughs> he's drunk with power, apparently. He is. He's like... He thinks he's the captain of his ship, this one. Would you HMS lols? <laughs> Bruce is always there with a quip, isn't he? He's so sharp. You are sharp, Bruce. Captain Bantery, yeah. Captain Bants of the HMS lols. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I get three chains this time, yeah? Oh, hang on a sec. Fragalita. Ooh, that gold is lovely. So they're all the same this time. There's no Prince of Wales. Oh, these are 20 inch curb chains. Look how lustrous, they're all this 20 inches. They, they, that's gorgeous. So we, ha we have here gold, nine carat gold on sterling. Four pounds a chain. <laughs> I'm not sure either. Danny said, I'm not sure about this. You know, you know, that you, you say that when you get on a roller coaster and it's too late and they've strapped you in and you're like, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to, I've changed my mind. <laughs> 12 pounds. I, I, told, I tell you this all the time, the one that says don't look down. I did it last time and I thought, why am I doing this to myself? I, I'm not enjoying this. And then they drop you, they say oh, don't look down, yeah. they drop you. And I, at the end of it, only lasts about 20 seconds, I thought I'm never doing that again and I never will. Hated it. 12 pounds. I used to do it all the time. Didn't bother me. Not anymore. Not anymore. I can't do it. I don't mind going upside down. That's fine. But don't be dropping me. Oh, no. HYXC49. Triple trouble. It is triple trouble. Neil and Linda are shopping. Suffolk's taken four. Leslie, you've got yours. Um, Suzanne, Phyllis, Hilda, Catherine, Pam. I've got Annalise, Mickey, Sandra, Jane, all the greats. You're all shop you've shopped for both of these. Loads of you. Seven chains for 20. You could have put this all in a big bundle then, couldn't you? But pretty much everyone's bought the same, I think. I think that's a good... Well done, Danny. I think... I'm not saying... Listen, I think it's brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, separate them in case... I do agree with you, actually. And I said, I didn't want to do that because some people might want to chop and choose and if it would have been the same price anyway it doesn't matter you're right danny as always not as always sorry oh. <laughs> no <laughs> he went right that's 1748 jenny admits i'm always right no you're not putting it on a loop <laughs> how are you doing over there deb with your challenge I'm darling i'm done deb is done deb is done 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 did done 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 <laughs> Now, tell us how you felt about that garnet, Debbie. Oh, it's just beautiful. Oh, I love that. 
very Art Deco to splay it out like that. It's available on the website. I just, you know, you don't actually have to do much with a strand like this because it's just completely beautiful and elegant. I think. And that's what you've done. You've epitomised the elegance. I love the other necklace with the drops. So that's a lariat. So that little drop goes through. But I just thought, you know, chain and these little drops. It's just beautiful. Again, quite sophisticated definitely and you've got it is like a gem of distinction i love the bracelet that's just underneath what emma's showing now the little flower oh we had to have a flower <laughs> that's beautiful how did you do that just wire wrapped it put a wire through all of them and then went love it it wasn't enough to hold the structure and then just went round each petal again beautiful which of course you could do one statement piece with this strand couldn't you yeah. if you wanted to like yeah. you could do a big flower necklace but um I think a suite of jewellery would be beautiful. I do too. I love it. I think that is... And, and did you have any left or did you use it all up? I've got three left that I'm just playing with and that's it, yeah. That's, that is stunning jewellery. Thank you so, so much. Oh, Still welcome. on the website if you'd like it. Gemma Crow also uh, had her contribution towards. If you'd like to take uh, part in Gemma Crow's challenge, there's an opportunity to do that. Well, actually, I presume there was. Have we, I'll tell you what, we've got... I'd go and have a look at the website. Hopefully we've got some stocks left. Yes, I saw this silver hematite and I've got to say, opportunities here for an anklet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely, yeah. Do you know, this looks like there is a Tiffany & Co bracelet that they've got at the moment. And it looks just like that. There's our sterling silver. But it does look similar. How gorgeous is this? Beautiful, isn't it? I just love that. What shape are they? They're like well, boxes. It says well, bicones, so they don't look like bicones. Well, it's strange, actually. They are like boxy bicones. They're boxy bicones. I really like that shape. It does look like chain. But again, I think they're quite Art Deco. Yeah. I think that's beautiful. Anklets, bracelets. Really sparkly, aren't they? Yeah. Love them. We've got lots in stock. I think that's what my producer's just saying. My 20, I thought you said plenty. Only 20. Okay. Get yourself ready. It's 7.95. Is doing it again quickly because I don't want you missing out. I think so, Debbie. Tassels, bracelets, mm -hmm. putting these in between. I, I do want to see these in the ears as well. They'd be lovely in the ears because obviously that jewelry moves a lot as yeah. you move, and I really like that. But I'm, I have to say, I'm not usually a big fan of hematite, but I absolutely love this strand. I love it. I would use this strand. I think it looks like solid silver, and it feels like it, it feels like it's solid Does silver. It, yeah. Oh, we've only two minutes left. Uh, and we're going to give to you, hang on, I've got things in wrong boxes. Is this topaz? White, to well clear topaz, not white. Have a look. Sparkling like diamonds. Often they'll use white topaz in place of diamonds to bring the cost down of jewellery uh, because you still get that sparkle. Oh yeah. And I think these will go very well with your tanzanites. Definitely. Beautiful. £12.95 for this. Debbie, mm. thank you so much for all of your wonderful designs and your input today. Do you know when you're back with us? Monday. Which show? This one again. With us again? Yeah, one to six. Will it be with you again? Yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, I can't wait. We'll do a little booge hour, yeah? Let's do a booge. We'll do a little thing. Uh, you know what I do. We'll do a little VT, shall we, Debbie? Should we do a little booge VT? Yes. I'll get you to Facebook me some over and I'll do it myself. Okay. Because we'll these it. lot won't get involved. <laughs> $12.95. They're, at home is their leisure time. Apart yes. from at one o'clock in the morning when they're on the uh, group text talking about Surrey and not Surrey. <laughs> you have to guess if it's Surrey or not Surrey. <laughs> Wait a minute. Thank you so much for your company here today, but don't forget, ah, it's locked. Ah, in. 
our midday mega deal. Da da da, da 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 da, da da da, da 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 da, going under ten pounds. Bye, I love you. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>makers on Saturday and is going to be bringing to you some genuine gemstone headpins. I'm so excited because we've got blue topaz and we've got peridot, we've got garnet in there as well, some of my all-time favourites plus loads and loads more. Do not miss here on Jewelry Maker 10 o'clock this Saturday with Elle. Hi, my name's Jake and I'm Gemporia's Gemstone Investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Hi. My name's Jake, and I'm Gemporia's Gemstone Investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide.
Jewelry Makers, on Saturday, Ellie's going to be bringing to you some genuine gemstone headpins. I'm so excited because we've got blue topaz and we've got peridot, we've got garnet in there as well. Some of my all time favorites, plus loads and loads more. Do not miss here on Jewelry Maker, 10 o'clock this Saturday with Elle. Jewelrymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelrymaker. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Oh, it's gone a little bit late show up over here. It's lovely to see you. How has your day been? Oh, did you get some of them treats before? Weren't Debbie's makes beautiful, those little droplets. So, so, so pretty. Um, we have got oodles to come for you this evening. Um, if you have just tuned in, hey, you're fan Becky. I have got so much coming up for you tonight. First hour is all about the bundles, the last of stock essentially. Um, we've also got for you the night owl. I mentioned this earlier on today. If you saw, it is absolutely significant opportunity I've got for you. Significant in the truest senses of the words. Oh, ho, ho. that perfect pinnacle point of excellence locked within these stones. I am bringing to you the one of the most opulent, glowing stones that the planet has ever brought to us. This, all the way from Australia, is on its way for you. Doesn't it look like the most incredible aquamarine you've ever seen? It does, doesn't it? It looks like the most perfect aquamarine you could ever hope to get your hands on. I'm bringing this to you as the night owl this evening. It will be on its way. Limited purchase. To get this kind of quality, we were only able to buy, I think it was 55. Um, that's all we were able to purchase. That's coming up for you this evening. It's going to be the last deal of the day, so it will be up with you in about two, no, one hour, 50 minutes, approx. That will be there for you. I've got loads more to come before that though. And as I said, it's all about bundles and last of stock in this first hour. So let's dive on in with Fool's Gold. Fool's Gold, it's uh, otherwise known as pyrite, but you may well know the name Fool's Gold more. I think it's maybe a little bit more um, sort of described as Fool's Gold, in particularly if you go, for example, into mineral shops or even museums and you go to the little uh, shop afterwards and you see in little boxes Fool's Gold. This is what it is once it has been beautifully shaped and polished. Fool's Gold is a stunning gemstone. And when I'm bringing it to you like this, you are getting a really a massive abundance of it. As you can see, just in case you've not seen it before, it's got this incredible sub-metallic luster. And the interesting thing, it's almost got a patchy texture, actually, this on it, which is interesting. But, um, yeah, it's, its name um, comes from the Greek word, from my memory, it's P... Y R, yeah, because it's being a pyrite. P Y R. Um, it's a, a Greek word that means fire. And this actually used to be highly polished by the likes of the Aztecs, and they used to use it as mirrors. And you can see that, can't you, on the surface? You can see that given, granted, um, sort of ancient 
mirror-like sheen. It's divine. I'm going to be bringing you two strands of this and it is low stock as everything is in this hour. It's a miss it miss out hour. Should be $19.90, $9.95 each if you will. It's a great price. We are going to roll this down though only for the final few. I've got less than 40 of these available for you. It is literally last of stock. Good luck to the tubes and the rounds. The rounds 10 mil and the tubes 8 by 6 12 pounds 95 for you today that is a massive massive price drop for such a huge amount and i've got coming up for you in a, a very short amount of time let me just show you how simple something like this could be now i would restrand it obviously uh, just put it onto another stranded material and what you could do is if you wanted especially with the rounds i think this would work so well just bob on one of these clasps That's going to work so nicely, isn't it? Perfect round magnetic clasp. And the interesting thing is you've got um, sort of the metallic element within the pyrite as well itself. So you're getting that sort of connectability that kind of goes across the board, if that makes sense. We are bringing to you today a double bundle of this. So you're getting the tubes and you're getting the rounds as well. What would, would you work the tubes and rounds in together? Can you remember earlier on, Debbie used the, no, not Howlite, no, I think it was Howlite or Magnus, I can't remember now, uh, but she used that to, and she used tubes and rounds together, didn't she, to create that kind of pinwheel effect. You could absolutely do something like that with these. Hello, Hertrude, how's your day been? I hope you're having a really lovely one. Kathy, what have you been up to? In gorgeous Derbyshire. Hey, up, is it absolutely tipping it down outside where you are? I mean, it is hammering down outside here yeah? i could hear it coming not coming through the roof we haven't got to leak but you know i could hear it sort of pattering through the roof before it's really coming down now what happened to this weather of like four weeks ago outside in the garden scorching so it'd be nice next week is it i'll believe it when i see it uh, do you ever notice how you kind of forget uh, when it's really really baking hot you kind of you love it for the first couple of days and then you're whinging because it's too hot and then it starts tipping it down and all you want is the sun again never happy um how's the weather where you are let us know what you're having for tea it's that time it's tea time isn't it let us know what you're having for tea or what do you call it again adam yeah. dinner dinner uh let us know what you're having for your evening meal 60777 stoke text with the word jm studio I'd also um, say to you, if you, um, if you do want to say what you'd make with any of these things, then absolutely do. Absolutely do. £12.95 low stock pyrite, very low stock now, less than 30 Let's move on. Ooh, oh wow, that's beautiful. Let's keep it metallic. Oh, do you love sparkle? If so, what colour would you describe this as? Is it almost gunmetal? Possibly. It's a really deep and intense, I would say, gunmetal colour. And when the light is bouncing on the surface of this, you're just getting that serious shine and sparkle. But then that depth of body colour, I think it's very enticing. These are 10 mil and 8 mil. Yeah, I've got one of each. Apparently, have I? Am I in the right location here? I am. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? We have got for you 8mm and 10mm. So, what are these going to be great for together? You could do a graduated net design, couldn't you? Quite easily. You could even do a design where you just alternate them. You could go completely separate and um, do a design whereby... You know, you maybe just use the large ones for the neckline and then the smaller ones for your bracelets and your earrings, etc. I'm trying to think what I could do with these that isn't jewellery making related. Yes, I know we're called jewellery maker, but let's face it, we're all, we're all crafters in our own right, aren't we? If you were to do something with these that's outside of the realms of jewellery, what would you do? A hair clip? Yeah, no, I get that that is still kind of jewellery, but no, that could work quite nicely, be Diddy. I quite like the idea of doing um, 
like some lace work and maybe popping this on as like this um, a tassel that goes over a book you know for like a bookmark because this is really nice and weighted so it'll weigh that down beautifully you put the lace work on the page that you're reading little tassel on top with one of these so that that then hangs over the front of your book not going to lose that then are you we are rolling down the price for you. We've literally got 12 now. People are already checking out £7.95 for you. If you have never, ever felt hematite before, well, you need to get this home. The weight of it is just incredible, and it's because of the high amount of metal in it. But the high amount of metal is also to do with the uh, light and the way that this shines and sparkles against that gunmetal collar. Eliza's in with us. I love the name Eliza. Isn't Eliza, is it Eliza who's from um, the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain? Anyone? My fair lady. My fair lady. Is that Eliza, Lucy? Yeah. It is. Did you say my fair lady in an accent then? You did, didn't you? She went, my fair lady. <laughs> I liked that, Lucy. It was good. It was like a lady Danny Dyer. Anyway, Eliza says, <laughs> my sister and I are in Cornwall. She is having... Oh, it's like EastEnders. <laughs> What's going to happen next? We'll carry on with that in a minute. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Oh my gosh, this is a gorgeous duo. Right, can we carry on with that text, please, before I start talking about these? I'm interested in Eliza and Cornwall. <clears throat> My sister and I are in Cornwall. I love Cornwall. I've only been once, but, oh, my gosh, it's beautiful. It's really nice. It is. Um, she is having, what's that say? Phyllo-wrapped prawns and chips. And I'm having buttered chicken chunks and chips for tea no a battered chicken is very different to a chicken nugget i'd say i'd say a battered ch it, it, there's something extra there it's elevated phyllo wrapped prawns You're, that's the type of thing you only have at christmas that's around my house anyway that's how you know it's christmas phyllo wrapped prawns and you get the um what's it the sweet chili dip and that's always the one that goes first isn't it you know what i mean there's like, what else do you have? Uh, like a buffet, you'll have like, um, yeah, little sausages and cheese on sticks. But it's always the prawns that go first. You've got to get in there quick. Oh, that sounds delish. Oh, I'm very jealous. What else is everyone eating for tea? Let us know. That sounds gorgeous. I hope you, you and your sister are having a lovely time, my love. Thank you for the message. Let's have a nosy. Uh, we have got for you brown colour coated. Hmm. Hmm. Black spinel and black agate rounds that for me brown coated i mean it's bronze that's what it looks like to me which i suppose is a variety that is so high shine isn't it i love that color oh and then we just tie it in with these these are the same size four mil as the ones that i did with lovely debbie and her kit earlier on they work nicely together don't they don't they sorry <laughs> don't they I've noticed this since coming back to work. I think because I've not been hand hanging around with a... M m m what, what is it called here? Not Middle Earth, Midlands. Because <laughs> I've not been hanging around with my Middle Earth friends. <laughs> Sorry, Midlands friends. I think I've gone a bit more northern. So I do apologise if I shorten words for apparently no reason. Anyway, I'm bringing to you the brown colour coated spinel. Those are micro fasted. The skill level going into those is just immense to be able to cut them, but worth it. Can you see how it's worth it? Because that sparkle is just unrivaled in an opaque stone. Two mil on those ones and four mil in the black agate rounds. It's another bundle for you, but it is low stock. We have got less than 30 of this. It's only, do you know what? That is mind boggling. Okay, so when jewellery makers started bringing to you micro fasted strands like this, when they very, 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 very first started out, very first, I'm talking, you know, first few weeks of jewellery makers starting, like 10 years ago, they were around the £30 mark for any micro fasted strand. And then I'd say around about 2012 ish, uh, no, in fact, sorry, after that, yeah, about 2012, you'd go down to about best price deal best price 19.95 for an individual strand of micro faceted even quartz now though we're doing micro faceted 
by itself for 7 95 and to me, you get for free the agate. You've got a real opportunity here, especially if you like your dainty or delicate jewellery. More dainty, more delicate. Hi, Susie. Oh, it's lovely Susie in. <clears throat> me and my granddaughter, Amy Lee. Oh, I love that name, Amy Lee. Amy Lee sounds like, I don't know, like... She's going to be like a celebrity. Do you know what I mean? Like a famous sort of actress. I love it. Amy Lee. Are having chips and barbecue chicken wings with salad and, of course, spicy gherkins. With what? What's that? I have no idea. Right. I can't get my head around. First off, what a spicy gherkin is. And B, what a picante? Picantes? You get searching that, please. Spicy gherkin. Right, Adam, how do you think you make a, a gherkin spicy? Um, I suppose when you're pickling them, you put some chilli in, hasn't it? That's a good shout. Yeah, pickle them with chilli. Picantes are a type of pepper. Are they the, they're the little sweet ones? Oh, are they? Little sweet peppers? Pepper, yeah. Well, I... Oh, Susie, you've opened my eyes. <laughs> I was with you, completely... I was with you and Amy Lee with the chips and barbecue chicken. Chicken wings, we were talking about this before actually. We talk a lot about food here. Chicken wings or buffalo wings. Have you heard the term buffalo wings? Yeah? When, I hope you don't mind me sharing this, but I'll share it about your mum. When your mum, when, when Peter D's mum was younger, she thought that buffalo wings were from buffaloes, which kind of makes sense. Why are they called buffalo wings? The sauce is called buffalo sauce, is it? Is it from buffalo? I mean, it's eye-opening. Oh, enjoy that. I would absolutely... Oh, I'd tear apart a few chicken wings right now. Thank you for that. You and Amy Lee have a lovely evening. Nikki's in. Hi, Becky and Fab, jewellery maker team. Say hello, team. Hello. Hello. Um, um, I cooked a gammon. So Hubby is having gammon rolls and I'm having, what is that, Rivita with cheese triangles and gammon on top. Hang on, Rivita, isn't that like the dead crispy one? Isn't a Rivita like a crispy... Like a really dry cracker. <laughs> like a dry cracker with cheese and gammon and gammon on... Nikki, you've absolutely boggled my mind there. You lot, and I adore you all, but you lot are having some right odd things for tea tonight. We had the first message in with um, Christmas prawns. <laughs> and now we've had these things I've not heard of, and now gammon. I've had ga gammon seems like a very Christmassy thing too. Gammon with egg and uh, pineapple. Oh, man. And you go to those places where you only get to pick, do you want an egg or a pineapple? Always pay extra. That's my advice. Right. Um, oh, let's do a bead scoop. Oh, preciosa beads. This is so clever. You've got two different colour palettes here. Last of stock, bead scoop. You're getting two different types of colour here. Preciosa beads, bead scoops. What do you use them for? Which one's your favourite one? Do you love the shards? Let me grab them out for you. Let me try and grab one of them. Do you like the shards like these? One drill hole in there. Do you like these ones that have the two drill holes? Like that. Maybe. Oh, oh, wow. I've not seen these ones in ages. I love these ones. I can't pick it up, though. Tiny they are. There they are. These are beautiful. Preziosa, we all know that name, right? Beads, glass beads, very famous, and they come in some of the most dynamic ranges of different colours, shapes, and sizes. We've seen these, um, well, quite a bit in the in, when we're doing beading, but they're not something I tend to see in bead scoops separately like this. So, if you love these beads, um, but you maybe don't always get your hands on them when we get them in packs, now is your chance to have a fantastic bead scoop. So, two different colourways, or uh, in this instance anyway we're going to do a drop down deal you're getting plenty in here for 7.95 seven pounds and 95 pence and that's not you know you don't have to pick which color you want you'll get two packs these ones are distinctively different two packs for seven pounds and 90 pence um do you have gravy on gammon at the carvery i don't think i've ever had gammon at a carvery 
No, I don't think I have. Yeah, but gravy you have with everything, don't you? Oh, I had a lovely chippy tea with gravy the other day. Oh, it's beautiful. Curry or gravy? You've never had gravy on chippy chips? Right, well, that's... That's us sorted for next week then. That's what we'll be doing on our break. Going to get some chips and gravy. Oh, it's delicious, isn't it? Mm, chippy chips, bit of gravy and curry sauce. And I have some mash. Not mash. What are them ones? Mash peas. What are they called? Mushy, Mushy peas. peas. Yeah, mashed. <laughs> yeah, mashed. Mashed peas are just some extra mash. Mmm. <laughs> for when one type of potato isn't enough. Seven ninety-five today. Nice work. Hello, Claire, Jane, Tina. Tina, unusual way of spelling Tina. I love it. Um, Karen, Margaret, Zara's in. Hello, Zara. Uh, Hilda's in as well. Some of you are checking out. Some of you aren't. If you do check it out, then obviously this will be delivered to you in a matter of days. Let me show you too some of the treasures that are coming up for you this evening. There you are. If you had to choose a colour and or gemstone to go with this, what would it be? Because for me, and this isn't standard I would say, but because I've got the quality here. Oh, I love that together. Oh, wow. I think it's because tonally they're both quite muted. I also think it's because the glow in them is just beautiful. These ones on the way to the night owl. That was wolf, wasn't it? Whatever. I'll get there. I'll work it out. I've got for you now. If this was Morganite, how much would it be? B did he say in? 80 pounds? I agree with you there. Could be. Or even 100. Yeah, no, you're right. Could. Because it's a really long strand, I have to say. This isn't actually Morganite. This is Rose Quartz Crystalline. So named Crystalline because uh, the crystal structure is basically perfect. And so you don't get what you get in some. You get lots of, of light running through this. And in fact, I can prove that now. So these are the same gemstones. That's Rose Quartz Crystalline. Can you see the light and the beauty in the center? Yeah? When I show it to you with a more opaque rose quartz, it's incredible that, that they're the same gemstone, but they are so vastly different in look. It's amazing that, isn't it really? But this is, they're both lovely quality. Uh, actually, that top one almost has a chatoyancy to it, almost, doesn't it? But um, yeah, they're both, the same gemstone it's just that structurally the one at the base is a little bit more streamlined the same gemstones in two very different looks so if you're into your crystal healing then this is a really interesting gemstone bundle for you to get your hands on because you've almost got um sort of maybe some might say the day wear and night wear uh, version so if you want to make sure that you're carrying around the same sort of um, possible powers, let's say, to the stones, then you've got something for all day round. We've got for you now your low stock rose quartz bundle today. Should be. That'd be 16 95 each. Obviously, it won't be because this one would probably be closer to £22, wouldn't it? And then that one a little bit lower cost, probably. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, what are we saying would that be? About twenty four ninety five for this one. Yeah, it's about right, isn't it? $24.95. Today, the bundle for the gemstone of universal love, we're taking it to lower than you'd be able to get this one for. Yet we are, we're going to not $24.95, not $22.95, nope. $14.95. If you like this strand, here's my advice. Buy the bundle because it, it's better off. It's better off. You're better off monetary value-wise. That's a brilliant opportunity, isn't it? That's so wonderful that you're able to get those for that price point. What? 
There's loads and loads and loads of you coming in to grab these ones. I'm afraid to say at this point, I've got 19. So it's fastest finger first. Angela, you've got yours locked in. Linda's got hers locked in. June's grabbed hers as well. Well done to you. I've got Larnickshire, you've grabbed yours. Well done. Karen, you've got yours. Surrey, you've got yours. You're locked in. Um, Channel Isles, you've got yours as well. You're locked in. Stephanie, you've got yours. Hello to you all. Plenty of you in. <laughs> Hello all, we are having a Chinese takeaway tonight, <gasps> it's my mum's lockdown birthday treat, just looking at the menu now, mm -mm -mm. and Marie, so jealous, I think Chinese, if I had to, it's my favourite, do you know what I love about Chinese? You can literally just go in with starters. I would be more than happy to just get full up on the starters. I'm chatting the wontons. I'm all about them geysers. Spare ribs, prawn toast. Spring duck, rolls. Duck. duck and what? Duck pancakes. Oh, duck pancakes. Yeah. A bit expensive, but worth it. Worth it. You know I love an edible spoon. Edible spoons are one of my favourite things. An edible spoon is basically anything that is edible that you can scoop with. So prawn crackers, yes, edible spoon. Oh my goodness. And also, I'm Murray, happy birthday to your mum. Lockdown birthday, but what a treat. What a gorgeous treat. What are you going to opt for? And marie when, once you've made your order, do you mind <laughs> texting in and letting me know? Because I am getting food envy. Hello, Sarah. Sarah's saying, hi, Bex. I'm doing gammon for me and hubby tonight. And yes, I will be adding egg and pineapple. So we've had two, well, four people technically having gammon tonight. Here's something. What is gammon? It's ham, isn't it? But how do you cook it? Do you boil it? Is it boiled gammon or do you do it in the oven? I've never cooked gammon. Never cooked gammon in my life. I love that you're having egg and pineapple. That's good. You don't want to have to choose, do you? Oh, and you get a chip and you dunk it into that egg. Whoa! I love it. That's another good edible spoon. Sorry, I was ignoring you. <laughs> I thought so. Sorry, I'm, ooh, I'm getting all about this gammon. Let me show you. Do you remember I brought these on earlier on? What are you chortling at? Me and me gammon. Have a little look. Do you remember I showed you this earlier on? The magnetic clasp that goes perfectly with the pyrite and any rounds actually of a similar size. I'm going to bring this to you now. Now this is very, very special. I've literally got exactly 25 of these bundles and there are a bundle, you've got three of them. Let me show you all the way around these. Did you hear that knock then? Did you? That was these closing in on one another. That's how strong they are. So you've got that lovely rose gold finish. You've got the magnet in the center. And then, <laughs> hey, there you are. Let me show you. Let's just, I just want to show you how strong these are actually. Because I know this sounds silly, but magnets, some magnets aren't as strong as others. And that's true. I know it sounds a bit silly. One of my favourite things, trying to get it to stand up on end. I'm so close. I've done it. Yes! It's the smallest things in life that make me happy. But you can see how strong that is. So sturdy, so strong. So that means that even heavy gemstones, like the pyrite, is going to fit beautifully with these. Now, a smaller magnetic clasp, I wouldn't want to say whether or not they would be as strong, because obviously the magnet's smaller, so there's less of that force there. But if you are planning on getting big, heavy stones, such as these ones I did earlier on, these are a great addition, I believe. For three, it's £20.85. Rose gold metallic class with cubic zirconia, three times over. Six ninety five each. These have been sold at. But my lovely producer B Diddy, uh, her name is actually Becky, but B Diddy because it gets confusing. The lovely B Diddy has done you a bundle here. So we're going to give you a drop down deal. Not six pounds ninety five each, which already is a very good deal today for you for twelve mils. These are each. We're going to be bringing it to you for 
£14.95 only. They are so fabulously strong. They're such a great quality. They are going to mean that your jewellery is going to last and last and last. Nice and strong, lovely and bold. And it also means you're going to get that added detail of sparkle. I mean, you can see it almost looks like it's sort of encrusted with diamonds, doesn't it? Absolutely beautiful these ones are. £14.95. Do feel free to message us in tonight. I want to know what you're having for tea and or dinner, whatever you like to call it. Also, if you've got any other peculiar names for this meal of the day, do let me know. Maybe you're a supper person. Maybe you call it supper. The snack after dinner, I, snack after dinner I called supper. So supper's at like nine o'clock. Our biggest supper, it is, is, depends on how hungry you are, if I'm honest. Like, you know, cheese board, but like with a baguette, you can have a sandwich for supper. Yeah, like cheese, like cheese on baguette. You have a cheese board, you have crackers, get rid of the crackers, swap it for... <laughs> no, because you can have cheese before bed, because I don't think that cheese actually makes you have funny dreams. You think that's a lot of food before bed, do you? I didn't say I was having a foot-long sandwich. <laughs> anyway, $14.95 for you today. Good work. <laughs> Ooh, nuggets. Hello. Tomorrow, this before I forget, let me give you the rundown of um, tomorrow. The, the sections that I'm on with you so you can know. I've got three guest designers on tomorrow. I've got lovely Linda with the most sparkly kit, two o'clock till three. Then I've got Spellbinding Laura Binding coming straight from us from the Binding Residence in lovely Bristol. And I've got, unusually, this time tomorrow, Gemma Crow on with us this hour and the next hour. So we've got extra guests and extra inspiration tomorrow so we just thought i'd let you know in case i do forget um but yeah the reason i was mentioning that is because um i know that we are going to be talking makes with chips and nuggets tomorrow with Gemma crow let me bring how have we described these oh, brutal quartz that is so beautiful it almost and i think because it's glowing so much from the labradorite it almost looks like white labradorite we used to do like white labradorite but it's very few and far between Bringing to you today 155 carats worth of the quartz, 70 carats worth of the Labradorite. The thing I really adore about these together is the fact that texturally they're similarly, and did I put another alert on then? I did, didn't I? <laughs> texturally they're similar, similar, um, but also tonally they're very similar. So they pair beautifully. And I think there's something very chic about these kind of colours. They've got almost like this sort of expensive mink kind of hue about them, which I think is just divine. We're bringing to you both of the strands, and I have to say they are lovely quality across the board. That Labradorite is shining with blues and greens that really bounce off the internal interest of that black rutile. These together as a pair work beautifully. And actually... You know, when you're watching at home and you're thinking, oh, I like them together, it, say a presenter shows you them next to each other, they're two separate products, you might buy the first one and then you buy the second one, right? If you were to do that, your should be price would be £12.90. Buy them together now, and you know they look great together, you know they look beautiful together, they're actually just £7.95 now. So you've actually got yourself a decent discount there, it's, it's kind of, you buy the larger one, you get the smaller one for nothing. So £7.95 for you now, plenty of your income in, in from all over, I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday, I hope you're staying dry, you're staying warm, you're staying safe, and I hope that you are um, getting ready to be really creative with all of these goodies you're ordering today they'll be with you as soon as we possibly can and you'll be able to get crafting remember that that three pounds and 95 pence potion packaging is a one-off payment whether you buy one thing or 101 things today check out before midnight that's all you pay say to me again more nuggets now oh blimey three sets oh <gasps> 
Oh my goodness, I've not seen that in nugget form in ages. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, show you these two first. Bringing to you Rainbow Moonstone and Black Spinel Nuggets. When is the last time you saw Black Spinel Nuggets? For me, it's been ages. I've not seen anyone do any this year. You know, I'm obviously not watching every single second of the day, but I, I've not seen us do spinel nuggets at all so the moonstone itself that rainbow moonstone beautiful white body juxtaposing really nicely with that inky jet gloss of the spinel if you've never had spinel in nuggets you've got to try it it is one of the smoothest nuggets you will ever work with and the weight of them is magnificent it's not a submetallic stone spinel itself but the um sort of gravity index on them is really high so it feels substantial so you know it's going to last the one that i said i have not seen that in nuggets for ages i actually don't think i've seen in nuggets for maybe a year malachite wow that i think is really adding a little vitality to this bundle work them in together of course but actually for me that as a standalone tree of life would be sensational can you imagine that in a tree of life how do you think it'd look do you think it'd look like a spring or a summer tree? Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? It looks like it's bright, it's blooming. You could even in with this, maybe pop a few of the uh, little white chips in here from the moonstone. It might almost look like um, there's little buds of flowers about to burst into life. Low stock nuggets, 1949 as a should be deal. Six pounds 50 about each, that one is. We are rolling it down for you now though, we're taking it down under £15 for you on this one. Just remember everybody pays the final closing price so don't worry if you've already checked out and we take that price low, you get it too for just £12.95, that is it, £12.95 for three of these. Now, I haven't got, um, or do I? No, I do, I have the sizes of them. They're approximately 85 centimetres each. So what is that times three? Who's good with maths? Probably B Diddy, because she's got a calculator. 255, so that's over two and a half metres of gemstones you've got here. Two and a half metres of seriously shining moonstone, sensationally glossy spinel, and incredibly rarely seen malachite. And remember, Malachite, when it comes to opaque stones, I would say is one of the more expensive ones that we do here. Would you agree with that? This and sort of Chrysocolla. Oh, hey, I've got the most incredible Namibian Chrysocolla tomorrow as my night owl. Just to give you a heads up in, wait for it, rounds. That's special. Alison's in. <clears throat> Hi, Becky. I'm having my dinner tonight. Prawn chili fish cakes with rice pepper white rice pepper sweet corn and onion Alison that sounds absolutely delicious prawn chili fish cake now that is delicious do you not like a fish cake oh I love a fish cake me and prawns as well with rice peppers sweet corn and onions that is oh Alison I'm I, I'm jealous what moisture have you got there, though? That's my question. Are you doing a dipping sauce? Mmm. Alison flower pots in A up from Wrexham. You know that's my neck of the woods, don't you? I was, I was, I nipped past Wrexham just the other day. I'm in Chester, just on the border. I am. Anyway, hiya. She says I've just had a paneer and mixed veg tikka masala. Oh, delicious. And rice for me tea, homemade but out of the jar was banging says Alison Alison I like that because it is homemade so what is out of a jar you made it at home but hang on where'd you get the paneer from because you can't just make your own paneer can you I mean maybe, well you must be able to of course you can I've never tried that oh a tikka oh I love what's a mixed tikka different meats yeah but Alison's making that at home She's not whipping up, I don't know, a steak and some chicken, is she? Maybe she is. Maybe she is. <laughs> she might have brought more than one meat. Yeah, it's not about that. I know you're allowed to buy more than one meat at a time. 
<laughs> Tell you what, working with this lot, you know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, they're taking the mick out me now. <laughs> More than one meat, what do you think? I'm queen. Now, you know what I mean? Cooking them. <laughs> This is one of the most luxurious nuggets you could probably purchase because it is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. I was lucky enough to have Sleeping Beauty Turquoise on just the other day. We had it as a brand new deal and it did sell out from my memory. Um, it wasn't nuggets. In fact, we had three on the other day. Um, and yeah, they all sold out. Possibly because we know of Sleeping Beauty. Do you remember we saw the video with Steve? I don't know if you, you were watching then, but um, we showed you a little video with Steve on. And he was essentially talking about the mine and the closure. And um, basically talking about, you know, how this kind of comes and goes and how it's a treasure of our planet. And it's something which when we want to buy it, actually what happens is because they're not fresh out of the ground anymore, what he'll do is he'll go to a gem fair and he will swap other things that he has in his vault for things that he's got. Um, in fact, should we have a look um, in Tucson with, um, this is Steve at the Tucson Gem Fair, which I'm sure you know um, all about, but this is actually him sourcing Sleeping Beauty just like this. Yesterday we were up at the Sleeping Beauty Mine, which you saw was all now closed down. So we've come down to Tucson to the gem fair. I'm literally going around seeing all the guys that I know that have mined this gemstone and sold it over the years. And we're trading sorts of things like our fire opal and the serenites that we cut uh, and doing some swaps. And uh, I'd like to say we've just done 4,000 carats. Not the biggest sizes, but it is textbook, textbook Sleeping Beauty. And prices here at the show, people are asking $80, $90 a carat. That's like 50, 60 pounds a carat. Uh, just because you can't get it anymore. Of course, we don't want to pay that, so we're doing lots of swaps. So that's how we get our hands on stones like this, because the mine is closed. It's not coming out of the mine, you know. That was in 2016, remember, so it's, it's just getting more and more and more difficult to source it. As you heard there, they're asking, you know, around the sort of $670, $80 a carat mark, which is huge. In fact, let's do that now. Um, 60, 60 carats times 60, what are we talking? That should be easy to do in maths, shouldn't it? $3,600, $3,600 for something like this, you know, if it were $60 a carat. Um, the fact of the matter is that we do swaps. We swap out gemstones that we have, you know, serenite, for example. We did serenite before, actually. I don't know if there was any left. We did a little parcel of serenite. We'll take a little parcel like the serenite I brought you earlier on today and we'll swap it so that we get a discount deal. And that is how we're able to do prices on 60 carats of Sleeping Beauty turquoise, like this price here. £32.95 for 82 carats worth of your Sleeping Beauty turquoise. That is an astonishing opportunity at the best of time. So how much is that now per carat? It's definitely not $60. Thirty-two ninety-five divided by sixty equals plenty of you grabbing these. Fifty-four pence per carat. That's cheaper than a second-class stamp per carat for Sleeping Beauty. No longer mind unique, individual, bright, bursting, opulent blue turquoise. And we're not even stopping there. We're not even stopping there. Okay, seize the moment. I've got exactly 30. 30 and that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Again, especially with stones like this. We don't have reorders in on this because it's, it's look of the draw. 40.95. That's now 25 pence per carat. I have 
I have brought you quartz more expensive in a carrot than that. I have. It's only because it's last to stock. And this is why you tune in live, isn't it? And I want to say thank you for that. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our shows. And thank you for joining us in these final two hours because you've got um, last of stock and then clearance deals tomorrow these times we've got Gemma Crow on with us so that'll be a really nice little addition if you do finish work at say five and you're missing a bit of nighttime creativity don't worry we've got you covered tomorrow that is with the lovely Gemma Crow £14.95 I've got multi buyers in on this welcome I hope you're having a lovely one today £14.95 that's about to sell out it's about to sell out I've got to show it to you next to, it's a different source of turquoise, but just to give you an idea, they work really nicely together. Turquoise, it's the same gemstone, yes, different location, but nonetheless, they look great together. Don't they? Yeah, it's fresh, it's vibrant, it's holiday, holiday, sorry, mm, holiday, sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. Um, it's basically just been me chatting to myself for the last couple of weeks. Um, 27 carats worth of turquoise. And this is your plain ovals. Um, well done to you on that one. Now, this is still from USA, but it's not classified as Sleeping Beauty. So it won't be from that one location in... Um, in Arizona, of course. Bringing to you 25 carats worth. I actually think these would work really nicely to make the nuggets go further. So if you imagine just one bracelet, let's say, and you pop on just one of these as a center, that's gonna work really nicely. And you're gonna be able to do it, depending on how many times you can get, you know, nuggets. Obviously, you do a, a clasp on, so you'll be able to get a fair few, like, won't you? But one, two, three, four, five bracelets quite easily by the time you've added a clasp on. And you've definitely got enough of these pendants for it or, or stones for it. One, two, three, four, five. And then say you take the two largest ones for your pendants, for example. You've got 27, 90, sorry, 27 carats for just 22.95. However, we are going to take this down. It's going under 15. I've now only got five left, though. So I do wish you luck. If you love them, then do seize the moment. You know, you never know when stuff like this is going to come around again. It's not like we're getting these off a conveyor belt. Do you know what I mean? They're all made by Mother Nature, and um, they're all unique and individual. So it's lovely that you can get it today, but also get it at a discount deal, which that £12.95 is. It's a lovely look and detail. Twelve pounds and ninety-five pence for you today. <laughs> There's just so much texture in these and so beautiful in these. Oh eight hundred, six triple four, six double five for you today. There's two left. I've got multi buyers in for you, in for these ones. Go look. More turquoise. Where's this one from? Oh my gosh, I love it. Ah! I love it, I love it, I love it. Now this just says USA. So I can't say that this is Sleeping Beauty. I can't say that. I can say it looks like it. I wish I had my loop as opposed to this. <gasps> okay, this has got to... Be... Mm, no, don't say that. This looks so much like Sleeping Beauty turquoise. And let me just remind you, one of the reasons that Sleeping Beauty Turquoise isn't mined anymore is because you mine for Sleeping Beauty Turquoise in a copper mine, okay? So it used to be almost like a byproduct of the copper mining industry, but essentially they were finding so little that there was barely any point in mining it anymore. So it's basically just focusing on the copper for all intensive. Look at this and see if you can see inclusions of copper. Let me grab this out as well. Can you see the sparkle? I love this magnifying glass I do. <gasps> Look at those elements. Oh my goodness, that is, that is Mother Nature. You can literally see how closely Mother Nature combines the metallics. That's just sublime, isn't it? And someone will get this strand. And there's not just this one that's got the glitter on my strand either, there's quite a few. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. It's beautiful, isn't it? So we have got for you 48 carats. Should be 160 
one pounds and 95 pence that's 161 95 which I think is a fabulous price for the amount you're getting and the quality you're getting okay you know you've just seen those lovely copper inclusions and I said I've got quite a few on this strand I've officially got one left now so you could get this strand I'm not stopping there in price because it's the last one now I want to give you a deal. I want you to be the last person on the planet to own this. For 49. Didn't you say 101? 49.95. That has sold out. Wow. Sorry, I was thinking 101 and I was like, that's cool. I didn't, didn't see that coming in. Wow. You're going to get that one. Well done. Last turquoise now and this could not be any different. More different. This looks like Kingsman. That's an incredible price. Sorry, I've just been told the price of this. That is astonishing. Right, let me just show you. We had Gemma on before and we were talking about gemstones that have that kind of natural feel and finesse about them. Do you think this is the type of stone Gemma Crow would like? Or in fact, Debbie Kershaw, because this is her favorite kind of color palette, isn't it? When you're looking at this, you can literally see how Mother Nature has taken these from the ground. Imagine that. As a cocktail ring, a turquoise, it sold out. It sold out. But you know what? We're still going to take that price low for you. Everybody today pays only $59.95. That's astonishing. That's the last turquoise. That is just divine. I love those sizes. Let me bring to you now raindrops of quartz. I was going to go into raindrops on roses then, but them together what do you think topaz works so well together doesn't it when you're getting topazes like this you're getting that beautiful glow internally this night owl on its way for you shortly 28 carats now of your white topaz the wonderful thing about white topaz is it will go with absolutely everything absolutely everything and anything because the colors because it's so translucent the colors that you pair this with will shine through the stone affecting almost the look of the body color and therefore it mirrors up perfectly that means this is incredibly versatile and what it does with that you know bringing these colors together is when you're crafting how do you think it would work alongside let's say black spinel Perfect, right? What about with something really bright and high shine? What about, for example, with um, oh, uh, Labradorite? Yeah, that worked well too, wouldn't it? And actually, if you caught this at the right angle, the Labradorescence might look like it's shining through the topaz, which could be rather fabulous. 28 carats worth of your topaz we've got. £34.95 as there should be but we are going to roll this down today topaz is one of the best known stones on the planet it is one of the most sold stones in high street stores it is a stone regularly when it's naturally sort of colored like this it is regularly put in the place say of a diamond accent today bringing you entirely natural white topaz not for 35 pounds not for 30 pounds not even for £25. £11.95. That's all you're paying today. Do you know, um, we had, it was Anne Marie, wasn't it? And uh, it was her mum's birthday, is that right? Possibly. Um, you know, £11.95, it'd get you, it'd get you a main and a couple of, a couple, no, actually, would it get you two starters? How much approximately a Chinese takeaway round here, Adam? is say prawn toast prawn toast. couple of quid that to me says two pounds yeah. and if that is true there is no prawns near that i wouldn't believe it for a second seven quid says b diddy about seven quid what are you saying paul gosh you're arguing now about fiver b diddy's saying seven quid between right stop arguing 
Can you lot stop arguing, please? Right, okay, I'll, I'll play, you know, person in the middle. Here in, here in the Midlands, we are between two pounds and seven pounds <laughs> for a prawn toast. But no, truthfully, you know, 7.95, it's a couple of nice starters, isn't it? But something like this, of course, is absolutely lasting. And I believe that this is a great one for your jewelry collection because it's gonna, it's timeless really, isn't it? That has now sold out. Well done to you for grabbing them. We had a few of them, but they have gone. <gasps> oh, oh, my fave. Oh my goodness, Ratnakiri? Is it location? Wow, this is sublime. This really is. Oh, where to start? It's one of my favorites. Um, the quality in the sparkle of this is just knocking my socks off. It's the light, it's the amount of light that this is giving you. Sometimes when you get a coloured zircon, and just as a reminder, especially to those who are new, zircon, I know it sounds like zirconia, doesn't it? But actually, cubic zirconia is man-made, and it was made and named to replicate this gemstone. Because, and when I'm looking at this, it's hard for you to see at home, because you're obviously watching this through a screen, and, and that screen is being shown to you through a lens on the camera, but what I'm seeing with this, which you don't always get when it's the blue colored, is a real fast acting light. With the white and the pure um, colors of zircon, then absolutely, you're getting that fast acting diamond like quality. But with this, with this strand, the intensity of blue with that double fraction is incredible. So what I mean by that is one ray of light is hitting this, okay? This is one of the very few gemstones that does this. It's such a majesty of the world, it really is. Basically, if you imagine, right, let's, uh, uh, uh. so imagine that this, my hand here, is the, the surface of the stone, one beam of light goes in and enters, just one individual beam of light, and because of the makeup of the stone, that one beam of light splits into two, one straight into two. And that then hits the back table, comes to the, uh, the back surface, comes back to the eye as two beams of light again. So it's literally double the sparkle, double the shine, double the interaction of the light that even hits it. You don't normally get this amount of sparkle. It doesn't almost appear normally this strong in a blue colour, but this has just hit the nail on the head. I've literally got two left now. Literally two left. This is miss it, miss out. Should be. I would have guessed for this strength of, of colour, I would probably have guessed a jewellery maker price is closer to the 80, 80 pounds mark. Today though, I'm going to give you an on-air deal. This is now for the final two only. Remember though, everybody pays the final closing. I'm over allocated, over allocated, it's fastest finger first. They're gone, they're gone, they're gone. Well done. That, that needs to be seen to be believed. That is stunning. Oh, do you know what? That would go gorgeously together. If you've got any any blue luxury stones at home, pair it with one of the most famous in the collector's world, kyanite. One thing that is often discussed in kyanite but rarely seen is that shiller or toyancy underneath the surface. Boy, this one has got it. I'm wondering if, you, oh, you can see it, can't you? I'll pick up a section to show you. That glimmer underneath the surface is entirely natural, entirely real, and that sheen that you're getting underneath the surface to do with the makeup and the way in which the light interacts with that. I always, I always think that that kind of effect is almost like um, an, an orb of light, like an aura almost coming from the heart of these. I just think it's captivating, and the fact that that is natural, you know. You can get plastics that have different things added to them to look like this, but that is just Mother Nature's magic. I've now got two 70 carats worth, perfectly smooth, six mil, should be 79.95, which by the way for a round is incredible because to cut these in a round is so difficult without them just being silver. No blue hardly at all, just being like a grey silver. That already is incredible for a round. I'm going under 60, under 50, under 40. 
grab the phone now <laughs> if you love these as much as i do 19 pounds and 95 pence this is an 80 pound strand this is an 80 pound at jewelry maker price strand 19 pounds and 95 pence for you now 70 full carrots worth 19.95 two of them left people have got it in their baskets if you check out one left now that's it one left now that is astonishing looks like oh have they gone Oh no, hang on, someone just put it back in the basket, that's odd. One jumped in and jumped out. Literally one left now, one left. 19.95, it's sold out, well done, well done. That's next level. It's time already to go to a break. Where has that time gone? I hope I've got some food in my bag, because you lot have made me very hungry. Um, I have got so much more to come for you. It is going to be clearance hour in the next hour. I've also got the launch of my night owl. So go grab yourself a wine or a brew and I'll see you on the other side of this. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, my name's Jake and I'm Gemporia's Gemstone Investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you 
in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. At Jewelry Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. to the final hour of the show. What is that song? Joe's finished technical dream co. Oh, I was in the chorus for that once at the Lyceum Theatre. Anyway, enough about youth. Um, I have got some great treats coming up for you though in this final hour. It's your clearance hour, but it's also your wall of fame. So not long until that. Before though, let me dive on in and give you some goodies. Who loves making earrings? Me too. I love making earrings because for me, I think when you've got a really good base for your earring, for example, in this instance, stud and loop earrings, you have got the opportunity to make, 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 even with the little odd bits you have left over at the end of a shrine, you know, where you just have two stones, or maybe even you just have one stone, but you decide odd earrings, or you do a waterfall of random stones. These are a great way to add that creativity to your collection. Have a little nosy. You're going to be getting 10 pairs of these ones, and they've got this wonderful bronze colour, antique copper they're described as. Do you know what these would go really lovely with? If you oxidised your copper. Do you ever do that? Yeah? Oxidised copper would look, uh, pendant for example, would look lovely from these. We are bringing 10 pairs of these ones and they've got the post that goes through the ear and the little loop at the base. So that loop at the base, you could literally go straight on with some monofilament, add a gemstone from there, chop some good if you wanted to. Absolutely up to you. Or you could go completely and absolutely wild with these and go for loads of different uh, chains and loads of different uh, what are they call jump rings that's the one that's the one we're bringing to you antique copper f what per pair 197 for 10 that's fantastic it's I would say the lowest price we've had all day, if not all week so far. £1.97 only, £1.97, and that is for 10 pairs of these. That, do you know what? Even if you have got a box full of findings at that price point, you can't really say no, can you? This is just a great addit to your order. You know, are you going to be having the grandkids over in a few weeks' time? Or are you going to be, I don't know, doing an online masterclass possibly? These ones, you know, you can put them with absolutely anything. Polymer clay, resin designs, shibori, um, I could go on. You know, £1.97 today, that is such a great deal. If you have just tuned in, hey, you're fan Becky. I am joined today by my wonderful team. I've got um, Adam with us today. Hey, up, Adam. Hello. Hello. How are you? Very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double thumbs up. We've also got the wonderful B Diddy, my producer. And there she is. Look. Oh, good hair today. Yeah, she's just had it really. No, she's had it redone. No, I don't mean like oh, for once. She's had it redone. I've also got Paul as my director today. There he is. Look at him. Your hair looks lovely too. And I've got my wonderful floor manager, Lucy, today. How are you, Lucy? Good, thank you. Good. There she is. Look looking busy um, so yeah that's our wonderful team today I've got more to bring and what am I bringing I love these I 
these are just so unique there is so much you can do with these I feel like they almost look like something quite modern quite out of this world like satellites I'm going to show you them all the way around but look how they sort of stack into one another when you take them off your tweezers anyway let me show you how they stack into one another so you can get this really architectural feel look at that doesn't that look so modern it looks like something from outer space but if you wanted to you can just keep on stacking keep on going keep on adding keep on layering and you're gonna get this really dramatic look obviously just put right through the center say a cord or whatever it's going to keep them all in place but to give you an idea it's just magical looking isn't it it's almost like some of those um you know they have them in tele tv shows and it usually is a sign of a really intelligent person and they have them on the desks and there's like one ear and then it it's them and then the other one goes away what are they called Adam, that, that absolutely blew my mind. Sorry, the fact, not the fact that Adam knew that, it's just the fact that Adam was so quick to it, bearing in mind that Adam is the person who described Australia as big hot fun. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> just, that was his description of the whole of Australia, just big hot fun. Uh, that was, I was dead chuffed with that. Newton's Cradle, I didn't know that. Oh, learn something new every day. Anyway, it's that kind of feel, isn't it? It's almost there for us, like a science feel to it. I think this could add something very modern, almost futuristic to your designs. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence. It should be. We're going to go down to get rid of these. It's for clearance, by the way. You get more than that. You get all of them. We're taking them down before um, now. Never this low. Three pounds and eighty-eight pence. That's all for you today. Three pounds eighty-eight for you. They kind of remind me of something else, and I want to say they remind me of a game from the early nineties, but I can't think what it is. Not Pogs, is it? Not Pogs. Do you? Does anyone know what I mean? No. Sure, someone will. Jax. Yes, Jax. You throw the ball and you pick them up. Wasn't the aim of it you, th you threw it and then you picked one up and then you throw another and you pick two up? Is that right? Just like that, isn't it? Anyway, £3.88. I've got one more before the Wall of Fame. And this is going to be fantastic. Pretty much doesn't matter what your medium is. These are rings. Um, size wise I would say they start off life maybe enter I'd say L to M I'd say they start off life when they're fully closed like this these are an adjustable ring so they start off life around about that LM size but actually they can go smaller and or bigger you just have to make these um, expand or decrease dependent on how you want them to be so what i've got for you here is the wonderful beauty and strength of that large band of metal it's silver plated so it's lovely silver touching your skin and then it's brass at the center of it so it's nice and sturdy that structural nature means that you once you so let's say this was sterling silver. Once you sort of extend it and bring it back a few times with sterling silver, it would eventually really change its feel. Brass, so do it a couple of times, set it to the size you want, and it's quite forgiving, if that makes sense. Bringing to you 20 of these. And the interesting thing is, I'm looking at them. There you are. So there's the sort of hole, the gap, if you will. So you could even have that as the front couldn't you so yeah they're from a size six but you can take them up to whatever size you wish for all of these seven pounds is gone one pound 87 is about to come in one pound 87 that's got to be what second lowest price of the day that's incredible one pound 87 for these ones and as you saw then they're really versatile they're really usable um i would say change the size of these using your ring mandrel that's what i would say because then it makes them nice and even i have just tried to do it with my hands and it's gone a little bit oval use it with your ring mandrel if you haven't got a ring mandrel 
grab something like a spoon, like a wooden spoon or something like that, and that's going to work out well. I don't understand why that's funny. What, spoon? Use a spoon handle. You know what I mean. One pound eighty-seven for you. A wooden spoon handle. What? My fingers are the same size of a wooden spoon handle. <laughs> and I know that for a fact. Because I couldn't find my ring mantra one day. So I got one of my rings, no, that fit me. And I put it onto a, a thing, into a spoon handle. So that I use that then as the mandrel. <laughs> and they laugh. It's true. Anyway, whilst that's in, how's about we get a bit creative? Oh, I love seeing what you make. It always inspires me. Um, so let's have a nosy now. It is your Wall of Fame. Welcome to the Wall of Fame. Let's dive on in with Susan. What's Susan been making? We have got for you this lovely make from Susan. And what we're bringing to you is Susan says, Hi all, a jewellery maker. Hello. Here is my Wall of Fame. I received these amethyst stones from JM a while back and have just made something with a few of them with a few hematite bees from Moustache. Good luck to all and that's Sue Jones in Swindon. Sue, thank you so much for sending that in. Am I right in saying you've got the three amethyst and then you've got the hematite kind of almost creating that cascade? That works so nicely together. I really like those ones. Susan, thank you for sending that in. The next one is in from Sue. Wow. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Um, oh, Adam, get ready for the big round of applause. Whoop, whoop, whoops. <clears throat> this is my first entry to the Wall of Fame. <laughs> I love it. So, thank you. Blimey, you've been hiding that talent under a bushel from us. It's gorgeous. Um, it is an amulet purse that I've made for a friend. It is made of size 11 seed beads and check glass faceted rounds, all purchased from jewellery maker. Kind regards, and that's from Sue. Sue, that is beautiful, and thank you for sending that in. That's, that's absolutely incredible. That's so neat and very high fashion. Deborah's in with us. Oh, look at the amber in there. Oh my goodness. Adam and Lucy, get ready again, please. <clears throat> this is my first entry to the Wall of Fame. Yes. A bracelet I made for my daughter, Heather, who loves amber. Oh, me too. And also has a beloved, has a beloved cat called, I want to say Kuro. It's K-U-R-O. Do you think Kuro? Hence, the footprint. All components from Jewellery Maker. A neon appetite and gold plated sterling silver findings plus slider bracelet, which I totally love. Totally addicted to Jewellery Maker. You've made my lockdown amazing, but I've gone a little overboard. My hobby is now going to have to be a second business. I have made so many pieces. Doesn't help that my whole family have become enablers. <laughs> I bet. I love all the presenters and the quality of all the products in Jewellery Maker. All the best, Deb. Deb, thank you so much for sending that in. I bet your daughter absolutely loves that. I too have a kitten and, and two love Amber. So I know that I would be very, very happy to own that. Debbie, uh, Deborah, sorry, Deb, thank you for sending that in. I've got another one in now and this is from Leslie. She says, hi all. This is a suite of jewellery featuring faceted pale green shell pearls, sterling silver stardust spaces and sterling silver findings, all from Jewellery Maker. Very pleased with the way it turned out. Stay safe uh, and well, everyone. Best wishes, Leslie. That looks like the type of thing you could imagine in some of the most high-end online or high street stores. They're really beautiful. Leslie, thank you so much for those ones. One final one for the night, and this is in from Julie. Hi, all. Finally got around to sending you a photo of a piece I made recently. Absolutely love the show. Learned so much about gemstones, and all the presenters are fab. 
Anyway, it's rose quartz and some of your natural pearls. I hammered the silver bars at the front. I've learned so much from you all and thoroughly enjoy watching your shows and that's from Julie. Julie, that is such a beautiful piece. Those look so nice and wearable and I love the way that you've added the kind of silver accents to it. And thank you very much for your kind comments. You are a love. Thank you very much. And in fact, thank you to every single one of you, including our first timers. And um, don't forget, Wall of Fame continues at this time every single night. And tomorrow night, I'm going to have, at this time, I'm going to have Gemma Crow on with me. I know we don't normally have a late show guest designer, but we will tomorrow. And uh, so Gemma Crow will read some out for you as well. Let me dive on in now. Those silver rings were very popular. Let me bring the rings that match the earrings I did earlier. Same colour, same colour. So these ones are your antique copper plated rings, adjustable size. I would be honest and say I think these are around about an L to M again. I know it says size 7, but I'm a size 7 there. But I can't make it fit a size 7 quite easily. There you go. And in fact, you can kind of make it whatever size you want to. We're going to match the price of the silver ones. They go with the earrings perfectly. In fact, they even go with metal beads that I've got coming up perfectly in a bit as well. So if you want to make an unusual suite of jewellery with colour, this is your chance. We've got £1.87 for you on these ones. The earrings I did before, they were the same price, weren't they? So 10 pairs of earrings, £1.87. 20 pairs of these, sorry, it's £1.97. And then you've got... 20 pack of these which could be added into the earrings couldn't they you could link them all sort of in one to one to one link them back to create sort of a nice chain design maybe um yeah and they'll bring you these beads next one pound 87 on these ones don't forget too you can like put covers at the back and drop resins into these and use them as almost like um what uh, like a see-through bezel if you will so well done I like it that we're getting all these in the same color I'm going to keep those colors out just so you can see them and now oh shall I empty some of these out I'm not going to well it's taped at the top no nope. it's taped you get the idea I am bringing to you approximately 700 yep yeah, huge 700 brass beads now we do um seed beads that are glass these are metal we have got for you four mil and we've got for you 700 of these in the tube so you've got a massive amount these are wonderful because they've got such a large um, size drill hole and it also means that because of the metal they're nice and weighty but also you're not um, you know with glass obviously it can break if you're not very careful these ones metal so it doesn't quite have that same movement so again all of these colors match up perfectly to some of the components we've had so if your mojo has gone a bit genuinely even just ch changing the color of your main components your metallics like this can really really help so give it a go grab them tonight seven pound 56 for these ones that is such a good price point for the amount of metal you've got 72 grams worth of metal in there 72 grams worth of your metal and they all work in really nicely so so you can get all of this for 11 pound 40 rings or links for chain or even you know do something like that for sort of earring designs lovely 10 pairs of earrings and 700 of these beads you can do seed beading techniques on these so it's a really nice metal seed beading look but it's got more weight to it possibly but also it's really easy to see isn't it um you could do stretchy bracelets just stretchy bracelets with this metal really easy you could create designs where you almost bead around this design with these you could do ones where you using monofilament or beading thread add on a load of these do it kind of tassel um a little bit like it was sue wasn't it earlier on at first time wall of fame where he did the amulet purse you could do almost tassel effects like that on a design 
really, really good chance to get something a little bit fun, a little bit different there. Nice work. Okay, next up, it is some Swarovski. Where are you, Swarovski? Oh, they're oh, they're pretty. Wow. I actually did some real serenite for you earlier on um, with an authenticity that described them as serenite as well. And this isn't too dissimilar from the amount of colour, the colour, sorry, you normally expect with um, Oregon Sunstone, is it? We have got Vintage Rose. Vintage Rose. These Vintage Rose Swarovski are beautiful and very versatile. If you want to use them in your serolin, you just pop them in, you're ready and raring to go. You can, of course, have fun trying to set these with prongs and so much more. We've got three packs now of the Vintage Rose collection, and these ones are a uh, six by four. Six by four on these ones. Here's a question that's not interesting, I don't think, but it might be. When we size things, do we always do height and length? Or do we always just do biggest number first? Is it like when you read out a football score and if you go like, oh, it was 1-3, it was that doesn't happen, does it? It's 3-1. No, I'm aware that the 6 is the longer bit. I know the difference between 6 and 4, but why is it not 4 by 6? Do you know what I mean? You know when you hear people talking about stuff in like B&Q? I'd like a bit of a 4B6, please. It's that, isn't it? Oh no, is it 6B4? Do you say length by width, do you? Couldn't tell you, but that's what I like. That's what I like about me. I like to get the old synapses whirring. <laughs> £2.45 for you today. Someone at home will know the answer to that, though. Why do you do that? Why do you say the football score? And it was 3-1, you know. Because it's home then away. No, that's not true. No, if, wait, in football, say home had the higher marking, had the higher score, higher marking. Oh, I know loads about football. <laughs> They're all running round in the uniforms. Um, <laughs> um, no, if at home, so you're trying to tell me that the home score comes first? Yeah. Even if they're losing? If, when you officially read it out, yeah. When you officially... Like, you're at the game, you say, oh, it was the highest score first, and so and so. But then you have to say two, the team. Right, I get you, I get you. Right. Manchester United, three, Wigan, two. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know, I do get it. The highest number doesn't necessarily come first, but whenever I've heard it, it always has. Anyway, <laughs> let's do, gosh, learning something new every single day, and literally stuff that Nobody wanted to know about. Do you know what I like about this design? It's two animals in one, I think. What's this? Yep. Why do you think it's a butterfly? Because it says butterfly in the graphics. No, you're not wrong. But also I'd say it's because you've got these different sections in the actual wings, yeah? And also you've got that body, that really lovely 3D body. Those different sections of the wings, by the way, are slightly concave, so if you wanted to add in different colours, you could do that. You could do it with, um, I don't know, like uh, F colours, you know, those types of things, or even just nail varnish in the different sections. So we've decided that is a butterfly. But what is this? Because I say that's a moth now. I say that is now a moth because you've not got the individual sections. But you have now got this section which is concave. So you could put your resins or again your F colours or varnishes in that section. I think it's two for one I do. A butterfly and a moth aren't the same thing, Paul. It's not. <laughs> uh, no, it's not like I went a butterfly and a horse. but. You were trying to spot the hippo. No, no, look, butterfly, moth. A moth is not a nocturnal butterfly. Do you want me to tell you one of the differences I do know about moths and butterflies? 
moths. No, it's not about turning them over. <laughs> do you know what? Now, I do know that the difference between a moth and a butterfly is that the butterfly, when it sits down to rest, it folds its wings up together, whereas a moth lies flat. I think that is true. You heard something else. Right, well, do you know what? Right, do you know what? Apparently Paul thinks it's to do with cooling them. Do your own research. Do your own research. But yeah, there you go. Well, if you're not grabbing this one now, I don't know when you will. We're going to bring to you a drop-down deal. Two for the price of one. The butterfly and the moth. Your price point today. £2.95. Grab that one whilst you have the opportunity to do so for £2.95. I like the idea of reversible jewellery. I think that's a really lovely idea if you wanted to do something like that with this. It is nice and weighty. I want to see if I can bend it a bit. Yeah, you can. Look, you can add a little. See how that was flat before and now I've actually added a little bit. So you can make it a little bit 3D and I quite like doing that from the uh, for jewellery. So you've got £2.95 with that today. That's that little loop at the bottom, so you could add chain to it if you wanted to. And you've got the loops up here, which obviously are its, what, antennae? Mm. Um, but you can, of course, add on to that. OK, moving to bring you more Swarovski now. Oh, I love this shape. If you imagine going into, I don't know, like, um, oh, wow, that colour! Oh my goodness. I don't know, if you imagine, have you watched Ocean's 8? Have you watched that? Um, it's, uh, it's the sequel to like Ocean's 11, Ocean's 12. Anyway, um, they basically go to Cartier in Paris and they want to steal the Toussaint necklace, which is just diamonds and diamonds and diamonds. And it's six pounds worth of diamonds in this design anyway. It is not a million miles away from this sort of look. This is breathtaking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't handle tweezers. Here you go. This is breathtaking. Isn't that just astonishing? Looks like you're looking up from table to culé. You get that really 3D effect. It's only a fiver. Five pounds for you, that is it. Well done. I've got to move on. I've got more to bring you. Wow, that's such a good deal. Let's bring. Remember I did the hematite earlier on, uh, last hour, and I said there was that sort of gunmetal colour. These are very similar. I've got these lovely bezels. So a bezel essentially flattened base and then edges around the side. So whatever you place in there isn't going to escape. You can use these for lots of different techniques resin i would say is well i'm just obsessed with resin at the moment you know that i've uh, been um doing that quite a bit if you follow me on rebecca reddick on instagram you'll know that i've been working with that medium quite recently but this is perfect for that type of thing but also if you don't have any epoxy resins or anything quite like that you can literally get you know glitters little chips and nuggets and just flood it with certain types of glue and that looks really magical and almost highlights them this is the back of them as well. £5.95 for these lovely textured designs. Do you do polymer clay? Yeah, make a little polymer clay dome, pop it into place. You can actually bake these as well with the polymer clay. If the polymer clay does still come out, which sometimes it does, just pop a bit of glue in, glue it back in, there you go. You've got the two connection points there and you can add that onto cord, you can add it onto wire, you can add it onto pretty much anything you set your mind to. £5.95, well done. I've got more Swarovski to bring you now and I have to say that um, if you have got any serolin in your collection and you want to add a little bit of extra fire to it, then this has got to be the one for you. This looks like the most decadent amber in the world. Oh, <laughs> does, doesn't it? You do actually get three of these in a pack. And I'm going to be bringing them to you. These are your topaz colour. Remember, I've got real blue topaz coming up later. For now, though, these ones are your Swarovski topaz colour drops. And we're bringing them to you 13 by 7. £2.45 for them. 
There's loads that you could do. You can wire up these, seed beads these. There's absolutely uh, loads and loads and loads of opportunities with these ones. Wire work, seed beads. Um, what's the um, gallery? Even gallery set, why not? You know, Swarovski work with high grade metals in there crystals don't they so you could if you wanted to they do come in the little pouch which does uh, which is uh, Swarovski branding too so if you wanted to make say a little set of earrings and put it back in this pouch for someone you always could <sighs> let's go on to one of my favorite fabrics this is just beautiful ultra suede if you've never had if you've never touched ultra suede before it's hard to explain feels like well i know i always describe it this way but it's true i've got a golden retriever and that bit just before her nose not on kind of a snoot or her ears it almost feels like this it's so soft and so fluffy and we use this to back jewelry so it can make your jewelry look really beautiful and clean on the back maybe you've got untidy stitching but also it can make jewelry just feel incredible so this against your skin and you can literally just cut off a strip Attach a clasp, and you can attach a clasp in a few ways. A good way of doing it is literally just punching a hole through, adding a jump ring, and that's it. That, against the skin all of the time, is just so beautiful. And you can put gemstones onto this. You can attach other jump rings. You can hot fix onto it and so much more. It feels luxurious. Do you like jewellery that feels beautiful against the skin? Yeah, you've got to, haven't you? If jewellery feels wonderfully soft and smooth against the skin, you're almost kind of excited. You look forward to wearing it, don't you? That is what this can do for your jewellery. So if you have got any jewellery in your collection that's maybe got a little scratchy bit on it or maybe it's got like a kink in it that kind of rubs, just back it with something like this and then you're sorted. Nice and comfortable. Four pounds only, and that is for an eight and a half by an eight and a half inch piece. So it's a nice big amount. If you wanted to do, you know, let's say um, a two centimeter, let's say a prox two centimeter cuff with these, you could do that a fair few times over, actually, couldn't you? Um, so you're going to be able to make a fair amount of jewelry with this. A lovely thing to do with ultra suede too, which you can do if you wanted to cut strips with these, is you can actually work a few different ones together to create almost like a woven detail and you can cut out sections and almost interloop them. Um, I'm going to bring this colour to you now, if I may. That one was your silver. Oh, it just feels so beautiful. It really does. Let me bring now, <clears throat> what are we going to be calling this? I'd call it sandstone. You say, you say tan. Yeah. What is it called? Aztec. Nice, nice. Um, do you know what? It has got a touch of the Aztec about it because as you move it, I know it's not metallic, but it's to do with the flock of this. So almost the way in which that the bristles set up, it's it's whether or not you go with or against that grain. It almost looks like it has a metallic, <coughs> excuse me, metallic element to it. We're bringing to you this golden hue, which again I'll show you it next to the silver to give you an idea of what you're getting and how nicely they work in together. The Aztec, you can use a sewing machine with this. You can use your hot gun, glue gun with this. You can use jeweler's glue with this. You can hand stitch with this. There's so much you can do and it's only £2.89. I don't think I've ever seen us do ultra suede that low. Not that I can remember. That's really fantastic. Two pounds and eighty-nine pence for this one. You can use it in, you know, making clothes, making handbags. You can cut out sections to maybe adorn clothes. Maybe um, I was watching Sewing Bee the other day, and also I was watching the last series of the last series of oh, what's it called, Project Runway, and they had an upcycling. Um, one on uh, upcycling theme on, on what each of those and I can so imagine this being used to upcycle maybe even just you know maybe you've got a nice shirt or a nice dress that's got a hole in it and actually you just want to patch over it in sort of a modern way this could be a lovely way of doing it good work let's go and bring you some more Swarovski now these are diddy diddy little beauties sometimes a little bit of sparkle goes a very long way and that's what I think these Navettes give to you have a look 12 of these ones you get in, 4 by 2 and these ones are in your jet black so they really are 
you know, completely and absolutely sort of 100% tonality to the body colour. And that really juxtaposes between that and the light that hits these. So that bright white light, you really can't get much more different than black and white as the colours collide together in a stone like this. It looks so beautiful. It looks very ethereal, I think. Bringing to you the jet black in the 4 by 2s 2.95 we're bringing these for you now two pounds and 95 pence so if you like pieces that have that look of black diamond about them this could be quite a nice way of incorporating that i've got more to bring oh this is what i wanted that huge thing for isn't it i don't suppose we sell those boxes out of course we don't um you have got here now a swarovski setting and Swarovski and ourselves have brought to you crystals that fit this setting. I don't know if you can cast your mind back a couple of hours, but I did the Swiss blue topaz. Do you remember? I did those individual cut stones of Swiss blue topaz earlier on. I'm wondering if this would fit one of those drops. You know that largest drop I did? I think it was minimum 25 carats in one stone. I'm wondering if that pear drop would fit in here and you just fold over the sides. It'd be amazing. If you don't know how to use these, it's really simple. Uh, you can literally do this with just flat nose pliers at home. But place a stone in here that will fit. And then, and I won't do it because then you won't be able to use this one. But literally one by one, gently but gently, you fold over that prong. Then you go opposite, fold that one over. Start on the other side, fold that one over. And that one. And then whatever is set into this will sit in place. You can do it with flat back cabochons, so long as you've got enough smoothness to them if that makes sense you don't want the dome to be too big or else you won't be able to grab them you can also do it with a gemstone with a really big sort of coulee point because it will go through the bottom nice and open so lots of shine going through one pound 79 and that's rhodium that's going to be touching the skin it's one of the rarest metallic elements actually that there is one pounds and 95 pence i think is a phenomenal price for that I've got more rhodium plating now. Oh, wow, I've not seen these ones before. So same sort of kit and caboodle, same sort of design feature, if you will. So these, again, are the prong setting from Tarofsky. I've definitely not seen these ones before. New to me. But this time, they're for your princess cut or square stones. Again, Tarofsky do them, but so do we. And look, that's the pack. That's beautiful. Now, the good thing about these, because I understand you might be looking at them going, well, they're nice and what a good idea, but Bex, I don't have that size Swarovski crystal though. I don't have that size genuine gemstone. doesn't matter. You could make your own polymer clay beads to go with these, couldn't you? Quite easily. And then literally just wire wrap that onto whatever you wish. We've got for you a 12 pack of these ones. One ninety nine we're going to on this. £1.99 we're going to on this for all 12 of those. I'll just give you a size idea as well because that would be lovely for a ring and then this could maybe be a pendant. Quite considerable size difference that, isn't it? These ones, earrings as well, you could do. Them, you could use with them. You could add jump rings to these. You could actually put cord through them before you put the gemstone in, before you fold them over if you wanted. That could give it a bit of a different look. Hmm. Maybe resin you could use those with as well. Or even seed bead into them, or around them, sorry, to attach. You could pop a little, because um, let me just show you how you attach these. Let me show you. It's on just the two sides. So there's a little... Can you see that? They're almost too shiny. Don't worry. Don't worry. I've got my magnifying glass. Don't you worry. There you are. See? There you go. Oh, I up have dropped it. I don't know what I'd do without it myself. Here you go. But those two holes there are where you can add your cord through, or you can add your jump ring through, and you've got them on each side. There you go. Well done to you. We have got so many more, um, so much more to bring to you this week at Jewelry Maker. And we really do um, want to let you know, before again I forget, tomorrow, 2 o'clock, lovely Linda is going to be on. 
and she's got these two incredible kits. If you love sparkle and scintillation from delicate micro fasted genuine gemstones, that is an hour for you. Next up, um, off to, after that, the next hour, I'm going to have the lovely spell binding, Laura binding. And then in this hour and the previous for tomorrow, I'm going to have Gemma Crow on with us. So even in these final two hours, we've got some um, demos and creativity. So that's going to be really good fun. But I just thought I'd let you know that before I forget. For now, though, is that right for now? Are we moving to... Well, I never. What I'm about to bring to you now is something very special indeed. I know we've been talking about this kind of all afternoon, but it's well worth mentioning. When we talk about topaz, it's one of the most famous gemstones. I don't know about you, but when I was younger, I would have known, obviously, you know, diamond, emerald, sapphire, ruby. I would have also known my birthstone. I, I knew amethyst from quite a young age, and I definitely would have known topaz. In fact, I probably, if I'm honest, would have known the name topaz even before I knew other birthstones such as garnet and citrine. Probably one of the reasons is because this is one of the most saleable stones in the world. There are stones that these will be the focal gem within a jewellery design or even when these are used as, as accents as opposed to that of diamond. One of the reasons for that is because of how these glow. Similarly to diamond, they can be beautifully cut and beautifully polished into a magnitude of shapes to make beautiful bespoke jewellery. And that is exactly what I've got for the night owl. The colour of this is so significant. The colour on this is just, it's, it's that true blue. Let's have a little look at this slide actually because there's a few different elements that we really need to discuss with the colour of this as, and as to why it is so idyllic. People sometimes can confuse sky blue topaz and Swiss blue topaz and what I'm offering to you now is the sky blue. When you're looking at the pictures can you see the gentility of this? I even mentioned earlier on how it almost looks like the best aquamarine. Let me just read this little uh, sort of paragraph for you, if I may, about what we find in sky blue topaz, just so I can really verify with you this colouring. So, sky blue topaz is the lightest variety of blue topaz, typically around 20 to 30% tone. Now, remember when we're talking percentage, 100% tone is black, 0% tone is white or clear. So, so quite low down, nice and pale and gentle. When they feature great clarity, which they almost always do, they can often look similar to the finest aquamarine gem. The lighter tone works hand in hand with the sparkle of the gemstone to make this variety really twinkle and shine. They almost, um, they're almost unbeatable for their beauty. When worn as a pair of stud earrings, it is a good carat weight. The name comes from the unmistakable colour of the sky on a crisp, clean spring day. So just bear in mind a few things there. When you're looking at great quality sky blue topaz, you want around about 20 to 30% tone. You want serious twinkle and shine with a stone which is clear, you know, great clarity. You want that crisp spring day cloudless sky hue and you want it to look like the finest quality aquamarine gemstone. Bear all that in mind as you look at this strand that you could own this evening. The graphics are coming live and I do encourage you if you want to get it to get it 55 is all we were able to purchase 55 is all we were able to get of that wonderfully individually cut stone the finest aquamarine is known for its clean clean even color which is so similar to this Thinking about Santa Maria Aquamarine, and you're not a million miles away with this stone, are you? What similarities in the hue do you think it has? It is that kind of tone, isn't it? And sometimes with certain aquamarines, you get... How do I put it? 
certain aquamarines that maybe aren't as saleable you almost get a glow internally that has got little undercurrents of green little undercurrents of teal but actually with this one with the quality of this one this looks like the best of the best Santa Maria aquamarines in the sense that it is true blue on blue. Blue in the body colour and almost blue in that halo of light that surrounds and encompasses these as, as well as sort of the brilliance in the centre. That's what I think these have in common. The beauty of these is in that colour, that impressive, you know, Unhampered, I would say, unhampered because, you know, as I mentioned and as that sort of paragraph mentioned, you're not getting lots of inclusions, you're not getting lots of silks. This is absolutely crisp and clean. These are the types of qualities and the types of colours and that evenness in that colour that some of the biggest designs in the world would look for. Do you think Cartier would accept these if they were kind of you know, hodgepodge in colour, you know, there was darker areas, lighter areas, no. Do you think, for example, uh, Van Cleef and Arfels, who have worked with Topaz, do you think they'd accept this if the colour of the, they were described as sky blue, but actually they were a bit too dark, you know, they were more like 50% tone. No, they wouldn't accept them. This is the kind of quality that some of the biggest houses, and by that I mean jewellery houses, biggest houses in the world, hope to achieve and hope to get and hope to work with today it's your chance and i want to give you that opportunity now and that is why we have made this our night owl that beautiful color on these that actually is perfect for the night owl because for me it almost makes me feel like you know sometimes when the the moon is so beautifully bright that it almost has like a blue glow to it have you ever seen that and it and it almost shines on maybe clouds that are nearby and it almost turns the clouds blue in in patches and areas that's what this looks like it's that wonderful spring sky but also that lunar like look at the center of these that would be perfect for the twilight hours bringing to you 57 carats worth in total with that crisp color taking you you know to the finest aquamarine hues but also taking you through from winter to, to summer bringing it to you today at a drop down deal it's just 27.95 now it shouldn't be it wasn't that's not what my notes were saying when i was researching this before but that's what it is now we're giving this to you as the night owl deal we're giving this to you for 50 55 only we've only got 55 of these well done to staffordshire you were in straight away west midlands london suffolk dumbarthenshire berkshire somerset greater london uh west midlands you were in on this and checking out straight away so well done to you there's more of you now coming along i think maybe you were thinking and expecting with that quality more like an aquamarine price right more like a goodness i don't even suggest how much this would be if it were aquamarine this is the kind of quality that we saw in that £300 aquamarine. Do you remember that little strand that we did like this? Was it a year or so ago? And it was aquamarine, I think it was £350. Um, it's that kind of quality. But the colour and the beauty of this, very similar, but the price nowhere near, because it is topaz, it is a more affordable gemstone, but nonetheless, the beauty is still there of that colour. And one thing I will point out too is this shape. So what we've got here to me is we've got your sort of drop shape but we fast we've drilled this nearer to the culée so sorry if i'm getting my arms in the way to do something like a ring you're pretty much easy peasy done you don't you know sometimes when the drill holes halfway through and you have to kind of wire 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 wrap you know all of that you don't with this it goes on easy peasy lemon squeeze let me show you with a little bit of a bigger one also i will say the ones near the end we've got singularly have you noticed that we double them up in the middle it's cool that isn't it you've got earrings 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 haven't you but yeah if you uh you know do want to do your rings then they are perfect for them go more to the centralized ones for a bigger statement but look at that glow against the skin it's interesting isn't it that even against the skin because sometimes if you put the skin at the back of a stone that's so open it can almost take over the color but the intensity of these sort of aquamarine-esque sky blue are um, just so intense and strong it, it doesn't impede it whatsoever should we get out the uh, magnifying glass on these let's do it let's do it where do we even keep it just here it was just on my desk it's always ready 
Right, I'm just going to hold it out. There we go. Right. The reason I'm going to put the magnifying glass up is um, because it gives you an idea, not the same, but an idea of what it would be like to hold a loop to these, okay? So, now, if there were loads of inclusions, if there were loads of silks in this, you'd be able to tell it on that, wouldn't you? Oh, even in that highly magnified bit. But no, that's just to prove to you, you know, don't adjust your TV sets. You know, I'm not, this is, this is just to show you how beautifully eye clean that is and how happy I am to show you that really up close and personally to give you an idea that, you know, you're not missing any inclusions. It's not like the silks in here that you can't quite see because you're quite far away. It's not that whatsoever. It is the quality and the beauty of this stone, which is just next level. Those lights, by the way, that are kind of creating this funny smiley face in my design now. Um, those are the lights that are in the roof of this studio. So you know when I'm always saying, the lights in here, it's like being in a sunbed shop, um, because some gemstones don't like that bright light. That's what those lights look like. Yeah, pretty gargantuan, aren't they? Anyway, now you know what I'm talking about. It's only $7.95 for you on those ones. It's a beautiful strand, really beautiful. And... Um, yeah, well done to you. Let's chat stock, because I will say seize the moment now. 55 I add, what would you say, 50% gone? No more than that, I'm being told. More like 70%, because I have got multi-buyers. So 70-ish percent of the stock gone on those ones, if you do want them. Pray do tell me what we've got on tomorrow. So, as a reminder, I've got Linda tomorrow. That's from 2 o'clock. She's got two kids and they're micro-faceted gemstones. Am I like saying one of them's got tourmaline in or have I made that up? When have you seen micro-faceted tourmaline in a kit? It's been ages from my memory. Anyway, that's coming up with Linda from two tomorrow. Obviously, Linda's on for a couple of hours before. We've also got then the Spellbinding Laura Binding. She's going to be joining us from home um, at three o'clock. And I've got the fashion book in that one. Now, the last time that was on air was in March, so you might not have seen it. And in the final two hours, I've got the lovely Gemma Crow on air. So that's coming up for you tomorrow with me. For now, though, can I just say thank you so much for joining us today and letting me know what you're having for tea. I think you're fabulous, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of 